What's up guys? It's yo boy Omni Sensei. Welcome to, What If I Was Reborn as Uchiha Reviving the Clan with Harem System? Part 8. Like, share, and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Also, remember to check out the original story, link in the description. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. Even if you don't save my granddaughter, I will make your efforts in vain. Anoki's face showed a fierce expression. Even if I suffer more losses, I won't let you achieve your goal. When it is impossible to defeat the enemy, the mission of not allowing the enemy to achieve their objectives is the standard action of Shinobi. This is the determination of the third Tsuchikage as a Shinobi. Kuratsuchi smiled bitterly, but she didn't hold any resentment. The Iwa Shinobi have already suffered many losses, and if she can save the lives of the Iwa Shinobi, then she is not afraid to sacrifice herself. Old man! Why do you think Natsuo would risk his life to save me? Kuratsuchi smiled bitterly and shook her head. I'm a Kinochi from Awagaka. However, as a means of destroying the enemy's target, her sacrifice can be considered successful. Kakuzu hesitated for a moment, but finally decided to take a step back. If the dust release hits him, it's a real death. Even if he had a hundred hearts it wouldn't make sense. Anoki's movements were very slow, clearly so that Natsuo could see them. But after Natsuo saw it, the preparation was already complete. Whoosh! A white pillar of light suddenly surged forward straight towards Kuratsuchi. Feeling the dazzling white light, Kuratsuchi slowly closed her eyes, sighed lightly, and prepared to embrace a painless death. The next second she suddenly found everything in front of her turn black. She opened her eyes only to see a huge giant standing in front of her, blocking the white light of dust release. It was Natsuo. Natsuo extended a hand. The white light of dust release came crashing and met Natsuo's palm. But the situation where Natsuo would be enveloped in the dust release barrier did not occur. Instead, dust release at the point of contact with Natsuo's palm began to distort, soften, and be absorbed six parts technique. Pre-tar path. In Natsuo's eyes, the purple halo of the Rinnegan appeared. As the owner of the Rinnegan, he could naturally adapt to the eye technique that the Rinnegan inherently possessed. Bang. Dust release shattered and instantly dissipated. Natsuo slowly retracted his hand, his eyes blinked, reaffirming the pattern of the Manjekyo. He was never afraid of dust release. You're really impulsive. Natsuo shook his head. Did a Wagaka's will of stone turn your brain into stone? Anoki and the others stood in shock in their original positions. What happened? Didn't Tsuchikage's dust release attack just go out? Why didn't it have any effect? What ability did he use? Are we under Jinjutsu? The Iowa Shinobi looked bewildered. Dust release has always been a Wagaka's strongest trump card, synonymous with invincibility. Even Ichiha Madara didn't dare to directly confront a dust release attack. However, dust release dissipated in front of Natsuo. I seem to have seen Natsuo's eyes change just now. Did I see it wrong? Anoki frowned, suspecting that his old eyes were playing tricks on him. But the problem now is that dust release is ineffective against Natsuo. His heart sank. If even dust release's attacks are ineffective, then what power can deal with Natsuo? I actually don't want to use this. Natsuo said regretfully. After all, the shinobi world is more complicated than it seems. I should keep a trump card hidden. Why do you guys have to force me to take action? Then he manifested. Complete body Susanu, wielding a great sword with both hands. Not good. Anoki's face changed, and he once again condensed dust release in his hand, but it was already too late. The giant sword fell. Boom. A thunderous noise echoed in all directions. The powerful sword aura tore the earth apart, and the Iwa Shinobi, who was the target of his attack, suffered heavy damage. Even if the Iwa Shinobi had already dispersed to deal with the Susanu's attacks and minimize losses, but this sword strike still involved most of those present. The sand will bury all the fresh blood. The wind will cover all the wailing. The earth seems to tremble, leaving a deep imprint, extending to the point that the end cannot be seen. Crack. Boom. A sound from a far startled Kuritsuchi and Kakuzu. They tried to look into the distance and saw a small mountain where the sword light was pointing collapsed. Kuritsuchi and Kakuzu who were behind the Susanu looked at him in amazement. This is the power of the number one person in the shinobi world. This is the power of Ichiha Madara back then. No wonder the old man has always feared Ichiha Madara, who can fight against such a monster. Kuritsuchi widened her eyes, filled with shock. Kakuzu remained silent. It seems that even Senju Hashirama back then couldn't be that strong. But speaking of which, this power is really strong. It feels like it's even stronger than the leader. In that case, Kakuzu narrowed his eyes, a glint of light appearing in them. Hu Hu Anoki gasped for breath. His body was already stained with blood. But it wasn't from being struck by Natsuo. It was the result of being caught in the aftermath of the Susanoo attack. Just the aftermath caused a cage level to bleed. Anoki's eyes were filled with fear, as if he saw the figure of Ichiha Madara. And what frightened him even more was Natsuo looked from the top of the Susanoo calmly, at the Iwa Shinobi, who had died from his attack, then he picked up Kuritsuchi and threw her into the space inside the Susanoo. The Susanoo walked and headed towards the distance. 
And the address is the Awagaka stronghold. Anoki's eyes widened. He intends to destroy the Awagaka army. Since Natsuo decided to show off the power of the Rinnegan, he might as well try to get the most out of Awagaka by showing off his power. Stop it Natsuo. Anoki's eyes widened, and he crazily gathered chakra, continuously using dust release to attack Natsuo. However, it was useless. The six paths techniques in ordinary ninjutsu are fundamentally different. Even though dust releases a KK Tota, it still couldn't harm Natsuo. Watching the Susanoo get closer and closer to Awagaka Fortress, Anoki completely panicked and screamed. Wait Natsuo, we surrender. Awagaka surrenders. However, Natsuo didn't even listen. He wasn't concerned about the interests of Konohagaka. Natsuo, Awagaka is willing to compensate you. How much money do you want? 100 billion. 200 billion. However, it was useless. Natsuo is not Kakuzu. The Achiha clan is never short of money. Anoki kept speaking, but Natsuo didn't stop, his expression growing more urgent. He glanced at Kuratsuchi beside Natsuo, suddenly had a clever idea, and shouted, I'm willing to marry my granddaughter to you. However, contrary to his expectations, Natsuo only glanced at him indifferently and calmly said, Sorry, Kuratsuchi was sold to me by Kakuzu. You don't have the qualifications to negotiate with this. I don't even have the qualifications to speak about my own granddaughter. Anoki is annoyed, but dare not show it. But he really can't think of a way to make Natsuo stop. And at this moment Natsuo, you said that I was sold but what about my opinion? Kuratsuchi blinked and asked, can you force me? And if you did, what would stop me from retaliating or committing suicide? Um, I have plenty of time to convince you. Natsuo thought for a moment and said, or maybe we can make some kind of deal. I'm open to considering it, but even if you don't agree in the end, I won't let you go, after all, I pay for you yes, this is one of Natsuo's goals. Natsuo knew that if he wanted to have a child with Kuritsuchi, she had to agree to a certain extent, and he was also reluctant to use the Manjakia Sharingan technique. Yumenso, on her, since he would have to wait another year to use it again. That's why he decided to attack the Awagaka Fortress, so he could reach an agreement with her. This was also within Kuritsuchi's expectations. She knew that Natsuo wanted to achieve something by attacking the Awagaka Fortress, and now she confirmed that one of those things was her cooperation in going with him. So Kuritsuchi smiled slightly and stood beside Natsuo. She was still bound and could only struggle to remain standing. Then she said, So, if I want you to forgive the Iwa Shinobi in exchange for my cooperation, is it possible? Just this one request. Natsuo raised an eyebrow. No, there's one more request. Kuritsuchi blinked. What is it? I was tied up earlier and fell to the ground several times. My clothes got dirty, can you help me take off these dirty clothes? It's uncomfortable to wear them. Kuritsuchi leaned close to Natsuo's ear, her voice gentle. Natsuo remained silent for three seconds upon hearing this. Then he shook his head. While he was interested in Kuritsuchi's lineage and potential, she was still too young for his liking. But still he appreciated her initiative. Anoki stopped slowly. He watched as the Susanoo stopped as his granddaughter whispered in Natsuo's ear, his old face contorted. For an old and stubborn man like him, nothing could be more humiliating than this moment. He'd really rather let Kuritsuchi die than see how she has to negotiate with Natsuo to technically sell herself out. Or die himself. But when thinking about the shinobi of Awagaka, Anoki had to endure the humiliation. He gritted his teeth and decided not to look at the Susanoo who stopped completely. He turned and flew towards the Iowa shinobi who stayed behind. He then began to take out the Iowa shinobi, who are not yet completely dead one by one, placed them on the ground, and gathered the medical men to treat them. At the same time, he needed to search for the bodies of the Iwa Shinobi to confirm their deaths. Looking at the corpses all over the floor, Anoki felt pain in his heart. Back then, he didn't understand why his teacher, Second Suchikij, had to compromise Ichiha Madara so much. But now he deeply understands the power of Ichiha. Natsuo's strength is so strong. He seems even stronger to me than Ichiha Madara back then. Anoki sighed. I don't know how Rasa and Terumi may fought with him. His eyes widened suddenly. Nowadays, it is recognized in the shinobi world that both Rasa and Terumi may are the strongest below Natsuo even above the cage level. Not for anything else, just because they can fight Natsuo to a standstill for a period of time. Being able to stop him for a while should not be underestimated, because when Ichiha Madara was in the shinobi world, there was no one who could stop him. That is why their strength has been recognized by everyone. According to Awagaka's information, Rasa relied on his own strength, incorporated with the maneuvers deployed on the battlefield in advance to fight Natsuo fiercely for half an hour. As for Terumi Mei, with the help of the Kiri Shinobi, she made some sacrifices and stalled with Natsuo for an hour or two. Anoki doesn't think that his strength will lose to these two juniors but he also recognizes their strength. There is no detailed information about what happened during the battle with Rasa, but if I remember correctly, when Natsuo and Terumi Mei were fighting, it seemed like she entered the Susanoo alone, and with the help of the Kiri Shinobi, he managed to make her stop. She fought inside the Susanoo then Anoki remembered how the Susanoo stopped while Kuritsuchi whispered in Natsuo's ear. Anoki's eyes widened instantly, and he almost uttered a curse. So this is what this strongest Mizukijin history is like. According to this method, if my granddaughter Kuritsuchi could hold Natsuo for one or two hours, 
I could claim that she is the strongest Tsuchikage. His face turned black, and he quickly thought of another piece of information. To show his sincerity in seeking peace, the Kazakiage sent his daughter Tamari to Natsuo as a hostage. When Anoki learned this, he was quite moved by Rasa's belief in sacrificing himself for the village, and it strengthened his determination to make sacrifices. This time he was able to attack Koritsuchi decisively, more or less affected by Rasa's decisive action. Rasa could push his daughter into the abyss, so Anoki thought he could also kill his granddaughter. And now, if I remember correctly, although Konoha and Sunagaka have already signed the peace agreement, Rasa's daughter still lives in the Achiha clan residence Hello, the strongest Kazakage. Hello, the strongest Mizukage. It turns out that the two of them are the strongest in this way. Anoki's nose almost burst into flames. He slapped his sleeves angrily. If it weren't for both Rasa and Terumi may being able to stop Natsuo, which diminished his impression of him, Anoki wouldn't have thought that Natsuo is far from being equal to the invincible Achihamadara. How could he fight Natsuo so recklessly? And now Awagaka suffered so many losses. Anoki looked at the corpses of the Iwa Shinobi in front of him, feeling dizzy for a moment, his vision darkening for a moment. The losses of Awagaka should not be underestimated, although the Shinobi lost are less than a thousand, and it seems that it is far from the total number of Shinobi in Awagaka. But these thousand people, at least they were all Chunin level. It can be said that the majority of Awagaka's essence is concentrated here, and now they all died in Natsuo's hands. Rasa, Terumi Mei, you you this old man won't be able to forgive you. Not long after, Natsuo returned to Kuritsuchi. As they approached, Natsuo saw Anoki's dark, old face. The old man is ready to send the emissary to Kanoha. Anoki sighed. Awagako will ask Kanoha for peace. Although this matter is not considered an agreement with Natsuo, Anoki knew that Awagako could no longer continue fighting. A portion of the village's elite was completely lost, and the remaining shinobi could only fight defensive battles with their earth release, which is good at defense. However, does this make sense? When Achiha Madara and Senja Hashirama were present, why didn't anyone fight Kanoha? Because everyone knew they couldn't win. Why fight a battle that can't be won? Before Anoki thought that Rasa and Terumi Mei could fight Natsuo, and he himself should be similar. Awagaka is not without possibilities to profit from this war. But now no matter how well he played, even if he defeated the army led by Jiraiya or even directly hit the Kanoha Gate area. Natsuo is Tsunade's husband, as long as Tsunade can no longer withstand the pressure, everything Awagaka does will be useless. Even if he knows that Awagaka is at an absolute disadvantage, Advantage, even if he asks for peace, knowing that Kanoha will severely punish Awagaka. But he can only bow his head. You can discuss this kind of thing with Tsunade, Natsuo said indifferently. Then Natsuo began to discuss with Anoki the benefits he would obtain. The first thing was that Kuritsuchi would live in the Achiha clan from now on. Furthermore, he must encourage Kinochi with Keke Genkai to marry into the Achiha clan, and not hinder the entry of the Achiha clan's industries into the land of Earth. Anoki's expression darkened. The old man will make the arrangements, don't worry. Kakuzu, you haven't left yet. Natsuo looked at the instigator of the chaos. A calls. I want to make sure you can handle the problems, after all you still haven't finished paying me. Kakuzu said with a smile on his lips. And I have to admit, I messed things up a little this time. You still know you messed things up? Natsuo said disdainfully. This time Natsuo had to stop the pursuers for Kakuzu, and be forced to fight many opponents. In the end, he even had to pay Kakuzu. This transaction is really a bit unpleasant. But Natsuo still said, But I'll pay the bill. Don't worry, it's something we had already agreed upon. The problems caused by the women brought by Kakuzu have to be solved by himself. This is what they agreed to from the beginning. Keep working hard, Kakuzu. In the future, if we make a deal again, I will continue to take care of the problems for you. Natsuo said, waving his hand. Although there are no longer powerful Kinochi that can be brought by Kakuzu, Natsuo still shows the generosity of a golden sponsor. After all, no matter how much Kakuzu fools people, it is an unquestionable fact that Natsuo has obtained the best legs in the Naruto series. Oh, right, also a future cage-level Kinochi. The corners of Kakuzu's lips lifted beneath his mask. In fact, as a veteran cage-level master, Kakuzu is not powerless to get rid of Anoki behind him. He actually wanted to use Natsuo's reaction this time to confirm one thing. A reliable financial backing. Now that you have determined his strength, then I can continue. Natsuo returned to Konohagaka with Kuritsuchi. At the same time, he also brought the Awagaka delegation. Natsuo used Flying Thunder God to bring everyone back, mainly to show his merits to Tsunade. However, what Natsuo didn't expect was that when Tsunade saw Kuritsuchi and the others, her eyes narrowed, and she scanned Kuritsuchi up and down. Then she stared at Natsuo again. Natsuo, you are so loyal to the village. That now thanks to you, Awagaka has surrendered to Kanoha. Ahem, after all, this is the village where you are the Hokage. Natsuo's expression was full of affection. Tsunade, is that so? Natsuo, of course. For you, I am willing to do anything. Are you sure it wasn't because of this girl? Tsunade slammed the table angrily and pointed at Kuritsuchi next to Natsuo. Don't think I don't recognize Anoki's granddaughter. First the Kazakuja's daughter, then the Tsuchikage's granddaughter. Why don't you also bring the Mizukage's niece? Natsuo said in his mind, the Mizukage's niece cannot be brought back, but there is still some hope of bringing the Mizukage back. 
Tsunade is actually not very angry, no matter what the reason for Natsuo's attack is, Oagaka's surrender is always a good thing for Kanoha. The Shinobi World War can finally end Tsunade's side, feeling her shoulders feel lighter. The stress was gone instantly, and the news that Oagaka sent a delegation to seek peace spread throughout Kanoha in an instant. Everyone celebrated. Although it will take a while for Oagaka's envoys to negotiate the peace agreement, and the war will not end immediately, but it's only a matter of time. And the biggest contributor to the end of the war of course it was Natsuo. The Kanoha Shinobi cheered, and their relatives smiled. They are very grateful to Natsuo for ending the war, so that their families can be reunited safely. The duration of the war was short, but the cruelty of war is that even the victors do not want to experience it. On the other hand, countless people have also enthusiastically discussed Natsuo's past. Why did he endure humiliation practice secretly, and at the same time secretly investigate the truth about the genocide of the Achiha clan? All to kill Danzo with one blow to avenge his clan. To revive the Achiha clan, he worked hard in the family business, and fought with countless businessmen and nobles. How he took turns fighting the enemy on the battlefield. How he ingeniously took the lead and killed the enemy of course, they occasionally chat about Natsuo's future. They also mentioned that the only thing Natsuo needed to finish avenging his clan was to get rid of Itachi. While many were arguing about the future of the Achiha and Natsuo clan, and hating Itachi for being ruthless towards his own clan, they obviously did not notice the person who was listening to their talk from a distance. Makoto watched them speak loudly, but his heart sank a little. The people of Kanoha do they hope so much for the future of the Achiha clan. She smiled wryly. If Fugaku can see the current scene, maybe he will be very happy. Ichiha Fugaku actually wanted to integrate into Kanoha. In the Third Shinobi World War, he even personally led the Ichiha clan to face the Kiri Shinobi. After the war, he also actively moved closer to the fourth Hokage Namikas Minato. However, Kanoha did not accept the Ichiha clan. It can be seen by the Ichiha clan's fight against Kurigaka. Use the Ichiha, who are good at fire release, to fight the Kiri Shinobi who are good at water release. If Kanoha's top executives don't have ideas, no one would believe it. Now that the people of Kanoha are proud of an Achiha, if the previous Achiha could see it, it is estimated that they will not have the idea of rebelling. But this is a good thing for Natsuo, but bad for Makoto herself. Because the Kanoha Shinobi's perception of the Achiha clan becomes better, so the perception of Achiha Itachi becomes worse. The more they valued Natsuo and hoped for the resurgence of the Achiha clan, the angrier they were with Itachi's behavior, and the more they felt the injustice that Natsuo experienced. Funny to say, for the sake of the village, Echeha Atachi killed the clan members who wanted to rebel, including his own parents. As a result, everyone in Kanoha now complains about his actions. If this continues even if Atachi's illness is cured, will he really be willing to survive? Makoto couldn't help but bite her lip. After all, in the eyes of the Kanoha Shinobi, it seems he would be better off dead Makoto didn't know the answer. She is also powerless to change reality, not even Itachi's disease can be solved. The only one who can fix this Makoto walked back to the Ichiha clan slowly and saw Kishina. Mikoto, you're back. Kishina waved her hands casually. Natsuo had not imprisoned the three women, on the contrary he allowed them to move. But they could not reveal their identity. But to be honest, they don't know what they are going to do. Hakura would get upset every time he heard Rasa's news. Then he would put Rasa's portrait on a practice dummy, and throw shuriken at it. When Kishina has nothing to do, she fights Natsuo with the attitude of if I beat you, you must help me. However, even relying on the impure world reincarnation of mortal body, Natsuo gave her a harsh lesson even smearing her with oil several times. An angry Kishina jumped up and shouted that if it wasn't for impure world reincarnation to limit her strength, she would have taught Natsuo a lesson. Although Makoto also has cage-level combat skills when using the Manjekyo Sharingan, she seems to be accustomed to the life of a housewife. So she helps with household chores. Makoto, Sasuke seems to be back. Pakura, still in smart clothes, glanced at Makoto. He is at the training ground now. You, would you like to take a peek at him? Makoto froze. Did he come back? Well, Sasuke is back. Kishina curled her lips. Makoto, your son is really good. I saw him secretly, and he has been training hard. On the contrary, I couldn't even find Naruto's shadow. Kishina said with a bit of resentment. She also wants to see Naruto grow up with her own eyes. Isn't Naruto on the same team as Sasuke? Hasn't he come back? Mikoto asked curiously. No. Kishina said angrily. I asked about it, and they separated at the village gate, but no one in the Achiha clan residence has seen the boy I don't know where he went. Makoto also feels strange. The shinobi who have just returned to the village. Where else could they go if not home? Where else can he go? Of course, to the club. Naruto really plans to live in the Achiha club. The money Natsuo gave him is of no use to him. If Kishina goes to the Achiha club, maybe he can meet the regular customer who used the transformation technique and shouted, I want to order ten full of pride. I'm going to meet Sasuke, is it okay? Mikoto pondered for a moment. Did he allow it? Aloud. Kishina curled her lips. It's no big deal to take a look, Natsuo isn't that stingy. So, where is Natsuo now? What else can he do? He is, according to him, reviving the Ichiha clan. Mikoto, she remembered that when she went as a representative of the clan to give Natsuo the pension, what she saw was a shy boy. She doesn't know how he became what he is now could it be what happened to the clan that pushed him too hard. 
Makoto bit her lip. Although she knew why Natsuo allowed her to meet with Sasuke, she still couldn't help but want to see him. Standing outside the Achiha clan's training ground through the barbed wire fence, she immediately spotted Sasuke. Like Kishina said, Sasuke was training very hard. The Sharingan opened directly, with a sudden leap, several shuriken were thrown out one after another, several of them collided in pairs, changed direction, and successfully hit the target. Ichiha Shuriken Jutsu, the technique that Ichiha Itachi showed to Sasuke back then, now he has fully mastered it. Mikoto bit her lip lightly, with a sad expression. In her eyes, the image of the little boy who pestered her brother to teach her shuriken skills seemed to appear in her eyes. Even after being rejected by Itachi, the aggrieved pouting expression is vivid and clearly visible. But unlike Sasuke who worked hard to catch up with his brother's dream, his efforts now are probably to throw the shuriken on a Chiharatachi. Sasuke was sweating profusely during training, his gaze was steady, and he never lost focus. And Makoto was in the distance of the training ground, watching quietly from day to night until Sasuke finished training and left, her footsteps did not move. She seemed to have become a pillar, standing there silently, motionless, her expression very dull. Until the next day, the sun has just risen, when the first light of dawn radiates a warm light. A sigh came out of Makoto's mouth. Sorry Fugaku, I really can't watch Sasuke and Itachi kill each other. And I really can't watch them die. It doesn't matter what price I have to pay, Makoto. Are you really planning to follow Natsuo? Kishina said with resentment on his face. What despicable and shameless threat did he use against you again? No, it's my own decision. Makoto sighed softly. I can't watch Sasuke and Itachi go on like this. You see Sasuke working hard and your eyes are full of envy. But I see him working hard, and all I can feel is worry. I am worried that one day I will really see the scene where Sasuke and Itachi kill each other. At that point, it will be too late for me to do anything. And I think you probably won't be able to escape his clutches in the end. Mikoto smiled wryly. Who let him know our weaknesses, HMPH? I won't give in to him. Kishina raised her head proudly. No, it should be said that he should give in to me sooner or later. Hakora also snorted coldly. Giving in? Impossible. Her greatest enemy, Rasa, has become the hero of Sunagaka thanks to Natsuo. His prestige is above all, and the sooner Shinobi treat him like a god. And all of this was Natsuo's fault. But if you don't give in, will things change? Mikoto looked at the two stubborn women. Kishina, can you really stand to see Naruto being discriminated against? Hakura, looking at Rasa's full life, will you really be at peace? The regret in our hearts, if we don't give in, who will help us solve it? Mikoto didn't continue speaking, she just shook her head. She believed that the two women would realize this sooner or later. Then she calmly entered Natsuo's residence and told him her intentions very directly. Are you sure? Natsuo looked at Mikoto and said seriously, Mikoto, I'm actually not in a hurry. You can still think about it slowly. There is no need. Mikoto took a deep breath. I've thought about it for a long time. That's good. Natsuo nodded. I will begin to take care of Sasuke and Itachi's affairs and make preparations for your resurrection, but in a short time. I can't solve the problem of your resurrection. For now the best way to resurrect Maiko is to prepare a container to transplant the Rinnegan and then control it to resurrect Mikoto. But Natsuo prefers to wait a little longer and find a more perfect way of resurrection. Since this method will only resurrect Mikoto in a state before her death and he would prefer to revive her with a body that was in the best moment of her life. For now he has begun to make improvements in ninjutsu together with Kabuto, but there is still no solution. It doesn't matter as long as the matter between Itachi and Sasuke is resolved. Mikoto said softly, My resurrection do it if you can, and I don't blame you if you can't. Of course you are not in a hurry. After all, as long as the matter between Sasuke and Itachi is resolved, you will be satisfied. Even if you die later, you don't care. But I still need you to have my children. Natsuo frowned. I'll hurry up. Natsuo hesitated to use the Koto Matsukami on Orochimaru to make him completely loyal to him, and make him dedicate himself to researching the things he needs the most, but he feels a little reluctant to use such a useful technique when it is not something urgent. In the end he decided to assign all of his shadow clones to force the investigation forward. Don't look at Natsuo's daily focus on reviving the Ichiha clan, but in fact, he uses his clones to handle many things related to the Ichiha clan, and due to his strong mental power, he can use many shadow clones. This has also caused him to accumulate a lot of knowledge and research experience over the years, and can be considered a leading research talent in the shinobi world. He can't compare two talented scientists like Orochimaru and Jakushi Kabuto, but Natsuo can rely on the system's rewards to give him solid knowledge in many ninjutsu and sealing techniques along with the accumulation made by his clones. In Natsuo's opinion, the strongest ninjutsu created by the second Hokage is the multiple shadow clone technique. Let's see and arrange a meeting for you and Sasuke later. Natsuo paused and said, you can also explain to him about Itachi and enlighten him. During the night after Sasuke finished today's practice, Natsuo called him over. Sasuke, I called you here today because I want you to meet someone. Natsuo paused and looked at Makoto. Makoto was silent for a moment, then dropped her hat revealing her face. Mom Sasuke was taken aback for a moment, but then his eyes widened. No, she is dead. And who are you with these cracks? It must be said that Sasuke has also grown a lot after experiencing the tempering of the war. He suddenly became alert, jumped back, 
and at the same time took out the kunai, and the pattern of Sharingan appeared in his eyes. This is Makoto, Natsuo coughed. This is the ninjutsu left by the second Hokage call summoning, impure world reincarnation, which uses the DNA of the deceased as a means to summon him from the pure land. Natsuo then continued, Sasuke, don't you really want to know the truth about the Achiha clan genocide and Achiha Itachi's motives? Why don't you ask the person involved? But even if Natsuo said so, Sasuke still had a bit of vigilance in his eyes. The effect of the impure world reincarnation is too surprising, and staying alert against everything is what a shinobi should do. But after Makoto told something about Sasuke's childhood, Sasuke gradually let go of his guard. When he heard the truth about the Achiha clan's genocide and Itachi's motives, he gritted his teeth. So the third Hokage and Danzo took advantage of Itachi's mental instability to manipulate him, and used the clan's rebellion as an excuse to force him to kill them all. Although Natsuo vaguely revealed some information before, making him doubt what happened during the clan genocide, he never expected the truth to be like this. Yes, Mikoto nodded and then hurriedly said, but you can rest assured both the third Hokage and Shimura Danzo were killed by Natsuo. The third Hokage was actually killed by Natsuo. Sasuke must have been surprised to hear this news in the past, but now he simply gave Natsuo a complicated look. No wonder Natsuo and Nikki entrusted me with the task of taking revenge on Itachi. It turned out that he had always set his sights on the real culprit who killed the clan. Natsuo and Nikki, you already knew. Sasuke's expression was complicated. Well, more or less. Natsuo nodded, I am not as young as you. I know the relationship between the clan and the village well, and Kanova's small actions after the destruction of the clan are also visible. However, it is a pity that you and I at that time did not have the ability to resist Kanoha, and rashly revealing the secret will only worsen our situation. Sasuke had an ugly expression, he gritted his teeth, his hands clenched tightly, and his nails dug into his flesh. He was silent for a long time, and couldn't help asking, Natsuo and Nikki, where is Danzo's body? Where is Third Hokage's body? He couldn't help but want to go to their graves and destroy their corpses to vent his anger. Danzo is now in the Achiha clan's laboratory, and although he is still alive, his condition is worse than being dead. Natsuo smiled slightly. As for the Third Hokage, it seems that he is buried in the Kanoha Cemetery. But you should know that I got the impure world reincarnation from Orochimaru. Now, it is more than certain that the third Hokage's corpse is in Orochimaru's hands, serving as reserve material for the impure world reincarnation. The corners of Sasuke's eyes twitched, and he was sullen, but he had nowhere to vent. Sharingan flickered in his eyes with a faint sense of anger. Stimulated again, maybe it can open the Manjekyo directly. Cough, cough. Natsuo said, Sasuke, this is how it is, this is the truth about the genocide of the Achiha clan. Do you still want to take revenge on Itachi? His health is very bad. In order for you to inherit his eyes in the future without accidents occurring, he deliberately let his illness consume him. These things must be resolved, otherwise, whatever decision you make, he may not live until then. Sasuke opened his mouth when he heard the words but stopped talking. He remained silent for a long time and said with a wry smile, Natsuo and Nikki, I don't know how to feel about Itachi. On the one hand, I know it was circumstances that led to his actions, but that can't erase the fact that he killed the entire clan. The only thing I can say right now is that I don't want him to die. Natsuo and Nikki, in the end he's still my brother Sasuke looked at Natsuo with a wry smile, his eyes full of self-deprecation. I think mom can forgive him, but what about you? Itachi killed not only the clansmen I knew, but also those you knew. Natsuo and Nikki, if I let Itachi go so simply, how can I ask you to forgive him for what he did to you? Sasuke smiled bitterly, his body became weak, and he let out a long sigh. Of course Sasuke can forgive Itachi. As the younger brother who loves his older brother the most, the excuse of being manipulated by the third Hokage is enough for Sasuke to forgive Itachi. No matter how serious the crime he committed, he will forgive him. The same goes for Makoto, his mother. But what about Natsuo? Natsuo has nothing to do with Itachi. Sasuke and Makoto may forgive him, but what will happen to Itachi if Natsuo decides to take matters into his own hands? Sasuke. Natsuo and Nikki always took care of me. After the Achiha clan was exterminated, he has been working hard to clean up the mess left by Itachi. He has paid a lot, working hard day and night to revive the Achiha clan. A person like that? How dare I ask him to forgive Itachi? Am I even worthy of saying? I hope you can forgive Itachi too. Sasuke laughed at himself with a complicated expression. Natsuo's expression was strange, but it was different from what Sasuke thought. In the Achiha clan he had no acquaintances, and he certainly had no hatred towards Itachi. Furthermore, if Itachi hadn't killed everyone in the clan, he wouldn't have been able to obtain the entire inheritance of the Achiha clan, and he definitely wouldn't have the strength he has now. Actually, you don't have to think about my affairs, Natsuo said. I have already forgiven Itachi. Sasuke was surprised, a little confused. He couldn't help but said, Natsuo Nikki, why did you forgive him? Well the main reason is that you can tell that Itachi has a relationship with me now. Natsuo coughed, then said, if you don't mind, you can call me dad from now on. Sasuke stared at Natsuo, then at Makoto next to him, who did didn't dare look up. Sasuke walked out of Natsuo's room in a daze. His eyes were empty, and he seemed to have received a major blow. I considered you my brother, 
But you insisted on being my father. This is so Makoto also had a very embarrassed expression. As a mother, she was embarrassed to talk about these things in front of her son, and she felt very ashamed. This should settle Sasuke's side. Although when Sasuke left he was a little dazed, the knot in Sasuke's heart had been untied, and things were going well. Next up is Itachi. This is quite simple compared to the young and impulsive Sasuke. The mature Itachi is easier to persuade. With Fugaku's Manjekyo in Natsuo's hands, the deterioration caused by Itachi's use of the Manjekyo can be resolved. After that, you only need to treat the disease in his body. Of course, this will take some time. Because although Natsuo has already contacted Itachi and summoned him to the Ichiha clan residence, but he still needs to avoid the surveillance of the other Akatsuki members but it will probably be within a month. However, the issue of Makoto's resurrection still needs to be resolved. Natsuo wants to revive Achiha Makoto as quickly as possible. Enjoy the service of a married woman. Natsuo is excited Sasuke walked in a trance, his eyes were empty, and he was only guided by his instinct. This sudden change hit him too hard, not even the truth about the Achiha clan genocide had affected him that much. After all, Natsuo gave him some hints at the beginning, and although the reality was a little more exaggerated than he had imagined, they were still within Sasuke's range of acceptance. But suddenly there is an extra father. This is really not within the scope of his acceptance. Sigh. Sasuke let out a long sigh. His feelings are extremely complicated. He just walked aimlessly. Maybe it was because he was used to walking on weekdays, or maybe it was an accident. When he recovered, he found that he had arrived at the door of the Ichiha Club, Sasuke. So he was silent for a moment and finally decided he decided to release his inner depression. Unlike before, to gain the most stimulation and help him awaken the Sharingan, he now has lost the target of his revenge, and naturally no longer needs to hold back. He, Ichiha Sasuke, decided to be a man here. Of course, Sasuke was still too embarrassed to use his real face to enter, so he disguised himself as usual and entered step by step. As soon as he entered, he saw a familiar face. That's really hey, brother Jureya, are you here too? Sasuke was taken aback and greeted. Little brother, are you here too? Jureya frowned. What a coincidence. Yes, I'm a little irritable today. I came to relax. Sasuke walked over and looked strangely at Jureya. Weren't you the commander on the battlefield against the Wagaka? Why did you return to Kanoha? Jureya slapped his thigh and said, Hey, isn't a Wagaka planning to surrender? I haven't been back to the village for a long time, so I ran back to relax. I see. Sasuke didn't really care. After all, he who was on the front lines against the Wagaka had returned, and it was normal for Jureya to return. Did you just come back? And you went directly to the club? Sasuke asked curiously. And judging by your face, you seem a little depressed. Yeah, Jureya sighed. I came back from the battlefield happily and wanted to surprise someone, but when I came back, I found that the girl I liked since childhood was pregnant with a second child. Why? Because Jureya complained, looking disappointed. He has worked hard for Kanoha, and he has served as the commander wholeheartedly. For Kanoha, for Tsune, to reduce the pressure they faced. Kumogaka and Awagaka did not gain much benefit while he was in charge of the defense. But when he came back to see the results Tsune was pregnant with a second child. He still wanted to come back and propose to Tsune as a war hero. And he even intended to lovingly express that he didn't mind raising her daughter know everything is gone. Evil Achiha, he's so fast. Jureya sighed helplessly. At your age, isn't it normal for your childhood sweetheart to become a wife? Don't be sad. Sasuke sighed softly. Compared to you, I am really miserable. Oh, Jureya asked strangely. Are you worse than me? Is there anyone worse than me in this world? Yes, today I woke up and found out that my mother was getting remarried. The worst thing is that the person she's getting remarried is a member of my clan, one of my older brothers. Sasuke smiled wryly. From now on, I'll have to call that big brother, father. Jureya, brother, you are miserable. In my case, it was just a childhood crush who got married. But looking at Sasuke's expression, Jureya is much happier. Maybe it is the law of conservation of happiness. When you are unlucky, if you see someone who is less lucky than you, then you can feel happy. So Jureya patted Sasuke on the shoulder and said, Don't worry, everything will pass, come on. Brother, you invited me before, this time, brother will arrange for you. Come on, where's the manager? Take care of my brother. I want the best escort. Sasuke heard this and looked at Jureya with tears in his eyes. Good brother, thank you. This is the pure feeling of the wingmen. Of course, the wingmen are still the most reliable. This is what I should do. Jureya laughed loudly and patted his chest. Come on. Brother, can I have some wine? Of course, yes. Okay? Come and fill my brother's glass serve a plate of fruit too. We won't go home tonight until we're drunk. If you don't get drunk, you don't go home. That night, the two wingmen put on a great show. It's a joy to play. And Sasuke gradually drank too much. He is young and his heart is very chaotic because of the news he received, so naturally he cannot control his drinking. After Jureya booed several times and persuaded the girls to drink, he was completely drunk. Fortunately, Sasuke, who was drunk, did not let out his tongue, but leaned on the sofa after getting drunk. Half asleep and half awake, with his eyes blurred by the alcohol Jureya didn't care either, isn't it normal to drink more when you're depressed? But the problem is, Sasuke drunk, unable to control the chakra of the transformation technique. Bang. Jureya looked unconsciously and then spit out all the wine in his mouth. Damn, why is it him? Naturally, Jureya knew that Sasuke was in disguise. 
but he didn't try to find out his identity. At most, he believed that Sasuke's age was a little young. Sasuke, my good brother is you. Jiraiya was stunned. Of the Achiha clan only Natsuo and Sasuke remained, and also because he teamed up with Naruto during the war, he had also paid attention to them due to their special identities, and has seen him on more than one occasion. How old are you? And you're already going to the club. And you still spend more time playing than I do. The corners of Jiraiya's mouth twitched, but he had to teleport beside Sasuke, throwing his clothes on him to cover Sasuke's appearance. At the same time, he hurriedly scolded a few girls and told them to leave. Let them know Sasuke's identity. Are you kidding? The next day, Ichiha will be in the headlines of the Kanoha newspapers. The young master of the Ichiha clan being so young, stays at the club all night. It is also brought by one of the Kanoha Sanin, Jiraiya. Jiraiya's old face contorted, he regretted inviting Sasuke this time. He couldn't even get rid of responsibility. Watching the girls leave one by one, Jiraiya was finally relieved, then picked up Sasuke, and shook it twice. Sasuke, wake up, wake up. Huh? Sasuke raised his head in confusion, blinked his eyes, and was a little unconscious. You unlock the transformation technique. If he breaks free, let him break free, I damn. Sasuke sobered instantly, then his complexion changed. His emotions suddenly became chaotic. Damn, blame me for drinking too much. Did anyone see it? Jiraiya, did anyone else see it? It's over. I will become a disgrace to the Achiha clan, and I will be completely crucified on the pillar of shame. If the news becomes big, then my mother she will find out too, right? Sasuke's whole body felt as if he had been hit hard, his heart seemed to have stopped beating. Anyone who encountered such a situation would be stunned. Endless shame surged from his heart, tomorrow's news seemed to appear in his eyes, and his mother's unbelievable expression had already appeared in his mind, under this almost endless shame. Sasuke's mind suddenly burst, and a large number of mysterious chakra emerged. The pattern of three Tomosha Ringan appeared in his pupils, and the pattern was spinning rapidly, turning faster and faster, and finally become a mark of the windmill. And watching all this, Jiraiya's eyes widened instantly. The Manjekyo Sharingan. By going to the club, can you open the Manjekyo? How talented, how terrifying. Could this boy be the son of destiny I've been searching for? Jiraiya was dumbfounded. Since he was defeated by Itachi during the attack on Konoha, he requested Tsunade access to the village's information files on the Ichiha clan that the second Hokage had left behind. But there was no information that the Manjekyo can open in the club. This type of forbidden power of the Ichiha clan is awakened on the battlefield. It is the power that explodes from anger at their own helplessness, after witnessing the death of the people closest to them. But now waking up the Manjekyo after going on a party at the club is the first in the history of the Ichiha. But Jiraiya rolled his eyes and thought about it from another angle, isn't this genius? Sasuke is now slightly younger than the age at which Ichiha Itachi awakened the Manjekyo. Although Jiraiya does not know how young the youngest member of the Ichiha family was when he awakened in the Manjekyo, but he feels that Sasuke is definitely a strong contender for this record. Such a genius beyond imagination. Could he be the destiny child I'm looking for? Jiraiya was shocked. Although it seems a little strange to meet the child of destiny in the club, but he thinks this is destiny. After all, there is nothing wrong with a strong man wanting the company of a woman and indulging in certain sensual pleasures. Furthermore, Jiraiya, who frequents clubs and writes erotic books at the same time, is one of the top masters in the shinobi world. So, the compatibility with me is very good, maybe this is the child of destiny that great toad sage asked me to find. Jiraiya's heart is more and more inclined to this idea. Sasuke, on the other hand, fell into a state of extreme panic. What should I do? Will I become a stain on the entire Ichiha clan? My mother just revived. But I did something like that, what face will I have to face her? The relationship between classmates is even more difficult to manage, even a carefree guy like Naruto knows how to use the transformation technique to disguise himself at all times. Although he can also get into mischief in front of female classmates, but he never revealed the fact that he had been in the club. For a moment, Sasuke was so nervous that he even had the idea of destroying the Achiha club and silencing everyone. Even Jiraiya could see Sasuke's faint killing intent, but that made him believe even more in the fact that Sasuke was the son of destiny. After all, the great Toad Sage said that his disciple will bring great changes to the shinobi world. He will bring unprecedented stability to the world, or destroy it looking at Sasuke's subconscious killing intent, clearly he can represent someone who could destroy everything. I'm sure, it should be him. Jiraiya nodded secretly in her heart. On the other side, Sasuke finally discovered his change. Is this Manjekyo? Sasuke looked at himself in the mirror and froze. Unexpectedly, the Manjekyo Sharingan, which he has wanted to awaken for a long time, would appear at this moment if possible. He hopes to turn back time, so that his Manjekyo will never appear. Full of regret is that the reason for opening Manjekyo. Sasuke smiled wryly. No wonder there are only a few people who can do it in Achiha. Atachi and Natsuo and Nikki must have thought the same thing when they woke him up, right? With a blink of his eyes, he withdrew the Manjekyo Sharingan. The information from Manjekyo's exclusive techniques has been transmitted to his mind, and the increase in mental power makes him clearly feel the difference between him and his previous self. He smiled bitterly, not knowing what to say for a while. Thankfully Jiraiya spoke up in time. Don't worry. Jiraiya glanced at Sasuke. When I found out that there was something wrong with your transformation technique, I immediately covered your body and expelled a few goals. They shouldn't be able to see your true identity. 
Just in case, you can consider using hypnosis to modify their memories later. Brother Jureya Sasuk smiled wryly. Thank you for your help. If it weren't for Jureya, he would really have to choose between social death and killing everyone in the club. It's okay, we are friends. Jureya laughed. Isn't it the most normal thing for friends to help each other? But even I didn't expect that the little brother I've been playing with for so long is actually you. As he said that Jureya also had a strange expression on his face. Although he saw that Sasuke's transformation technique concealed his own age, he should not be very old. But he never expected that Sasuke's age is so young. After talking to Jureya, Sasuke took a deep breath to stabilize his emotions, then got up and went out to modify the girl's memories. Jureya thought for a while and followed behind him. After wandering around for a while, Although Sasuke has now sobered up, he obviously no longer has any interest in continuing to play, so he left out the door of the club. Jureya also came out. Ahem, thank you for your help, brother. I will treat you to a treat next time, Sasuke said gratefully. But after all, my age is a problem. Can you please? Do you want me not to spread the word? Jureya laughed. Don't worry, I am very discreet. As a shinobi I am used to keeping secrets. I promise that no one else will know this matter from my mouth. Sasuke breathed a sigh of relief. But Jureya came over laughingly. But boy, your talent is really good. How about you take me as your teacher? You should know my strength and my position in Kanoha, right? I am the man who taught the fourth Hokage, and I will definitely make you a powerful shinobi. Accepted as a teacher, Sasuke was surprised. Honestly, he appreciates Jureya. But regarding him being his teacher, the arrogant Sasuke was still reluctant and said with some embarrassment, My good brother, don't use this. I regard you as a good brother, but you want to be my master. Hey, boy, are you still not happy? Jureya immediately saw Sasuke's reluctance and said angrily, Do you know that this old man is the Sanin of Kanoha? I'll teach you and you're not happy. Sasuke, I have brother Natsuo to teach me. He is recognized as the strongest shinobi in the world today. The corners of Jureya's eyes twitched, and he waved his hand, saying, Although Natsuo is more famous and stronger, but I have a lot of advanced ninjutsu. He may not know as much ninjutsu as me Sasuke. Brother Natsuo has mastered the five basic natures, and, as far as I've seen, has mastered around 30A level ninjutsu. Is this Natsuo kid so fierce? Jureya was surprised for a moment. Boy, I know Sage Mode. Do you know Sage Mode? It's a state you can access when you can manipulate natural energy, allowing you to use techniques stronger than ordinary ninjutsu. Sasuke, Brother Natsuo can do it too, and he even taught it to all of us in the clan. But it's a shame we haven't learned it yet. This is true. Since Natsu obtained the sage mode of the system he tried to teach Naruto, Sasuke, Niji, Yukino, Amayuri and other of his wives. However, although the sage mode that Natsu knows is more suitable for the human body, it is extremely difficult to learn, as well as having very strict requirements for the user. It was not until she formed a complete bond with Amayuri, and was able to share the Shizen Chikara that she began to learn Sage Mode. Apart from those wives with whom he has a complete bond, no one else has been able to learn Sage Mode, so they could only complain to him. Jureya's eyes widened. Does this Natsuo kid even know Sage Mode? So what advantage do I have? Has a lot of money. As a renowned novelist, Jureya is really not poor, but compared to the Ichiha clan, it is as if he is only a little richer than an ordinary person. Reputation. Although being a Sanin means he's not weak, but Natsuo is the strongest shinobi in the world. Jureya opened his mouth, he racked his brains, but he couldn't think of an advantage. In the end, he just played rogue. Sasuke, I often talk in my sleep when I sleep, if I don't have a disciple to remind me from time to time Sasuke. You, the worthy Sanin, are playing dirty with me, a child. Just now you said that you are very good at keeping secrets, but looking at Jureya's threatening eyes, he finally had to bow his head. I understand, I will be your disciple. Makoto and Natsuo originally thought that Sasuke was too affected by the news, and wouldn't be able to accept it for a while, so they took a break. Unexpectedly, the next day, he directly led Jureya in. Brother Natsuo, I have already accepted my good wingman cough, cough. I have accepted Lord Jureya as my master. Sasuke lowered his head so that no one could see his expression. Natsuo was taken aback for a moment, listening to Sasuke's words. It was obvious that the matter was resolved. Jureya accepts Sasuke as a disciple instead of Naruto. What about Naruto? Should I find a Orochimaru? Huh. That would be interesting to see after pondering for a while. Natsuo asked curiously. Sasuke, why do you want to learn from Jureya? Kakashi, who led Sasuke and Naruto back then, is one of the best shinobi in Kanoha, and his reputation is not bad. But those two who had just graduated looked down on him, and even got into trouble many times, although they called him Kakashi-sensei. They didn't really consider him their teacher at all. In reality, Sasuke and Naruto were able to return so quickly from the battlefield because they became too reckless, and Kakashi nearly died saving them many times. Sasuke, when he had just graduated, didn't even like Kakashi. And now that he's experienced the battlefield does he really like Jureya? Well, the main reason is that Jureya-sensei is strong, handsome and charismatic. The first time I saw him, 
I was overwhelmed by his presence, Sasuke said words that I couldn't believe without changing his expression. Jiraiya laughed at the side, and then pretended to be a little shy. Actually, I'm not as good as you say Natsuo. Natsuo squinted his eyes slightly and vaguely felt that Sasuke's pupil power was at the level of the Manjekyo. But no matter what, Natsuo was still glad that Jiraiya is Sasuke's teacher. Although Jiraiya's strength is not as good as Natsuo, he is also one of the best in the shinobi world, and has a wide network of contacts. If it wasn't for his unwillingness, he would have been Hokage long ago. After chatting a little more, Natsuo as leader of the Achiha clan presented his gift. The Achiha Club Gold Card, Jiraiya said. There is no need to be so polite, but before he finished speaking he took the card with incredible speed. At that speed, even Sasuke, who had just opened the Manjekyo, almost couldn't see it clearly. Sasuke covered his face, feeling a little embarrassed. Good wingman, why do you act like you've never seen the world? What made him feel even more helpless was that Natsuo actually acted like he was his father, and had a long talk with Jiraiya. Brother Natsuo, you really want to be my father Sasuke complained. In fact, Jiraiya was also a little curious about Natsuo's behavior, but upon hearing Sasuke's complaints, he now knows that the brother he was referring to and who wants to be his father is Natsuo. But what about the mother? How can Sasuke's mother remarry? Sasuke Sasuke's mother seems to have died the night of the genocide, right? Jiraiya pondered. How can Natsuo marry Sasuke's mother? Could it be that Sasuke has recognized a stepmother during this time? Jiraiya blinked. This is really possible. After all, he lacks maternal love. If someone takes pity on him and cares for him, maybe he can really move Sasuke and make him recognize her as her mother. Then, the adoptive mother was taken back by Natsuo Jiraiya, and Natsuo chatted for a long time. Jiraiya hopes to take Sasuke on a trip. Traveling not only allows Sasuke to meet many people and things but also gain countless knowledge that cannot be experienced in the village. He can also fight Shinobi along the way and increase his combat experience. Of course, the most important thing is that Jiraiya needs to find Orochimaru, so he has to run around in Shinobi world. Sasuke was a little dissatisfied with this, he felt it was better to practice with Natsuo instead of Jiraiya. But after Jiraiya gave Jiraiya a threatening look, he really couldn't refuse Jiraiya's proposal, or Konoha would spread his own scandal. Natsuo also agreed, although now Sasuke seems to have accepted the wrong teacher and somehow became Jiraiya's disciple. It seems that there is nothing wrong with letting him experience Naruto's practice during the Naruto series. Natsuo wouldn't mind handing Naruto over to Orochimaru if he couldn't let them exchange roles. But unfortunately, there is a high probability that Orochimaru has no interest in Naruto, much less would want to face the problems that having the Ninetales Jinchuriki in his hands would bring. He knows how powerful Akatsuki is. Of course, the trip will have to wait until after the negotiations with Awagaka are finished. As the commander of the front line against Awagaka, Jiraiya can take his time returning to the village with the logistics team but it is really impossible for him to leave Kanoha before the end of the war. And Sasuke also wants to wait until the situation with Itachi comes to a conclusion, before considering the question of leaving the village. Another half month has passed. Awagaka finally signed a peace treaty with Kanoha, and the fourth shinobi world war ended completely. This time Awagaka lost a lot. Even though Anoki decisively sent out a peace message, she was still cut by Tsunade mercilessly. Not just as simple as war reparations, he actually cut off a piece of land from Awagaka, allowing Kanoha's area of influence to expand even further. This is a very strange thing, because after the establishment of the five major countries, although the major countries sometimes annex small countries, there has never been a situation where the five major countries ceded their own territories. But this time Tsune did it. Her prestige instantly soared. And third Tsuchiki Janoki is actually helpless. Awagaka can no longer bear to continue the war even without considering Natsuo. With the losses suffered by Awagaka so far, they can no longer defeat Kanoha. This is without taking into account that all the other large shinobi villages have suffered losses in one way or another, leaving Kanoha to concentrate all of its forces on them. One on one, there is no shinobi village that is Kanoha's opponent. What's more, they still have Natsuo this time. What am I going to fight against? Anoki sighed. He endured the humiliation, but the Iowa shinobi didn't understand it at all. Anoki was immediately dubbed the worst Tsuchikage ever. It can be predicted that this title will accompany him throughout his life. Public opinion in Awagaka savagely criticized Anoki, and Hand the Five Tails Jinchuriki even took the initiative to publicly criticize Anoki in an act of venting his hatred for how he was treated in the village. Han held Anoki responsible for Awagaka's current decline and demanded that he should abdicate his position as cage. But at the end of the day Anoki is not to blame for Awagaka's current situation. Unlike the third Hokage during World War III, where he signed a peace treaty with Awagaka even though Kanoha won the war at the time, which caused heated arguments within Kanoha and forced him to quickly abdicate. Upon hearing about Awagaka's situation, both Rasa and Terumi Mei could only secretly sigh in their hearts. If they hadn't decisively bowed to Natsuo at the beginning, they might be in the same situation. Although Anoki's prestige and influence were damaged due to this war, he is still the grandson of the first Tsuchikage, and the second Tsuchikage was his teacher, and he has participated in all battles from the First World War to the current one. So this was not enough to make him abdicate the position of Cage, as was the case with Saratobi Hiruzen. Of course, Awagaka is not the only one who finds himself in this tragic situation. Kumogaka is equally miserable. Now that Reiki J has been disabled, after the 
selection of a new generation of Rakage, he will abdicate directly. In fact, Rakage A wanted to commit suicide a long time ago, but his prestige in Kumogaka is very high, and although his prestige has decreased slightly, he is still respected by countless Kumo Shinobi. That's why the Kumo Shinobi didn't want him to die, even if Rakage A looked desperate, the Kumo Shinobi turned their heads in unison, as if they didn't see him. There is also a lot of uncertainty about the Rakage's successor. The future fifth Rakage Darui has not yet reached the cage level, and his prestige is not enough to succeed. As for the remaining cage level shinobi, there are only two, Nai Yujito and Killer B. That the Jinchuriki becomes the cage is obviously a little difficult for ordinary shinobi to accept. So there are still discussions about the choice of the Rakage, but it is foreseeable that the fifth Rakage will be chosen from one of those two. After all, even a Jinchuriki is better than a weak chicken. The five major shinobi villages are moving in different directions, but none of this affected Natsuo's life. After Awagaka's surrender clause was signed, Jiraiya planned to go with Sasuke on a trip, but was stopped by Natsuo. He had received Itachi's answer, and he will be back soon, so he couldn't let Sasuke hang around. A few days later, during the night a figure appeared quietly. He stood in a corner of the Echeha clan's main residence, and waited silently for a few seconds. Natsuo's figure slowly appeared. Natsuo, why did you ask me to come over? Echeha Itachi looked calm. Is there anything that cannot be mentioned directly in the communication, and you must ask me to come? It's nothing. I just want you to meet someone. Natsuo smiled. As he spoke, he glanced back. Sasuke appeared in front of Itachi. When he saw him his expression changed slightly, and his body froze. What is this situation? How did Natsuo let Sasuke see me? No matter how good I am at pretending, there's no way the current Sasuke can defeat me. Are you forcing me to act? But this way, when Sasuke grows up a little, it will be easy for him to discover that everything was a farce. In an instant, countless thoughts emerged in Itachi's mind. But his expression remained indifferent, staring at Sasuke coldly. When Itachi was about to provoke Sasuke for being weak, his words got stuck when he saw the other figure appear next to Sasuke. Mother Echiha Itachi widened his eyes, looking at Makoto's familiar but unfamiliar face. For a while, he was stunned. Sasuke and Makoto were also speechless. It took a long time for Echiha Itachi to return to calm. He wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes and looked at Natsuo. Natsuo, what's the situation? Why would my mother hem? A lot of things have happened, but to Humorize Natsuo said. Now you can join Sasuke and call me father. Ichiha Atachi. His expression completely collapsed, and he could no longer return to his original indifference. Ichiha Atachi's steady mind finally helped him recover a little. Although he was a little dazed by the shock of the news, in the end he didn't stay in a daze like Sasuke, and didn't completely lose his mind. That's the experience gap. So, this is Orochimaru's technique. Natsuo, you said you want to resurrect the dead, can you really resurrect them? Ichiha Atachi pondered for a while, with a look of anticipation on his expression. I can't do it now. Natsuo shook his head. Currently, I have two resurrection ninjutsu. But either of them requires the user's sacrifice to activate. I'm improving ninjutsu, but I still can't solve this problem. Furthermore, only the dead who have just died can be resurrected. If that condition is not met, the DNA of the deceased can be used. But he will only be resurrected in the form of the reincarnation of the impure world. I think this is not what you want. Hearing this, Echeha Atachi withdrew some of his inner expectations. But he also believed in Natsuo's words. How could something as nature-defying as resurrection be so easy to achieve? It's a pity, so my regret will not be made up for. Ichiha Itachi sighed inwardly. If he could resurrect them, he wouldn't mind resurrecting all the clan members who were slaughtered by him. Even if he had to pay with his own life, he wouldn't care. However, this is clearly not possible. Itachi, your physical condition is very poor. Furthermore, you frequently use Manjekyo, which puts your body on the verge of collapse. I have your father's eyes, which may allow you to eliminate the side effects of Manjekyo. Natsuo took out a pair of Sharingan in a container. He then threw them at Itachi. Makoto looked attentively, and Sasuke, after hearing about Itachi's physical condition, showed surprise, then became worried. However, Itachi frowned, but cast the Sharingan back. Natsuo, I understand what you mean. Ichiha Itachi said calmly. But let's leave those eyes to Sasuke. He lowered his head and looked at Sasuke with complicated eyes. Sasuke, I feel a huge pupil power in you. You should too, that's right? I also awakened the Manjekyo. Sasuke nodded, and the pattern of Manjekyo appeared in his eyes. Natsuo and Makoto were not surprised either, although Sasuke didn't say anything. How could they not be able to tell Sasuke's change? Of course, Makoto thought her apparition stimulated Sasuke's heart, causing the Manjekyo to awaken. Sure enough. Ichiha Itachi nodded slightly. Then you should also know that the pupil power of the Manjekyo is depleted, and once you deplete it, you will fall into endless darkness. I will leave those eyes to you. Sasuke is for my eyes. He smiled slightly. Don't worry. My health is not that bad. If I reveal my identity to Master Tsunade, she will definitely heal me. Don't waste these eyes. Natsuo said calmly. Tsunade can't do anything. It's a disease that affects the bloodline. Ichiha Itachi smiled slightly, his expression unchanged. I believe in Master Tsunade's strength. She will definitely have a way. 
Although he said that with a smile, his heart is full of indifference. He himself didn't have many expectations about life. Sasuke will become stronger, that's enough. It was a surprise that my mother could be resurrected. As for the others he doesn't care. Of course, Achiha Atachi also understands that Tsunade is not a panacea and it is estimated that there is nothing he can do about bloodline disease. But that's even better. This way Fugaku's Manjekyo can be left to Sasuke. And his own eyes, when the time comes, he plans to leave to his resurrected mother. It was the only way Itachi could think of to atone for his sins. Itachi, we don't need to deceive each other. Natsuo shook his head. You must remember that I mentioned a way to avoid the side effects of the Manjekyo, and although I have not perfected it yet, but in the future Sasuke and Makoto will not have to worry about the burden of the Manjekyo. Don't worry. I won't let the people close to me have problems, Natsuo said softly. Ichiha Itachi was silent for a moment, then finally nodded. I understand. He still agreed, after all. Looking at Sasuke's worried expression next to him, he knew that if he refused, Sasuke might tear out his own eyes and give them to him in the future. Ichiha Itachi would rather die than let something like that happen. And now then let's perform the operation, Sasuke said impatiently. Brother Natsuo, as long as Itachi does not solve the problem caused by the Manjekyo, Sasuke will not be able to rest assured. Okay? Leave it to me. Natsuo didn't care. On the contrary, if they had not asked him, he would have found a way to carry out the operation on Itachi. As a transmigrator, when Natsuo came to this world he saw everyone as fictional characters, and when Itachi exterminated the clan, he didn't care much, on the contrary, after obtaining the system what he did helped him a lot. But that doesn't mean that he will let Itachi return to the Ichiha clan, without leaving any insurance to prevent him from going crazy again, and wanting to kill his children. Since he decided to forgive him and have children with Mikoto, he developed a more advanced version of the caged bird. That includes the power of the Rinnegan and is difficult to detect. The moment Itachi has malicious thoughts towards his family, he will activate the seal, killing him. Because the Ichiha clan has a medical wing with the latest technology, the operation did not take long. Furthermore, the eye replacement operation is one of the simplest operations in the shinobi world. Itachi stood up from the operating table, and although he was blindfolded, he could still feel the powerful power of the pupil that burst from his eyes. Meanwhile, Natsuo threw Itachi's eyes into the trash. As he expected, the Manjekyo transplant is not a simple transplant. There seems to be a kind of connection with the original user, through which, when another Manjekyo is transplanted, it absorbs this energy from the Manjekyo of the original user. There cannot be a case where two Manjekyo users can exchange their eyes, and then both will possess the eternal Manjekyo. When Natsuo removed his eyes from Itachi, they were still intact. But when he transplanted Fugaku's eyes, his original eyes suddenly withered and wrinkled. After Natsuo noticed Itachi had gotten up, he placed his palm on his back, and used the yin-yang release to accelerate the integration of the Manjekyo with his body. Noticing that the power in his eyes stabilized, Itachi removed the blindfolds. Now I can see clearly Itachi tried to speak with his usual indifference, but you could still notice a hint of joy in his voice. Due to continuous use of the Manjekyo, he had to adjust to blurred vision, and as an Ichiha, vision itself should be his strongest weapon. And now, Ichiha Itachi can see clearly again. Even with Itachi's calmness, it is inevitable to be happy. Of course, he's more than happy too. Ichiha Itachi looked at Sasuke, staring deeply with his keen vision, as if he wanted to record every hair on Sasuke's face into his own memory. I can watch Sasuke grow. Watch Sasuke become stronger. I can protect Sasuke again. Atachi's gaze was too intense. Sasuke squirmed, feeling a little uncomfortable. So he coughed. Brother, do you want us to fight each other just to test your eyes and my manjekyo? Of course, Sasuke doesn't want to play any tests, but misses the days when he practiced with his brother Atachi. Atachi also had some thoughts in his heart, but finally shook his head. The method I arranged at Akatsuki's side won't last long. There is not much time left. I have to go back quickly, Atachi. Do not return to Akatsuki, as I understand it, all the members are S-rank missing then. It is very dangerous for you to return, Makoto frowned, gritted his teeth slightly. Now that the third Hokage is dead, you no longer need to continue with the agreement you reached and continue spying on Akatsuki. No, it has nothing to do with third Hokage. Atachi shook his head. Akatsuki's destructive power is too strong. Someone must monitor their actions to prevent excessive losses. This responsibility belongs to me. It is not only for Konoha but also for Sasuke to live in peace. Sorry, forgive me, Sasuke. Next time, the familiar finger was on Sasuke's forehead, and the movement was not quick. But Sasuke, like when he was a child, groaned in pain softly, and then covered his forehead. Looking at the familiar scene, Makoto smiled. Itachi also showed a nostalgic smile. This kind of warmth is what they wanted to have again. Itachi smiled, then looked at Natsuo. Brother Natsuo, time is limited, please excuse me. Okay, you can go back. The eye replacement surgery took a lot of time. 
far beyond Itachi's expectations, so that the Akatsuki members did not notice. Although Natsuo knows that Kisum noticed Itachi's movements, he still needs a faster way to return. Then Natsuo grabbed Itachi's shoulder, flying Thunder God technique. The next second, the two disappeared in Kanoha. Here we are. Natsuo withdrew his hand. This place was not far from the village where Itachi and Kisum were staying. Itachi can go the rest of the way. Thank you Natsuo. Itachi took a deep look at Natsuo, then slowly lowered his head. Thank you very much. This thank you is not to thank you for your help in bringing him here, but to thank you for your help with the eye transplant, and for allowing him to get closer to his family again, despite all the sins he has committed. From now on I am willing to die for you and the clan if necessary, Itachi said calmly, plus there was an unwavering determination in his gaze. However, Natsuo simply gave Itachi a sidelong glance and said, willing to die, but not willing to call me father. Ichiha Itachi staggered, the corners of his mouth twitched and he looked at Natsuo with a wry smile. This guy but immediately, he became serious. Natsuo, you have to be careful, Akatsuki may start taking action soon. Yes, it seems that Akatsuki really can no longer continue with its original plan, and wait for the recovery of the Three Tails. Akatsuki's original plan while awaiting the recovery of the Three Tails, was to obtain enough money to support their organization, while providing mercenary services at prices well below the competition. This will make countries increasingly dependent on Akatsuki's services, corner the entire shinobi mission market, and eventually put all shinobi villagers out of business because they can't compete with Akatsuki's prices. Even this world war was considered by them as an opportunity to consume the power of each shinobi village and pave the way for Akatsuki's future actions. But they didn't expect that there were so many high-level powers hidden in the shinobi world. First, it was Natsuo, who possesses the perfect Susanoo, which left the Bito, completely confused then Terumi Mei appeared, who showed surprising combat power by being able to stop the perfect Susanoo for a while. This made Akatsuki very distrustful of her. Anyway, within Akatsuki, except for Nagato himself, who still has a strong self-confidence, no one else has the confidence to take the six tails of Kurigika, guarded by Terumi Mei. It's okay in the end Nagato will end up taking action. But then another problem appeared. The strongest Kazuki Ij, Rasa another high-level power that was able to fight against Natsuo's Susanoo. And although he lost, he still demonstrated a very surprising level of power. Akatsuki's morale was greatly affected again, just like with Terumi Mei. They weren't sure if they could take one tail away from Rasa. The Jinchuriki themselves are not weak. They often do not go out, and usually there are thousands of shinobi guarding the village. Once Akatsuki tries to snatch the tailed beast, they will not stand by and wait for death. Atachi sighed softly. Other than Terumi Mei and Rasa who are only under you, Akatsuki really doesn't have the confidence to catch the tailed beast smoothly. Due to all this, they have decided to take measures soon to prevent more unforeseen events from occurring. After all, the fourth shinobi world war has just ended even Sanagaka which suffered the least damage and gained the greatest advantage, actually lost many shinobi, and its strength has decreased. Not to mention Kumogaka and Awagaka, who had the biggest loss. Won't they take advantage of the weakest period of the shinobi villagers to act? Are they really waiting for the resurrection of the Three Tails, and for them to recover before taking action? Ichiha Atachi sighed deeply. In fact, there are only about two years left until the Three Tails are resurrected, and the large shinobi villagers will not be able to regain too much power in these two years. But even with this little time, Akatsuki does not dare to bet. Sanagika, Kurigika and Konohagika, they are the biggest obstacle to capturing the tailed beasts. Although ordinary shinobi often find it difficult to participate in high-level battles, it's not really that they are helpless. Shinobi are all mortal. Enough shinobi can kill someone of cage level. The third rakage is a clear example of this. Without Terumi Mei and Rasa, Akatsuki is not in a hurry and can quietly wait for the resurrection of Three Tails. But Akatsuki now no longer dares to wait for even the slightest additional help. Natsuo. So, is it my influence again? Natsuo, you have to be careful. Ichiha Atachi said seriously. Don't forget that the Nine Tails is in Konoha. Although Atachi has reconciled with Sasuke and Makoto, he still carries the stigma of murdering his clan. Although he personally doesn't care, Sasuke doesn't want to see his brother left in the dark. For this reason, he decided to become Hokage. If I become Hokage, I can pardon my brother, and even expose the orders of third Hokage and Danzo, so that Atachi can return to Konoha openly. Sasuke's heart was burning. This is his next action goal. He didn't even intend to ask Natsuo for help, because Sasuke knows that forgiving Atachi, even though he has been manipulated by the third Hokage and Danzo, is a selfish action on his part after what Itachi did. So after Itachi left, he quickly found Jiraiya, who was obsessed with the Achiha club and couldn't get out of it, captured him, and then rushed him to begin his travels. Jiraiya's contacts are a great help for him to become Hokage. After deciding to become the next Hokage, Sasuke now wants to start his journey with him more than Jiraiya himself. Jiraiya was a little dazed, especially because he was a bit too addicted recently, so he didn't want to leave. He couldn't help but say, Sasuke, 
I don't think the trip is urgent, why don't we stay a few more days? You and I will be traveling for a long time, you won't miss your family, you won't want to be separated from them, right? Sasuke gave him a sideways look. Do you think I'm not willing to part with my family? You are the one who is not willing to part with the young women of the club. Sasuke, who is familiar with being a good wingman, simply said, Icheha Entertainment Street is good, but it only has escorts from Kanoha. There are countless people outside the village waiting to meet you. The Great Toad Sage shouldn't be limited to just one village. It wouldn't be fair to the girls of the world. After saying nonsense, Sasuke added in a low voice, I brought a lot of money, enough for you and me to party until we don't even know who we are. Jiraiya's heart flooded suddenly, and her eyes lit up. You invite. I invite. Come on. This is a trip that simply cannot be postponed any longer. After the Shinobi World War ended, and taking into account the agreement he made with Inoki as well as Rasa's personality, Natsuo decided to begin searching more openly for elite Jonin level Kinochi with a KK Genkai, or those with the potential to reach the cage level throughout the Shinobi world to marry into the Ichiha clan. Upon hearing this news, except for Inoki and Rasa, the senior leaders of the different villages were confused by the information. You, Natsuo, are looking for marriage, so you came to a side. Meanwhile in Karigaka Dam Natsuo, how many women do you want? Terumi Mei said with fury in her eyes as she read the report on Natsuo's actions. After all, he is also the man who took her body. How can he be such a womanizer? However at this time, so Terumi Mei, what are you going to do? An old voice sounded. After hearing that voice Terumi Mei calmed down and replied, Elder Genji, why are you here? Elder Genji spent much of his life contributing to the development of Kurigaka. Because of this he is as important within the village as his Mizukage, and his advice is sought when it comes to the most important matters of the village, essentially making him the law of Kurigaka. During the era of Bloody Mist, he was the one who united the Kirinin, based on the prestige accumulated throughout his life. No matter how the fourth Mizukage controlled by Abito behaves like a monster, the fact that Kurigaka has managed to remain without being completely destroyed is mainly due to the contribution of this old man. At the same time, he is also the strongest supporter of Terumi Mei. I came here to ask you about your decision. Genji has not yet reached the level of looking like an old man about to die like in the Naruto series. Although he is aging and speaks very slowly, his thinking is still clear. Are you going to continue not wanting to confront him? Elder Genji said, looking at Terumi Mei's big belly. She is different from Rasa, who hid the truth about her confrontation with Natsuo from everyone. Although the matter between Terumi Mei and Natsuo is kept secret from almost all the Kirinin, but she did not hide it from this old man. Because Terumi Mei knows that this old man only has Kurigika's best interests at heart, and would not use her situation to gain an advantage, and increase his power. At the same time, her belly is getting bigger and bigger. Without this old man's cooperation, it will be difficult for her to hide it from others within Kurigika. Faced with Elder Genji's questioning, Terumi may remain silent. But his silence also meant an affirmative answer to Elder Genji's question. Confused, Elder Genji slammed his staff on the ground fiercely and scolded. Terumi may, let me ask you, do you think your title of the strongest Mizukage is reliable? Once someone starts having doubts about your battle against Natsuo or doesn't agree with your decisions, are you going to fight with your big belly? Terumi may was speechless. Elder Genji sighed softly. Young lady, do not affect your thinking by pride or jealousy. Ichiha Natsuo being obsessed with having children and reviving his clan is actually a good thing for us. And the fact that he continues to look for wives will allow our countries to contact him, thus reducing the likelihood that he will become the next Ichiha Madara and attack our villagers for no reason. So you not only need to go with him, but also convince the Kunochi who meet the requirements to marry him. Genji said firmly, This is the best way we have to survive under the suppression of invincible power. When faced with the interests of a nation or in this case a shinobi village, there are no moral principles, only benefits. And this is the same attitude that the four major shinobi villages besides Kanoha had towards the first Hokage and Ichihamadara back then. I understand, Elder Genji. Terumi Mei took a deep breath. I will make arrangements in another month after my child is born. I will take care of my body, and after recovering, I will go with the baby to visit him. I'll try to live in the Ichiha clan for a while. Elder Genji smiled when he heard this. Now Terumi Mei has fully grown up. I can hand over the responsibility of the Mizukage completely to her. On the other hand, the other large shinobi villagers also took the same approach. Just as Elder Genji said, when faced with someone who can destroy a country single-handed they can only look for ways to ensure their safety. Of course, shinobi villagers also have different ideas, but their actions are very consistent. The result is the Kinuchi will come to the Echiha clan from all sides. After several days since Natsuo extended his search range for wives to the entire shinobi world, he finally managed to find 15 Kinuchi who met his requirements. After all, for a Kinuchi with a KK Genkai to reach the elite Jonin level is very difficult to achieve. Even so, Natsuo managed to accept five new wives. Although he originally had many wives, those with elite shonen strength did not number more than 10. This time, the number of wives with a higher lineage increased by 50%. This is the reputation of the number one shinobi, 
but the most important thing is the cooperation of the four great shinobi villages. Natsuo realized it quickly because he was able to find information about those Kinochi quickly, and they were able to reach the Achiha clan so easily to marry him. Among the five great shinobi villages in the world, the Kinochi of Kinoha who meet Natsuo's requirements and are willing to marry him, are already his wives. So this time it is mainly the contribution of the four great shinobi villages. Among them, Sanagika sent an elite Jonin level Kinoji. It should be known that elite Jonin itself is the highest level of a shinobi village, and already occupies a position in the political system. It is the highest level under the cage. Although people like Jiraiya, Chiyo, Amayuri and others have cage level strength, but the village title is still elite Jonin. At most, they have one more title of elder Sanagika itself takes the elite soldier route due to lack of resources. It is very difficult for a shinobi to reach that level, and even more difficult for a kunoichi, with a KK Genkai to achieve it. But even so, they were still able to allow one of them to agree to marry into the Achiha clan. Obviously Rasa played a key role. Without Rasa's prestige to overwhelm others, that Kinochi might not have even married Natsuo. Although Natsuo has shown overwhelming power, and despite having many wives, he still treats them very well. But as an elite Jonin, she is a high-level member of the village. When Pakura found out about this, she almost went crazy, calling Rasa a traitor who undermined the foundations of Sunagaka, just to gain Natsuo's favor. She almost forcibly broke the impure world reincarnation's control, and went to assassinate Rasa. Karigaka also allowed Akinochi to also go to the Achiha clan to marry Natsuo. As with Rasa, this was achieved with the help of Terumi Mei, using her prestige. As for Awagaka there was a problem. Although Anoki tried hard and used all the means at his disposal, he could not find Akinochi who met the requirements. After the losses during the war, Kumogaka found it very difficult to convince the Kinochi to marry Natsuo. But in the end they also sent an elite Jonin. As for the other two, they are wandering Kinochi who are tired of the chaos in the shinobi world, and have fallen in love with the stability that the Achiha clan can provide them. Although their strength is poor, but their talents and lineage are comparable to those of the shinobi of large shinobi villages. Also because they had a life full of obstacles, it is more difficult for them to want to betray the Achiha clan. I'm afraid that after this, the Kinochi of the shinobi world have been exhausted. Natsuo began to reflect. It seems that now I can only focus on strengthening my wives. Of course, there are still many elite jonin level Kinochi in the shinobi world who did not join the Ichiha clan. After all, even though this is a world with a feudal culture, there are women who will not be able to accept entering a harem, no matter how many benefits Natsuo can offer. Natsuo's eyes showed the pattern of Manjekyo. It seems that I need to work hard again. During this period of time, Natsuo was extremely tired, not only because of the work that goes into reviving the Ichiha clan, but also because he is now focusing on resurrection research. Besides, he has to spend time with his children and check on the most important matters of the Ichiha clan. On the other hand, the Kanoha shinobi were upset. Why Natsuo marries so many foreign women? Natsuo, are you from Kanoha or a foreign son-in-law? Damn Natsuo, does he regard himself as a Kanoha shinobi? Yutatane Kahara looked furious. There are so many foreign Kinochi in the Achiha clan. Aren't you afraid that they will harm the village? Yes, how can a Kanoha shinobi marry foreign shinobi? Mitakado Hamura also said angrily. What is he trying to do? Betray the village. Tsunade, as Hokage, shouldn't you order him to cut back on those out-of-village girls? Tsunade glanced at the two elders. There is a precedent for Kanoha shinobi in foreign marriages. And I will not blame Natsuo for this reason. Who married a foreign shinobi? Hamura snorted coldly. We Kanoha shinobi don't have such a person. In fact, before Naruto's generation, Kanoha shinobi did not marry shinobi from other villages. Likewise, other shinobi villages have never married people outside of their own village. After all, conflicts often broke out in the shinobi world, not to mention the conflicts in daily missions. A shinobi world war every 10 years is enough for the shinobi of major countries to be directly filled with blood feuds. However, Tsune just said calmly, My grandfather married a Kinochi from another village. Do you have any objections? Hamura opened his mouth wide, but he couldn't say anything. In the end, Yuta Tenkaharu found a reason from a woman's point of view. Tsunade, you are married to him, and yet he accepts random wives, doesn't this insult the Hokage's prestige? You need to maintain the Hokage's majesty, Yuta Tenkaharu said with a sad face. How can you allow him to be so reckless? Tsunade shuddered, and her face darkened. To be honest, as a cage-level Kinochi, besides being the Hokage, Tsunade naturally cannot lack pride. How could she wish her husband had more wives? What can she do? Although she feels indignant, and wants to beat him to death, in the end she can only endure it. Is that why that guy Natsuo has always placed so much importance on his little childhood sweetheart? Because that girl hopes with all her heart to grow the Achiha clan. Tsunade frowned. Natsuo's childhood sweetheart and also his first wife, Yukino. To be honest, Yukino's talent is very mediocre even with the almost endless supply of the Achiha clan's resources, and Natsuo constantly strengthening her through the Renshin Okanke. 
But so far she has barely reached the Jonin level, considering the amount of resources and time Natsuo has invested in her to strengthen her, could have strengthened several of his other wives to a much higher level. But Natsuo feels very fond of her, she is in charge of all the administration of the Achiha clan, and only answers to Natsuo. He even created a think tank with experts in different areas of life to help him make decisions in the management of the Achiha clan. Furthermore, he has always cared about strengthening her, and since obtaining the wrench in Okanke, he has always taken the time to spend time with her, otherwise with her talent, he would not be able to have her current level. Seeing this, many of his wives become very jealous. But Natsuo knows that if he had never had the system, and he had reached the level he has now, only Yukino would have continued to love him. Especially after Natsuo became the strongest in the shinobi world, this jealousy reached its peak. After all, Yukino really has no bloodline or strength, not to mention financial and material resources, she doesn't even have good business acumen, and her appearance is even surpassed by Tsunade and others. Many people, including some of Natsuo's wives, think that Yukino is not good enough for Natsuo. However, Natsuo still handed over the power of the Achiha clan to her, protecting her many times. Yukino is also worthy of Natsuo's trust despite the favor shown by him. She treats everyone fairly and equitably, even this time when Natsuo searched for wives all over the shinobi world, Yukino helped, without any complaints Tsunade. Don't you think this is Natsuo's disrespect for you? Yutaten Kaharu was still trying hard to reprimand the scumbag. Which villager's cage will be someone else's concubine? Anyway, if I were you, I would never be able to bear it. That's right. Mitakado Hamura also nodded and said, This is really embarrassing for Hokage. Tsunade snorted and glanced at the two elders. What a shame for the Hokage. Well, he is really embarrassing. But although she was angry, she was not stupid, knowing that these two old men did not have the kindness to think about her. They are alienating the relationship between the two. The Hokage of the Senju clan naturally has a good prestige in the hearts of the Kanoha Shinobi. As the strongest shinobi, Natsuo stood directly behind her, although he never disrupted Kanoha's affairs. Who would dare not take his deterrent power seriously? Therefore, Sune borrowed Natsuo's power, and easily suppressed the forces left by the third Hokage. Even the clans of the Hokage's advisors were forced by her to let go of the benefits they had hoarded over the years. None of them wanted to be oppressed, but they did not dare to resist the Hokage openly. They didn't dare to secretly set a trap for Tsunade. If Tsunade became enraged, both she and Natsuo would not let them escape. So they planned to alienate the relationship between the two of them. Tsunade snorted softly, but Kaharu and Hamura looked at each other, their eyes shining. Indeed, Tsunade didn't want Natsuo to take more wives either, maybe they could do something. Natsuo didn't break the law, unless Kanoha's law is changed. I won't do anything, Tsunade said indifferently. But at the next village meeting, maybe we can discuss legal issues. The two elders suddenly smiled. The monthly village meeting where only Jonin level shinobi can attend. Kaharu and Hamura spent a lot of energy, contacted their old department, and decided to bring their own shinobi to promote the implementation of the new law. Anyway, it was Tsunade who finally agreed. Can Natsuo really kill us? Hamura privately said to his subordinates, Don't be afraid, in Kanoha, even the strongest person in the shinobi world still has to follow the rules. Back then, Echiha Madara was under the control of the second Hokage. Besides, Natsuo is not Echiha Madara. Everyone nodded, thinking that what Elder Hamura said was a very reasonable thing. Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura entered the conference room with their own shinobi, advancing with a firm step. But when they saw the scene inside, a drop of cold sweat slid down their foreheads. Natsuo stood next to Tsunade with a smile, then helped Tsunade in a very intimate way, so that she, who had already started to grow a belly, could sit down safely. Natsuo Hamura's eyes widened. Why are you here? Oh, it's Elder Hamura. Natsuo squinted his eyes and said with a smile, it's so strange. Isn't this the village meeting? I'm also a Jonin from Kanoha. Why can't I attend? Well, there is nothing wrong with what you said. But the problem is that you never came to this kind of meeting before. Why did you suddenly come now? If you come then how dare we propose before you the law that prohibits people from other villages to marry in Kanoha. Yutaten Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura were very panicked, and the subordinates behind them were also terrified. It is normal to make laws at the meeting. Anyway, if a law can be implemented, it must be approved by the majority of people. Even if Natsuo really wants to do something, Tsunade, as Hokage, can't just sit back and watch him kill all the Jonin in Kanoha. But in front of Natsuo even if he didn't kill them on the spot, aren't they afraid of being hated by the strongest shinobi in the world? In an instant, all the shinobi panicked. Ordinary shinobi may not know about the advisor's suppression of the Ajiha clan, but they, as shinobi with political power, know more or less some things. At first, Natsuo only killed some members of the Shimura clan, but after that he did nothing more to the Saratobi, Shimura Yudatane, and Mitakado clans. But now, if he is provoked, he may no longer stay still. The elders are here. Come, come, please take a seat. Tsunade said with a smile. After we sit down, the meeting should begin. Yutaten Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura were led by an attendant to their seats in a dazed state, their bodies trembling the entire time. First of all, the first matter. Tsunade started the meeting. Elders Yutaten Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura proposed to prohibit intermarriages between Shinobi from Kanoha and Shinobi from other villages. 
Do you have any comments? As she spoke, Natsuo looked at them with a smile. Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura panicked even more. The other shinobi said nothing. Comment. What to say? Didn't you see Natsuo looking at them with a smile? The next second, the Saratobi clan patriarch stood up without hesitation and said loudly, Hokage-sama I speak for the Saratobi clan, and I think there is something wrong with the two elders' proposal. The first Hokage married a woman from another village. Did we say something he said bitterly? You actually want to establish this kind of law. You still have a conscience. Yutadane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura looked with wide eyes at the patriarch of the Saratobi clan, who a moment ago was together with them discussing how to pressure Natsuo through Tsunade. The other shinobi also looked at him strangely, but the leader of the Saratobi clan also has difficulties. The Saratobi clan has old grudges with Natsuo, and does not want him to use this reason to retaliate against them. However, except for the leader of the Saratobi clan, no one else spoke. As a result, this meeting became a one-man show for the leader of the Saratobi clan. The leader of the Saratobi clan was not afraid of shame. After waiting a while and seeing that no one else spoke, he continued to denounce those traitors, thinking that they were not worthy of being a Kanohu shinobi at all, and that he should be expelled from the village registry. Natsuo just smiled as he watched the spectacle in front of him. Both Yutatane Kaharu and Midakado Hamura were stunned, and the shinobi behind them felt a chill in their hearts for a moment, because when Natsuo looked at them, a boundless murderous aura swept over them. I am against the proposal of Elder Yutatane Kaharu and Elder Midakado Hamura. Our village cannot be closed like this. That's right, we have the freedom to marry our other half. They spoke one after another without hesitation for fear that a knife would stab them a second later. Natsuo watched their performance with a smile. Oh, that's how you see it. And what do you think? What do you think about this matter? As he spoke, he looked at the leaders of the other great clans. The representatives only felt the unlimited pressure. They silently swallowed a mouthful of saliva and said one after another. Yes, I think so too. Kanoha should be an inclusive shinobi village. Oh, so doesn't support the proposal of the two elders. Tsunade asked with a smile. I don't support it. Everyone said in unison with an extremely firm attitude. Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura embarrassedly discovered that in the entire meeting. It seems that except for their two votes, the others are against votes. I see. Tsunade narrowed her eyes. Then this proposal has been rejected next is Natsuo's proposal. Natsuo proposed to cancel the privileges of the two elders, Yudatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura. What do you think about it? After Tsunade finished speaking, Natsuo smiled and said, The two elders have worked hard and made great contributions to Konoha. Now that they are getting older, we, as the younger generation, cannot allow the elders to drag their tired bodies to work for Konoha. I think it's better to let the two elders live their lives and enjoy the family happiness. What do you guys think? He looked over with a smile. Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura's eyes widened even more. Get older. Well, actually we're not that young anymore. But we can still do it. But others said without hesitation. That's right, the two elders are too old. I don't think old people should be forced to work too much. In Kanoha we have always respected elders, how can we let the elders do such hard work? I agree with Natsuo-sama. Everyone spoke one after another, but their hearts were cold. At today's meeting, everyone knew that the two elders wanted to drive a wedge between Natsuo and Tsuna, but this way of counter-attacking it's like Ichihamadara back then. Everyone sighed inwardly. The people of Ichihamadara's time are no longer alive. Even Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura who are of the same generation as Third Hokage, can only be said to be rising stars back then. They were not in the high-level circle of Kanoha, and they did not understand the political situation of Ichihamadara in Kanoha. But all the major families have recorded the history of that period. Ichihamadara often used his murderous aura to intimidate clan leaders at the village meeting, forcing them to accept his suggestions. It's not that Ichihamadara is deliberately playing tricks. In fact, Ichihamadara's proposals were all from Kanoha's point of view. In many cases, he even insisted on supporting Senja Hashirama's proposals, forcing everyone to be obedient. After all, clan leaders are not all wise and powerful, and some people are even arrogant people who shamelessly demand benefits from Kanoha. Although Senjo Hashirama is strong, he has a gentle temperament and never threatens others, giving those clan leaders room to play. But Achiha Madara never used to these guys. Relying on the power of Achiha Madara and the charisma of the first Hokage, Konohagaka is a pioneer in the shinobi village system, did not have many problems. And now Natsuo stood behind Tsune with a smile on his face. But the murderous aura that was madly released left everyone shocked. Tsunade snickered to himself. Although she has the bonus of the Senja clan, she actually has a lot of troubles. Some creditors even went directly to the Hokage building to collect debts with the secret support of the two elders. The fact that she married Natsuo even caused secret protests from many clan leaders, saying that they will disobey the Hokage's orders is probably going too far. But a little delay, a little problem, and then the elders use this to suppress the Hokage's prestige. And now no matter what the higher level shinobi think in their hearts, they are all praising the fifth Hokage's policy on the surface. Tsunade looked excited, as if she had reached the apex. After all, many decrees were passed one after another that were for the good of the village, but they would weaken the power of the shinobi clans, and could not be passed at all before this, including but not limited to the retirement of Yutatane Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura. 
the resignation of their subordinates, Kinoha's anti-corruption actions, the training system of medical men, and distribution standards, etc. with Natsuo on the platform behind, even if they were reluctant, the Jonin had to agree one after another. Tsunade is energetic even being pregnant and knowing she shouldn't get too excited. But her passionate mood can't stop at all. This is what it means to be the true Hokage. The village meeting ended, and everyone left one after another with bitter faces. No one dared to disobey. Because Tsunade directly recognized Natsuo as the leader of Anbu, and had the right to kill and interrogate all those who pose a danger to the village. Furthermore, they all know that these policies are not harmful to the village, it only affects their personal benefits. And although everyone knew that due to Natsuo's obsession with reviving the Achiha clan, there was a high probability that he would not personally inspect his work. But once someone caused Tsunade's dissatisfaction, she could directly send Natsuo to make some people disappear. And they knew that in the end, no one would ask anything. Soon after the meeting, only Tsunade and Natsuo were left. Tsunade was quite happy at this moment. She had been Hokage for over a year, and only now did she truly experience having the power of decision in her hands. It can only be said that Yutade and Kahara and Mitakado Hamura are really obstacles for the Hokage. Even in the Boruto series time period, Naruto has a major headache facing the stubborn forces led by Yudatain Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura. Because of this Natsuo decided to take advantage of this moment to get rid of them once and for all, and let Tsunade's job be easier. Now Tsunade is full of ambition and fighting spirit. Natsuo, I will be able to manage Kanoha well. Let this village be in my hands, and let it bloom again. In fact, she also understands that Natsuo cannot defend her at every village meeting, not to mention that this could generate dissatisfaction among the village's shinobi clans. But she is still confident that she can lead the village on a new path, okay? Go ahead. Natsuo smiled lightly. I believe in you. Chem PH, look well. Tsunade snorted softly and then smiled. Speaking of which, it's unlucky for them to actually want to suppress you. The reason Yutaten Kahara and Mitakado Hamura dare to sow discord is because Natsuo has been focused on reviving the Achiha clan for too long, so he is not involved in Kanoha's politics at all. They were originally worried about Natsuo taking power, but now that he hasn't done anything for so long, it's obvious that he has no interest in power. That also gave them room for more of their ambitions, and they thought they could suppress Natsuo. Like Ichiha Madara he was repressed back then, where despite being one of the strongest people in the world, he was forced to leave the village in shame. They have been used to suppressing people stronger than them for too long, that they have forgotten that in the face of real power. Their tricks are of no use. There was a slight snare in Tsunade's eyes. Why did all the villagers suppress internal discontent when Natsuo searched the entire shinobi world for wives and sent their Kinochi to marry him? It is not because they know that when personal power reaches a certain level, the tricks they use in politics are of no use. In contrast, the Kanoha elders still think they can use their tricks to control both Natsuo and Tsunade to increase their power within the village. Yes, Natsuo also smiled, he just stood up and cleaned them all up. After Natsuo finished laughing, he reminded Tsunade. Tsunade, don't forget about the Chihai Tachi. I understand. Tsunade raised his head, because Natsuo helped Tsunade clean up Kanoha, and after he explained to her the many ins and outs of the Achiha clan's genocide, in addition to Natsuo's assurances that Atachi can be controlled by him at any time, if he decides to harm his family. Therefore she was willing to accept the request to allow Atachi to return to the village. This is Achiha Makoto's request, and Natsuo will not forget it. After all, Makoto has already promised a lot of benefits in advance, as long as the resurrection is successful. The payment will be made immediately, and the satisfaction is guaranteed speed up. We must accelerate the investigation into the resurrection. Natsuo thought, I can't believe I can't solve this problem. At this village meeting, Tsunade was finally able to clean up the mediocre people of Kanoha, represented by Yudaten Kaharu and Mitakado Hamura and can now do what she thinks is best for Kanoha, without having to worry about obstacles being thrown at her every step. Although she is aware that her ideas may not always be correct, she is confident that everything she does will only be for the benefit of Kanoha, and not for her own benefit. Even if she doesn't have much skill, now that a large number of corrupt personnel have been eliminated, it will bring an increase in the efficiency of Kanoha's operations. This also opens up opportunities for individuals who were previously unable to advance because they did not belong to the clans of senior management members, allowing for more equitable recognition of their skills. Furthermore, many of the improvements that were suggested by Natsuo can now be implemented, since those stubborn people are no longer to be found. Not to mention that Tsunade is very good at management, and has been in charge of the medical unit since its creation. So she has a lot of experience, she will definitely make Kanoha rise to a higher level. On the other hand, Natsuo continued with the activities to revive the Achiha clan, spending a lot of energy and part of his time. He also continued to strengthen his wives during the process. Two months later, his wives became pregnant one after another, and there are some women who have given birth during this time. But the birth he was most looking forward to was his son with Terumi Mei. 
Offspring plus 1, the comprehensive potential evaluation is 222, you get Chakra plus 20, Devil Fruit Zone type dog dog fruit, model, Shiba Inu. Natsuo looked at the round fruit with weird patterns in his hand, and fell silent. The rewards of the system also include items. Natsuo did not expect this, but if you analyze it from a point of view where it is possible, it seems normal. In the Shinobi world, there are no unique tools that can be rewarded by the system, and the treasured tools of the Sage of Six Baths. I considered the limit of this world, so the probability of them being rewarded compared to the amount of ninjutsu, senjutsu, or KK Genkai that exist is very low. It's normal that Natsuo didn't notice it all the time, but this is good news. Natsuo smiled. There may not be many useful items in the shinobi world, but other worlds are different. For example, the devil fruit from the world of One Piece. This is a strange fruit known as the secret treasure of the sea. It can endow the user with very special abilities, but it will be cursed by the sea and lose the ability to swim. Although it is just a common zone type devil fruit, it can also bring many benefits to people. It's just that the enhancement brought by the devil fruit cannot be inherited. Natsuo frowned. In One Piece world, offspring will not inherit the devil fruit ability. Natsuo does not believe that it is impossible to achieve in the Naruto world, where biological technology is very advanced. But now he does not have time or resources to dedicate to studying this topic. If the ability cannot be passed on to the offspring, this devil fruit is not of much use to my wives. So who should I give it to? Natsuo touched his chin. He definitely wouldn't eat it. Not to mention it's an ordinary devil fruit even if it was a loja type, he wouldn't eat it. Natsuo would not consume something that could have a negative impact on him, and add a weakness. Even if you consider giving it to his wives this is just a devil fruit with limited potential. Natsuo believes that he will get better rewards in the future, so that he can give them something better. Now that he thinks about it, the zone type devil fruit has a hybrid form, and considering that this is a fruit from the Dog Dog series, then she's the perfect candidate Natsuo's eyes lit up, and he headed to the area where Samui was under house arrest. The situation developed as Natsuo expected, after Samu ate the devil fruit, she quickly mastered the hybrid form, and became a half-beast girl. The two dog ears are very expressive and fluffy, making people want to touch them just by seeing them. Besides, when he pulled her tail Natsuo was very happy for a few days. He also took advantage of this time to use illusions to see if she was still loyal to her village or had agreed to stay in the Achea clan. The results left Natsuo satisfied, and considering that in the end Samui didn't hurt anyone, he decided to set her free again. Although she will still have to earn everyone's trust, she will no longer live under house arrest. After that Natsuo continued with his task of reviving the Achiha clan, although he still could not get rid of the temptation of the half-beast girl. During the days when Natsuo worked hard, other people were not idle. After Naruto heard the news that Sasuke had left with Jiraiya, he made a fuss and began scolding him for betraying the Achiha clan and going with a stranger to train. But after a few days, he started causing trouble again seeing that there was no one to teach him in the Ichihai clan, wanting to find a teacher just like Sasuke. So he began to stalk Kakashi into teaching him the Chidori. This left Kakashi helpless. My ninjutsu needs affinity with lightning type chakra. If you don't have it even if I try to teach you, you won't be able to learn it. But Naruto still didn't care. He insisted that Kakashi teach him. After all, although both Naruto and Sasuke always compared everyone with what Natsuo taught them, but now that he no longer has time to teach them, there are not many shinobi in Kanoha who are stronger than Kakashi, who can be Naruto's teacher, Tsunade's Hokage. She works a lot during the week and is pregnant, so she needs to rest more, so naturally she won't have students. Although Mike Guy is very strong, when he doesn't use eight inner gates, he is just an ordinary jonin, and he doesn't show too much combat power at all. Naruto doesn't know his level, Natsuo is strong enough and is also happy to teach him how to practice, but between his wives and teaching his children, plus Naruto no longer being the outcast child who once had no one, Natsuo can no longer spare time to spend with him. Jiraiya and Sasuke went out without Naruto. Naturally, only Kakashi is left. Even if Kakashi and Naruto are not the same type of shinobi, it is troublesome to teach, and the progress is not great. But Naruto keeps pestering him to be his master. Seeing Kakashi's helpless expression, Natsuo almost wanted to recommend Naruto to go find Orochimaru. However, although Kakashi cannot teach Naruto many things, Natsuo found that Naruto's chakra was becoming more and more fluid. Even during one of his practices, Natsuo could feel that there was a strange chakra in Naruto's body. When he came closer to check, Natsuo was surprised. This is the Nine Tails chakra. Does Naruto get along with the Nine Tails? Well, it's not surprising, rather you could say, as expected of the Son of Destiny. On the other side, Niji's strength is also constantly improving. Although an evolutionary route to the Tensigen has not yet been found, Niji is still a genius. After Natsuo taught him the sun breathing he attempted to integrate it into Gentle Fist, which led him to develop a new technique which changes the shape of the chakra released by both hands into large shrouds shaped like a fire dragon. This greatly increases the range and its destructive power. Dragon heads release flames that burn those who touch them. After seeing Niji's progress, Ino and the others began training with him. During practical combat Niji even began to carry weights on his body. Because of this, Ino and the others progress has become more and more evident 
but they have not won even once. Although Sakura didn't receive much teaching from Kakashi, nor did she gain favor from Tsunade, but she somehow managed to get Shizune to teach her her medical ninjutsu. It is not known how she achieved this, since unlike the Naruto series, Naruto has no influence on Tsunade and Shizune, but Shizune is actually one of the best medical nin in Kanoha, second only to Tsunade. Teaching a Sakura who is just getting started is a breeze. Everyone is progressing steadily. During this time a message spread throughout the Shinobi world. The Five Tails Jinchuriki Han and the Four Tails Jinchuriki Roshi of Awagaka have disappeared. And the culprit of their disappearance is Akatsuki. Because of this, Awagaka's situation became very complicated. Anoki's prestige is no longer enough to suppress Awagaka's internal contradictions. And Jinchuriki Han also frantically provoked Anoki, opposing his conservative views hoping to carry out the reform of Awagika, and seek more benefits from the outside world. Because Anoki made the land of Earth seed territory to the land of fire, and strongly supported Natsuo seeking wives in Awagika, Han firmly raised the flag against Anoki a long time ago, and immediately gained the support of many shinobi. It can be said that Han is a popular candidate for the next Tsuchikichi in Awagika. On the other hand, Anoki knew that his abdication was the best choice. While he suppressed the internal conflicts in Awagika, and contacted his granddaughter to see if he could gain Natsuo's support, he was still working hard for the fourth Tsuchikich candidate, and the candidate he selected is Jinchuriki Roshi. Roshi has a free and uninhibited personality, as well as a stubborn one. Although he can be as stubborn as Anoki, he is still an excellent shinobi. In fact, neither of them is a very good candidate. Awagaka's conservative atmosphere makes people less tolerant of the Jinchuriki. Anoki wanted his son Kitsuchi to inherit the position of Tsuchikich, but Kitsuchi was implicated by himself, which aroused great opposition in the village, so he chose Roshi. After all, there are barely any cage-level shinobi left in Awagaka. Although Anoki's prestige has been greatly reduced, after all, he has been Tsuchikage for decades, and his subordinates still have some strength. With Anoki's support, Roshi was elected as the next Tsuchikage during the village's Jonin meeting with a slight lead. As long as Anoki reports to the Daimyo of the Land of Earth, he will become the next generation of Tsuchikage. Then Anoki began to prepare for Roshi to become the next Tsuchikage. He then sent Roshi to go to the capital of the Land of Earth, hoping to gain the Daimyo's support. However, he had not yet reached the capital, the Akatsuki attack arrived. It was Kakuzu and Haiden who came. After a fierce battle, Roshi was defeated and seriously injured, leaving only one shinobi who had been selected as a shadow guard, and he contacted Anoki regardless of life and death. Upon receiving the news, Anoki panicked. He then roared in anger and scolded the people who dared to kidnap Roshi. After venting she ordered that the clues left from the battle be investigated, but in the end, nothing was found. Although Haiden is not good at hiding, Kakuzu is a veteran shinobi who knows how to clean up his own tracks, especially after he captured Kuratsuchi. He already understood a little about Anoki's tracking methods. Anoki was unable to locate them, but from the few clues he managed to gather, he suspected that it was Akatsuki who did it, and he immediately contacted them and questioned them harshly. Of course, Akatsuki didn't answer him. Anoki hoped that at this time, when Awagaka was filled with internal conflicts, fighting a battle against Akatsuki could divert the problems, and through this battle, demonstrate Awagaka's power. However, this needs to be resolved by the new Tsuchikage. However, now that he has not even promoted to the position he has become a prisoner of war. Obviously, Roshi will no longer be able to serve as the Tsuchikage. Anoki can only let Han stop searching for Roshi's whereabouts, and return to the village. Anoki intends to let Han lead the war against Akatsuki to restore Oregaka's prestige. Han was still gathering information on Akatsuki, trying to find their base camp to attack them, and force them to release Roshi. However, the shinobi who was sent to contact him, sent urgent news Han, the Five Tails Jinchuriki, had disappeared. And there are obvious traces of battle left at the scene. They even attacked Han. Anoki's mouth twitched his eyes unfocused. The island in are a little confused the new Tsuchikage who just accepted the position has disappeared, and the new Tsuchikage candidate has disappeared again. So what should Awagaka do? What else can they do? Learn from Kanoha that he restored the third Hokage to take care of the village. So Anoki, who was about to let go of his rights, had to stand up again. His prestige in the village was already very low, and supporting Roshi drained the last of his prestige. Furthermore, with the subsequent disappearance of the Tsuchikage candidates, many suspect that Anoki is unwilling to relinquish power and has especially contacted Akatsuki to attack his own shinobi and suppress dissidents. Anoki had no way to defend himself since he normally had dealings with Akatsuki, so he publicly announced Akatsuki's actions and designated Akatsuki as Awagaka's key target. This damages the village's prestige and makes Awagaka a laughing stock, but there was nothing he could do. In an instant Akatsuki's name resounded throughout the shinobi world. Many people thought that Akatsuki had a grudge against Awagaka. So they were planning to use this to their advantage, and make the conflicts escalate on the other hand, Tsunade who knew all the information about Akatsuki because of Itachi, knew clearly that this was not a grudge between Akatsuki and Awagaka, and his target is the Tail Beasts. She tried to spread rumors about it to hinder Akatsuki's actions, but she doesn't know if it will be effective. 
But I have to take countermeasures. Akatsuki is collecting the tail beasts. They are definitely up to no good. Tsune gritted her teeth. She didn't believe that Natsuo could be defeated by Akatsuki. So, she did not hesitate to take Naruto to the Ichiha clan residence, and accepted him as a disciple of the Hokage. Tsunade lives in the Ichiha clan residence, and uses the excuse of her teaching to ask Naruto not to leave the Ichiha clan residence. While he stays in the Ichiha clan residence, he will naturally be protected by Natsuo. Naruto is also very happy, because Tsunade not only gave him the title of Hokage's disciple, but also taught him something every day. Even if Tsunade is pregnant, most of the time it is verbal instruction, which is also a good thing. And Shizune said, I think this is all Hokage-sama's little trick because he doesn't want to work. Tsunade-sama is pushing all the work to me again. The little secretary could only cry Natsuo just looked at them with a slight smile. If Tsunade hadn't brought Naruto, he would have brought him anyway. Akatsuki's actions were going to happen sooner or later, and apart from him, the big shinobi villagers can't stop Akatsuki's attack. Otsutsuki Kagaya, isn't she also a woman? Information about Akatsuki began to appear throughout the shinobi world. Awagaka madly attacked them, but Nagato and others, who had been psychologically prepared, naturally reduced Akatsuki's power beforehand, leaving them empty-handed. And during this time, the research of the Ichiha Research Center finally took a big leap. Orochimaru is indeed the main scientist of the shinobi world, and he was able to easily solve the problems that Yakushi Kabuto could not solve for a long time. Combined with the data from Yakushi Kabuto's research, the research commissioned by Natsuo finally came true. Based on the white Zetsu captured by Natsuo, it borrows the characteristics of some Senju Hashirama cells, incorporates with Shino's medical knowledge a Chiha Revival No. 2 was successfully created. Its effect is, improved Jonin level physical quality by 90% and mental strength by 30%. The effect of Revival No. 1 previously developed by Yakushi Kabuto and Natsuo is to improve Chunin level physical fitness by 50% and mental strength by 10%. The methods of use are similar, and they need to be taken for a long time, and the course of treatment is 2 years. Orochimaru's level of scientific research is better than Yakushi Kabuto's, Natsuo said with emotion. The effect of Revival No. 2 is significantly better than that of Revival No. 1. 30% of a Jonin's mental power is close to a Chunin's total mental power. The difference between the two potions is enormous, and with Orochimaru's efforts, the effects of Revival No. 1 and Revival No. 2 can overlap. Orochimaru, you are truly the strongest scientist in the shinobi world. Natsuo gave Orochimaru the thumbs up. Orochimaru I am grateful for your help. You flatter me Natsuo-kun. With a smile on his face, Orochimaru said softly. I also gained many benefits from the deal with the Ichiha clan White Zetsu. The precious material really stunned Orochimaru. And Ichiha's abundant funds made Orochimaru earn a lot of money. And there are many byproducts in the research. Natsuo's requirement is that it not be harmful in any way but Orochimaru doesn't care if it is harmful or not. In other words, in the eyes of ordinary shinobi, even if it is harmful to the body and reduces life expectancy, as long as it can improve their strength, they don't care. In reality, not many shinobi live to old age, many die much earlier. Orochimaru, I hope to continue cooperating with you. Natsuo said seriously. For example, improving revival number one, improving revival number two, reducing costs, increasing assimilation speed, etc. The Achiha clan looks forward to working with you. I'm looking forward to it too, Orochimaru said with his voice hoarse. But a bit of joy could still be heard in his voice. Now, with the passage of time, the original revival number one has formed a sufficient supply, and all of Natsuo's wives have begun to take this secret medicine, and their strength has also begun to increase. If it weren't for the fact that after marrying Natsuo, many girls began to be lazy, no longer seeking progress, and wasting their growth in strength. Now, in the Achiha clan there should no longer be Chunin level Kunochi. On the other hand, the effect of Revival No. 2 is exceptional, far surpassing that of Revival No. 1, and at the same time, the cost is also very expensive. The cost of one month is equivalent to ten times that of Revival No. 1. In fact, due to the mass production of Revival No. 1 by the Achiha clan, the cost decreased rapidly. Taking that into account, the actual cost of Revival No. 2 is 50 times that of Revival No. 1. Obviously, even if Achiha's property expands and his income increases, he cannot afford such a huge consumption. For now Natsuo can only manage to use the same method he used when he first developed Revival No. 1, which is to give it to only some of his wives. On the other hand, based on the deal Natsuo had with Niji, he also has a part of Revival No. 2. After all, the stronger Niji is, the easier it is for him to reform the Hayuga clan. Niji, you have to work hard. Natsuo is full of expectations for this. Niji nodded and started practicing harder. Natsuo turned around and headed to his study, and called out to his main wives. Soon, pleasant voices sounded in the room. Natsuo, I want it. I want it too. G-U-S-B-A-N-D tilde tilde give me the positions. You didn't always want to try Natsuo. As long as you promise to give me the potions, tonight I will leaving aside the advancement achieved in medicine by Orochimaru. Natsuo's research on resurrection ninjutsu has also made a breakthrough. Natsuo initially thought that it would be easy to create a container to use the Rinnegan, and then have the container sacrifice itself to revive the target, and that he would only have to fix the aspect that the person would revive in the state before their death. But then he discovered 
discovered that it was not so easy to get someone to contain the Rinnegan, so he had to continue researching a way to avoid dying when using resurrection techniques. And although he has not yet solved that problem, he did make a breakthrough and made a discovery that was involved with the soul. Natsuo discovered that the essence of the two types of ninjutsu is to use one's soul in exchange for power. It is a kind of equivalent exchange, where a soul can be released from the pure land, in exchange for one's own soul. This makes it difficult for Natsuo to do so. After all, he can't really change his life for Makoto and the others. Do I have to wait until Naruto brainwashes Nagato to take advantage of Nagato? But Naruto, who runs to the club every day, can still convince Nagato. Natsuo touched his chin. Akatsuki has already started to act, and it is estimated that he will attack Naruto soon. Naruto hasn't even learned Sage Mode yet. How can he defeat and influence Nagato? But when it comes to Sage Mode, Natsuo thought of something else. The Sacred Seal Tag This is the supreme treasure that belongs to Mount Mayaboku. The Sacred Seal Tag contains pure natural energy, which can revive anyone who is close to death once. Sage of Six Paths used the Sacred Seal Tag to revive his younger brother Otsutsuki Hamura. Although it can only be used on a person who is close to death, does in pure world reincarnation count as this type of person? Natsuo thought he could give it a try. Using the Flying Thunder Gold Kunai that he gave to Sasuke, Natsuo was able to easily contact Jiraiya. After adding a few million Ryo to the Master Disciple duo to continue visiting the clubs of the world, Jiraiya happily took Natsuo to Mount Mayaboku. He took him to see the toads at Mount Mayaboku, and explore the sage arts of Mount Mayaboku. The toads allowed Natsuo to learn from them. Natsuo didn't know if Jiraiya has enough influence, or if Natsuo's reputation as the strongest shinobi in the world is enough of a deterrent. Anyway, nothing happened to Natsuo, and he got what he wanted. Knowledge of the manufacturing method and construction principle of the sacred seal tag created by the sage toads over the centuries. Sure enough, as I thought, this sacred seal tag also seems to have the effect of repairing the soul. In fact, repairing the soul is only part of the function of the sacred seal tag. Such huge natural energy can achieve an almost omnipotent effect. Repair the soul, heal the body, restore physical strength. No wonder the great sage toad called this seal tag a treasure that was created by the sage toads over the centuries. Each sacred seal tag is estimated to be a treasure that many sage toads contributed natural energy to, and spent a lot of time doing. Natsuo immediately started researching and learning about this object, although in the end he could not solve the problems with the resurrection techniques. But thanks to the sealing techniques he was able to develop a seal to store that pure natural energy, so that he can access it whenever he wants. In other words, it is a kind of strength of a hundred seal, that allows Natsuo to store a large amount of pure natural energy, for an extended period of time in a specific point on another person's body. Once the seal is released it allows the user to use Senjutsu even if they have not learned Sage Mode Natsuo immediately went to his main wives and placed the seal on them like a trump card. Although all his wives and children had the mark of the Flying Thunder God, Akatsuki began to act ahead of time. Who knows if Otsutsuki Asiki and the Kara organization will also act in advance. Natsuo decided to start making preparations in advance. While Natsuo made arrangements in case accidents occurred during this time, he also had his clones strive to solve the resurrection problem as quickly as possible. Akatsuki's internal meeting. Leader, the seal is successful, so what shall we do next? Kakuzu frowned. There is a lot of movement in the Wagaka now, and that has affected my daily bounty hunt. Should we solve this problem once and for all? That's right. I can't hang out with Kakuzu and do my Jashinistic activities anymore. Haida nodded repeatedly. Atachi, Kisum, Scorpion and others all looked at Nagato. Although Awagika can't beat them one-on-one, -on -one, those guys who keep causing trouble are really annoying. Especially if there are some high-level shinobi nearby. They will immediately come in groups and lengthen the time. And it won't be long before Anoki comes from heaven. Atachi was caught by Anoki once. And after a fight, he finally dragged Anoki back with illusion, and then retreated safely with Kisum. Dadara, who is from Awagika, hesitated to speak. He knew what Kakuzu meant by solving it once and for all, meaning directly destroying Iwagaka. No, we won't do that kind of thing, Nagato said calmly. Catching the tail beast remains the top priority. So which one do we catch this time? Kisum said with a meaningful smile. To Kumogaka's two tails. No, we will capture the one tail of Sunagaka. Nagato remained calm. Why? Atachi frowned. Rasa is someone who has managed to fight Natsuo and hold him back for a while. Normally, shouldn't the weakest be chosen first? Because Rasa is an expert who can fight Natsuo, we have to attack him. Nagato paused and said, Otherwise, when they are fully alert, we will be in even more trouble. Zetsu also said beside him, That's right. I heard that Tsune directly accepted the Nine Tails Jinchuriki as an apprentice, and even took him to live directly in the Achiha clan, and has prohibited him from leaving the area. She should be on guard with us. Saying that everyone in Akatsuki looked at Atachi they suspected that Atachi had betrayed Akatsuki's information, which led Tsune to take this action. After all, neither Rasa nor Turumi Mei thought that Akatsuki's goal was the tailed beast. Instead, they felt that Akatsuki's goal was to attack Awagaka, only they started by attacking his Jinchuriki. 
including Kumogaka, several countries contacted Akatsuki and provided them with aid, on the condition that they continue fighting Awagaka. Only Tsunade and by extension Kanoha, hinted that Akatsuki's target was the tailed beasts, not only took precautions, but also contacted other shinobi villages. Although no one believed him, Atachi's expression was neutral, as if he didn't notice the strange glances around him. But after all, no one had any evidence, and Atachi did not reveal the slightest mistake, so everyone slowly withdrew their gazes. Nagato looked deeply at Atachi for a moment and said, Rasa and Terumi may did not discover our purpose. But if we attack Kumogaka next, as long as they are not stupid, they will definitely be able to guess our goal. Once the Jinchuriki are protected by them, they will most likely hide the Jinchuriki, and even all the shinobi villages may unite to attack us. Akatsuki members usually perform in groups of two. Besides wanting the members to keep an eye on each other, it is also to make sure that the Jinchuriki don't escape. Capturing and killing enemies are two completely different levels of difficulty. Although Jinchuriki have great stamina and recovery, if one wants to hold the target until they are incapacitated and unable to escape, sufficient combat power is needed to achieve this. This is the case for a Jinchuriki. If he is accompanied by a whole group of shinobi, the chances of achieving this will be very slim. Unless Nagato acts himself, the Akatsuki members will not be able to continue capturing the tail beasts. That's why if they want to capture the tail beasts without further problems, they must naturally take advantage of the other party's lack of vigilance and make a decisive move. I understand, but we still have to wait for the opportunity when the Jinchuriki is alone, Atachi said calmly. If the Jinchuriki is not alone, it will be very difficult to capture. But now, whether it is one tail or six tails, they all stay in their village obediently and don't go out. Are we going to bide our time? Although Rasa and Turumi Mei did not believe Tsunade's warning, they tacitly did not let their Jinchuriki leave either. Anyway, them stopping quests won't affect the village at all. Perhaps waiting for the opportunity is the best option. No, Awagaka has delayed my work too much. I can't stand it. Kakuzu shook his head without hesitation. Haydn also said, that's right, if this continues, what will happen to Jashinism? It is true that we can no longer delay our actions, Nagato reflected for a moment. Awagaka is one of the great shinobi villages can cause a lot of problems for Akatsuki. If Anoki discovers the base in Omegaka, he will implicate the people of Land of Rain. Nagato himself is not afraid of Anoki, but the Aim Nin are no match for the Island Nin at all. He doesn't want Omegaka to get hurt too much. This is the country where he and Jihiko and Conan share their ideals. Let's see if we can use some means to lure one tail and six tails out. Nagato pondered for a while. What if they can't be lured out? Sasori said. At this time they should be alert and will not let the Jinchuriki leave their villages so easily. Nagato said coldly. If you can't attract the Jinchuriki, you can also attract Rasa or Tarumimei. I don't believe they can sit back and watch their villages be attacked instead of chasing the enemy. Everyone was silent. This is indeed a good way. But the problem is that Rasa and Tarumi Mei are too strong, and those who lure them as bait may be in danger. After all, this time we are facing these two top-level shinobi, so we should pay more attention. Nagato also understood everyone's thoughts, paused and said, Four people, go deal with one tail and six tails respectively. All members of Akatsuki will participate in this operation. Sanagaka tonight, Rasa is working in the village. As the strongest Kazakij, he has already been overwhelmed by his fame. The Sunanin have carried out his every order without hesitation. The execution seems to be very fluid, and makes it seem like he is in complete control, and although some actions take a while to execute, they do their best to be quick. But once he makes a mistaken decision, Sanagaka, who will execute his orders with determination and ruthlessness, will suffer huge losses. At that time, Rasa's prestige will definitely disappear, and the village will never again have a single voice in decisions, and will have the stable atmosphere that exists now. This is unacceptable to Rasa. Therefore, he had to carefully and repeatedly reflect on each of his orders, estimate possible problems during execution, and try not to make serious mistakes. This caused him to spend a lot of energy on government affairs, but it also made Sunagaka prosper. Although the industries of the Achiha clan have begun to fill Sunagaka with vitality, Hiring several shinobi for their operations and even puppeteers have been given tasks to help in the operation of different machinery. And to keep all this running without affecting his reputation, Rasa also worked very hard. For example, tonight, even though it is already late at night, there are no pedestrians on the roads of Sunagaka, and most of them are already asleep. But he, Rasa, is still working hard in Kazakij mansion, taking care of the affairs of the village. Kazakij sama it's getting late, you should take a rest. Baki said seriously, your body is the treasure of Sunagaka, and it cannot be wasted on such ordinary government affairs. As he spoke his eyes were filled with admiration. Their Kazakij toiled hard every night, working hard for the development of the village. Among the cages of the five great shinobi villages, who tries as hard as the Kazakij. Under the leadership of Kazakij sama Sunagaka will surely achieve greater glory. Oh, is it so late already? Rasa glanced at the sky and stretched. Okay, I'll go home after I approve this document. However, Baki kept a straight face and pressed one hand on the document. 
You can leave the processing of this document to me. Kazakuj-sama, you should rest first or your body will not be able to bear it. Okay? Okay. Rasa smiled wryly. Really, Baki, you really care about me? My wife didn't care about me like that when I was here. If Kurusama is here, he will definitely praise my actions. Baki snorted softly. Believe it or not, if the Jonin in the meeting room know the current situation tomorrow, they could give me prizes. Rasa chuckled. It's actually possible. Baki also smiled. Such a smile is very common in today's Sun Agaka. Not only the children, but even the Jonin, who had always been stern, smiled and the atmosphere during the meetings was very relaxed. It is completely different from the bitter face before. This is the change brought about by the great Kazakij. This is the power of hope. Rasa smiled, then put the documents on the table, and walked to the window step by step. In the past, as the weakest cage level, in order to maintain his authority in the village, his every action was meticulously planned to exude authority. He always kept a straight face, and walked at a leisurely pace. He always kept a serious, calm and firm face. Even when she met his children when he came home, she would scold them with the most majestic expression. A smile seemed to have become a luxury for him. But now, he is used to flying over roofs and walls, jumping out of the window every day, stepping on the roof of the building indulgently to go home after all. Walking majestically through the village is too slow. And Sanagaka has more and more government affairs, so he doesn't dare to delay time on trivial things. Looking through the windows of the Kazakij mansion, it is still the grey and khaki landscape unique to Sunagaka. Rasa narrowed her eyes in satisfaction. His body is tired, but his mind is relaxed. Here is the village he loves. And this time boom, boom boom, a series of explosions sounded. Ha! Huh, Rasa suddenly opened his eyes. Then he jumped from the window, at the same time golden dust emerged under his feet, holding him firmly. He gave a loud shout. Who dares to cause trouble in Sun Agaka? In the sky, a strange big white bird carried two people on it. This guy is the strongest Kazakij, Rasa. Dadara looked down at Rasa who was stepping on the golden dust and flying. That's right, Sasori nodded calmly. Don't underestimate him, this guy is hiding quite deeply. Sasori's puppet body cannot display the movements of a living person, otherwise his eyes at this moment would definitely be full of solemnity. Rasa is too calculating to be able to hide for so long. Back then, he had been in contact with Rasa, and the reason why Rasa was able to ascend to that position was because he himself killed the third Kazakuj. At that time, Rasa performed quite poly. Apparently, he was defeated several times on the battlefield, but in reality he feigned weakness because he was powerless to suppress the internal strife within Sunagaka. He even made the decision to sacrifice Bakura, whether it was the Suna Nin or the Shinobi from other villages, they all considered him the shame of the cage level. If a Chiha Natsuo hadn't appeared out of nowhere and suppressed everything with absolute combat power, perhaps this man could have taken Sunagaka directly to counterattack Konoha and reaped huge benefits. Even I was deceived by him back then this guy should not be underestimated, Sasori said in a deep voice. I know, brother Sasori. Dadara chuckled lightly. I'm not a brat. How could I underestimate the enemy? Dadara glanced at Sasori out of the corner of his eye. Sasori nodded. Follow the plan and lure Rasa away. Understood. Dadara dropped a pile of detonating clay without hesitation. The explosive clay turned into several birds and scattered. He didn't attack Rasa, but instead targeted many buildings in Sunagaka. Do not even think about it. Rasa roared, stretched out his hands and grabbed tightly. Around Sunagaka, a large amount of gold dust erupted out of thin air. Countless gold dust particles rushed straight into the sky, quickly enveloped the flying birds transformed from explosive clay, and then Rasa squeezed them tightly. Boom, boom, boom. Sounds of explosions were heard everywhere. At the same time, dozens of gold dust hands headed straight for Dadara. This guy Dadara quickly controlled the C2 dragon, dodging the gold dust encirclement. The sky was full of gold dust forcing him to dodge back and forth quite embarrassing. Rasa, you've really become stronger. Sasori sighed softly, feeling the siege of infinite place of gold. However, in fact, it is not that Rasa has become stronger, but that Rasa now he is rich. In the past, Sanagaka was so poor that Rasa had to dig mines to compensate for the village's financial problems. Now that Sanagaka has money and the economic situation has improved, Rasa no longer has to worry about not having enough gold dust to fight. This allowed him to store a large amount of gold dust, which is critical for his ninjutsu. And Rasa, who is now rich, uses a large amount of gold dust in a single attack, and his power will naturally skyrocket. Infinite gold dust constantly besieging and suppressing the two Akatsuki members. Tadara gave a clear cry, and a newly created bird exploded violently opening an exit in the gold dust surrounding them. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Dragon C2 quickly flew away. Want to escape? Rasa looked majestic and watched the two leave. I'm afraid they are daydreaming. As he said that, infinite gold dust surged forth, dragging him to reach them quickly. Rasa continued the chase and soon reached about 10 kilometers from Sunagaka. Dadara and Sasori also finally stopped. Why don't you run away? Rasa stepped on the gold dust and slowly descended. He stared at the two people in front of him, narrowing his eyes slightly. Looking at that outfit, 
Are you from Akatsuki? Awagaka is the shinobi village that Akatsuki has had the most contact with, and has naturally gathered a lot of information. Since Anoki has decided to disclose the facts, he naturally doesn't mind leaking a lot of Akatsuki's information, and causing trouble for them. Dadara and Sasori didn't reveal much information, but the clothes are too obvious. It seems that the Hokage's warning is true, and you really want to capture the Jinchuriki of Sanagaka, who gave you the courage to provoke the five great shinobi villages. Rasa snorted coldly. Of course it is because of our strength. Dadara laughed. Rasa, however, spat and sneered. Only by you. Do you dare to boast about your strength? I have seen with my own eyes what is called true strength a simple Akatsuki. Do they still want to turn the world upside down? I'd better arrest you first, and then slowly torture you. As he spoke, gold dust gushed out madly. Shoot, Dadara shouted. There was an explosion. However, after the smoke from the explosion cleared, Rasa calmly remained under the defense of the gold dust, not losing a single hair. Dadara's ninjutsu is naturally restricted by Rasa's gold dust. In the Naruto series, if Dadara had not used Sanagaka as a hostage, forcing Gara to expend a large amount of chakra to block the explosion, he might not have been young Gara's opponent. Look at this, you, the strongest Kazakiage, cannot comprehend my art. Dadara's eyes twitched, and he immediately discovered this problem. Brother, this guy still has a certain level of strength you and I have to fight together. Rasa heard this, looked at Sasori next to Dadara, and frowned slightly. He faintly felt a familiar feeling from Sasori. And when he used the puppet technique he confirmed the identity of the other party. Are you Sasori of the Red Sand? Rasa's complexion changed slightly. Did you also join Akatsuki? That's right, Sasori said calmly. Having two S rank missing then attack me together. It seems like even you guys know about my reputation. Rasa laughed out loud, but a solemn look flickered in her eyes. And his heart was beating wildly. Even if I bring enough gold dust, I still can't beat these two people. Do I need to use the whole card Natsua gave me? A look of anguish appeared in Rasa's eyes. At the same time Dadara began to launch all kinds of explosive ninjutsu. Without any hesitation, Sasori put out the puppet of third Kazakiage, the strongest Kazakiage ever. It's the third generation without a doubt. The third generation was killed by you. Rasa gritted her teeth with a bit of hatred in her eyes. This is my best collection, Sasori said with a smile. The puppet known as the strongest Kazakiage, I can get two of them in one go. Really how lucky. It's stupid. Rasa snorted coldly. Sasori? Do you really think that a mere puppet can be compared with an elite in his heyday? You puppet masters are also restrained by my ninjutsu, Rasa said proudly. Do you really think you are my opponent? Although Rasa himself is an embarrassment to the cage level, his ninjutsu really restricted the artistic combo. The three quickly confronted each other. Rasa yelled the hardest words and was beaten severely. After all, it's one against two. Being able to get so far is already considered an achievement for him. Dadara and Sasori couldn't help but have a strange feeling. This is the strongest Kazakiage. It doesn't seem to be that strong. Compared to the record of being able to face Natsuo and only be surpassed by him, it is too weak. If it only reaches this level, they didn't need to push it away at all. The two could have joined forces and defeated him at Sunagaka. The task that Akatsuki set up for the artistic combo was simply to contain Rasa, and they were prepared to even be defeated by him. It's so different from the current situation. Sasori and Dadara looked at each other. So the current situation must be. It must all be part of his conspiracy. The eyes of the two suddenly became sharp. The strongest Kazakiage, a man who has been recognized by countless people for his strategies. How could he be so weak? It must be showing the enemy's weakness and planning a counterattack in secret. As expected of the fourth Kazakiage known as the resourceful general even facing us who can be crushed by strength, we are subconsciously making some small moves. Do you think we will be tricked? We can't let him succeed. It's time to use all our strength. Sasori shouted, took out a scroll, and began to summon the puppets. I know, brother Sasori. Dadara also responded and started making bombs at the same time. Red secret technique. Performance of a hundred puppets. Although his mouth is very arrogant, Rasa was actually hit very hard. Looking at the hundreds of puppets and Dadara's action of needing the bomb, Rasa was a little speechless. Sure enough, I am still not their opponent. I was about to struggle. But now, just when Rasa was about to do something, suddenly roar. A roar of an angry beast was heard, and Sasori, Dadara, and Rasa looked in the direction of Sunagaka. Do you still have accomplices? Rasa was frightened and angry, and someone stole the house. It seems that Atachi's team has won Sasori and Dadara smiled at the same time. To deal with the strongest Kazakiage and the strongest Mizukage, Akatsuki changed from the original two-person team to the current four-person team. Sasori and Dadara are only responsible for attracting Rasa while the rest of the team is responsible for capturing one tail. Nanjekyo Sharingan, which specializes in manipulating tail beasts, and Kisum Samahada, which can absorb the tail beast chakra Atachi's group is Akatsuki's trump card. Originally we planned to let Atachi quietly suppress the tail beast Dadara smiled, but looking at Sunagaka's Jinchuriki, we can't underestimate you, and they really had to make a big noise. Shem PH? Rasa snorted angrily, and the golden dust on his feet quickly carried him in the direction of Sunagaka. Don't even think about running. Sasori's voice was deep, and hundreds of puppets rushed together. Every puppet has Jonin level, enough to conquer a country. Rasa's face turned blue, 
and he had no choice but to sprinkle gold dust to deal with the puppets. And the next second, the puppets all retreated. Rasa looked up suddenly only to see Dadara drop a giant doll-like statue. A hacko, C3. Boom. A huge explosion sounded and many puppets were destroyed. Even the dragon C2 that Dadara himself was riding in was blown far away by the explosion. It's just a pity sure enough, it's the kind I'm not good at facing. This guy's defense is really strong enough. Dadara pouted, and the strong and boundless gold dust rose again, forcibly blocking the power of the bomb. Rasa knelt behind the gold dust on one knee, panting heavily. This trick stopped, but his own consumption is not low. Plus the consumption of the previous battle, and the roar of the tailed beast. I didn't want to use this, you forced me. Rasa took a deep breath, his eyes became decisive. Sunagaka, kill. How dare you attack Sunagaka? Come on, brothers. Damn it. Hold off the enemy until Kazakij Sama arrives, then he'll take care of these guys. Countless Sunanin roared, and Kissim wielded the Samahada, beheading several people in a row. Atachi, are you alright? Damn the land of wind, it's the worst place to fight. Kissim sighed helplessly. The power of water release has a lot to do with the surrounding environment, but obviously in Sunagaka, where the drought is so severe that they dare not use water for bathing. He cannot exert his full strength at all. This is true even if he has a huge chakra. On the other hand, Atachi, who had Manjekyo active, stared into the One Tail's eyes, and powerful power burst from his eyes. After a while, okay? Atachi gasped and deactivated the Manjekyo in his eyes. And the gigantic One Tail in front of him also quickly shrank at a speed visible to the naked eye, and finally turned into the figure of Gara. Take the Jinchuriki and go. Don't get entangled with them. Atachi panted heavily. Upon hearing this, Kissim killed all the Sunanin in front of him without hesitation, then walked to Gara's side in an instant and threw him over his shoulder. It really was resolved in the face of the tailed beast that exploded with all its strength, it can be resolved very easily. The Sharingan truly lives up to its reputation. Kissim looked at Gara, who was completely fainted and exclaimed. Then he looked at the tired Atachi again. However, this consumption is too much. I really don't know how Natsuo was able to drag me into that illusion without being affected in the slightest. Atachi's consumption is actually not that great, he is already an eternal Manjekyo Sharingan, and his burden is greatly reduced. However, he still pretended to be tired and said, Kissim, time is almost up, so sorry, and Dadara may not be able to delay it too much. I know. Kissim nodded. The two left quickly. The Sunanin tried to pursue but were easily defeated. Not long after Rasa returned. What happened? Rasa said with a scowling face. Where is Gara? Where is he? Sorry, Kazakuch Sama. Gara Sama was taken away by the enemy. Baki covered his bloody arm with a face of shame. We are not strong enough to stop the enemy. Who did it? They are the missing men at Shiha Atachi and Hoshigaki Kissum. It's those two guys they're also members of Akatsuki. Rasa's mouth twitched, but he had to comfort everyone. It's okay, you have done a good job, you have tried your best, this is not you wrong. Kazakuch Sama. There were tears in everyone's eyes, it was the Jinchuriki who was taken away. Plus he was the youngest son of the most beloved Kazakiyaj Sama. They are ashamed to face their Kazakiyaj Sama. What happened? Rasa, I heard that the Jinchuriki was taken away. A slightly old voice sounded. Chiyo and Ibizo also heard the disturbance and came running. Well, it was Achiha Itachi and Hoshigaki Kissum who attacked. They defeated one tail and took Gara away. Rasa's expression darkened. What about you? Chiyo said unceremoniously, as Kazakiyaj. Why weren't you in the village at the time and didn't protect Gara well? You are the strongest Kazakiyaj. How could someone snatch the Jinchuriki from the village? The unceremonious accusation made Rasa's face darken. However, Chiyo is one of the few people in Sanagaka who doesn't fall for Rasa's nonsense. After all, she watched Rasa grow up. Others can't know how much Rasa weighs. But isn't she clear? However, Chiyo and her younger brother Abizo lived in seclusion due to Sasori's desertion and the unexplainable disappearance of the third Kazakiyaj. So even if they didn't believe in Rasa, it didn't affect Rasa's prestige. Chiyo did not care that there was chaos due to the Jinchuriki's kidnapping and still questioned Rasa directly. Several Jonin couldn't help but said, Other Chiyo, it's not Kazakiyaj Sama's fault. Kazakiyaj Sama went to chase other enemies. It's our incompetence that didn't protect Jinchuriki well. Oh, is that so? What kind of enemy can put our strongest Kazakiyaj in so much trouble that he can't even return? turn in time. Shiyo said sarcastically. The Jonin were about to say something, but Rasa stopped them with a wave. They are two S-rank missing nin, one of them is Dadara of Awagika, and the other is Rasa paused, and the object dragged by the gold dust behind him was placed on the ground. A puppet with broken limbs, red hair, and a rather attractive appearance, with its core firmly gripped by gold dust appeared in front of everyone. Shiyo, Ibizo, and the countless Suna nin surrounding them gaped, their faces filled with disbelief. It is the missing nin of Sunagaka, Sasori of the Red Sand. And these are my trophies, the third Kazakiyaj who was turned into a puppet by Sasori, and this is Dadara's left arm, Rasa raised his head and said, Sorry, I couldn't completely solve the missing Nin Dadara. I could only make him lose an arm before escaping. I'm sorry I can't live up to Sanagaka as Kazakiyaj. I have failed my job. As he spoke, he had a heartbroken look on his face. 
However, the Suna Nin next to him was stunned. Sasori of the Red Sand. Isn't that the strongest puppeteer in Sun Agaka? And the human puppet of third Kazakij isn't this the last strongest Kazakij? Additionally, Dadara, who appeared in Sun Agaka, has powerful explosive ninjutsu. Our Kazakij Sama, with one against three, can actually defeat the opponent and capture two people. This is a complete victory. Even Chiyo was stunned. How could the Rasa be so strong in her impression? This is our strongest Kazakij. Other Shio, what else do you have to say? The little fans of Rasa headed by Baki, immediately jumped out and pointed at Chiyo angrily. Yes, other Shio, do you not believe in the power of Kazakij-sama? If it weren't for Kazakij-sama, the enemies this time would be enough to crush all of Sunagika. If Rasa-sama is not the strongest Kazakij, who is the strongest Kazakij? Kazakij-sama stood up again and protected her village. It's a pity that we were incompetent and failed to delay the enemy, and let the enemy take her Jinchuriki away. We are ashamed of the trust of Kazakij-sama. Countless people cry for their fathers and mothers, with shame on their faces. And Chiyo also blushed, looking at Rasa with a bit of shock in his eyes. She looked at the familiar face of her grandson Sasori, then at the third Kazakij's puppet, and finally at Rasa's body, which was dusty but did not appear injured. She sighed softly, apologetic in her eyes. I'm sorry. I was the one who underestimated Kazakij-sama I'm guilty. Rasa hurried over to say a few words of comfort. However, Chiyo and Ibizo bowed their heads before the adoring eyes of the Sunanin. Rasa secretly felt lucky. Fortunately, Natsuo gave me that whole card otherwise. It would be really troublesome. Yes, he was able to defeat Sasori and Dadara, mainly thanks to Natsuo's help the sealing mark that stores pure natural energy. When Natsuo discovered that he could grant this sealing mark to others, he thought of Rasa and Terumime, who are very famous but are actually fake. Their real strength could be exposed at some point. But in fact, it is very beneficial for Natsuo to have two people controlling Sunagaka and Kurigaka. They have the power of a country and are willing to cooperate with Natsuo, and they also have the prestige to suppress opposing opinions. Of course, Natsuo would spare no small effort as long as they continued to cooperate with him. So using the marks of the Flying Thunder God technique, he arrived close to them and granted them the sealing mark, allowing them to freely extract and use the natural energy within the seal, which has a very powerful enhancing effect on ninjutsu, and can greatly improve the shinobi's strength. This is also the sealing mark that Natsuo Natsuo gave to his wives. Seeing that things were not going well, Rasa decisively activated the seal and became a sage Rasa. The enormous pure natural energy instantly caused the gold dust to suddenly increase in speed, strength, and momentum. The abundant chakra allowed Rasa to use ninjutsu on a large scale without scribble. The startled Sasori and Dadara shouted, Damn Kazakij, he finally showed his true skills. They fought hard, but in the end they were defeated. Although Dadara was seriously injured relying on the ability to fly, he managed to escape. Sasori was a step slower, and Rasa caught him. Not only were all the puppets crushed and exploded, but even Sasori's puppet body was severely damaged, leaving only Sasori's core of living flesh. Fully demonstrated the power of the strongest Kazakij. And now I'm sorry, Kazakij-sama. I underestimated your power. Chiyo lowered her proud head, looking at Sasori's puppet body. She was full of shame and sadness. That is her grandson. As a prisoner of war, Sasori's core of living flesh was guarded by Sun Agaka. After that incident Chiyo and Abizo rarely attended the village meeting, and no longer refuted Rasa's decisions, but secretly hoped that Rasa would spare Sasori's life. Chiyo even expressed that she was willing to do whatever it took to get Sasori's life back. But attacking the third Kazakij was a serious crime. No matter how much Chiyo pays, Sasori will be imprisoned for the rest of his life. But no matter what Rasa's decision is, she is willing to obey Rasa's order. It can be said that as of today, Sun Agaka has been completely controlled by Rasa. Rasa was thinking about Chiyo's request, and then remembered the time when Natsuo asked for the forbidden technique. One's own life reincarnation. Could it be that Natsuo has someone who wants to be resurrected? It's not surprising, after all, so many people died in the Achiha clan back then. It's normal that there was someone Natsuo would like to resurrect. Is it possible to make Elder Chiyo sacrifice herself? Anyway, she is old, and it is not surprising that she will die at any time, among other things. Natsuo certainly wouldn't mind giving me two more ceiling marks for this credit, right? After experiencing such great power once, Rasa felt very regretful for his current weakness. But the most important thing now is contact other shinobi villages and announce the fact that Sunagaka was attacked. Rasa narrowed her eyes slightly, her face solemn. This Akatsuki, it's really difficult to deal with. Sunagaka announced that his Jinchuriki had been kidnapped by Akatsuki and caused quite a stir in an instant. Everyone was dumbfounded. Did Akatsuki really want to capture all the tail beasts so bravely? Don't they want to live? Are they really not afraid that the top powers of the shinobi world will unite, surround them, and completely kill them. On the other hand, everyone was a little confused. How famous is Rasa? Did he really let the enemy snatch the tail beast from him? As a result, tracking information was leaked, and Rasa's record of capturing Sasori, 
breaking Dadara's arm, and retrieving the third Kazakij's puppet was published everyone was in an uproar. Rasa is really the strongest Kazakij. It's really bad luck for Akatsuki to get involved with Sunagika before everyone accepted the news, another explosive intelligence emerged. Not only was Sunagika attacked, but Karigika was attacked almost at the same time. Terumi Mei was also lured out of the village, and Akatsuki took the opportunity to capture the Six-Tails Jinchuriki. And Terumi Mei is the same as Rasa, when she discovered that something was wrong, she immediately activated the ceiling mark, and hit the zombie combo, that was in charge of luring her out of the village, and even she completely dissolved Haydn with her boy release. Obviously, Haydn's immortality will not work after all the cells dissolve and disappear Kakuzu also ran away. If Abito hadn't finished capturing the Jinchuriki and returned to take Kakuzu with his space ninjutsu, maybe he would have been melted directly. Everyone was shocked. As expected of the strongest Mizukiji are these the maximum combat powers of this era. No wonder they have the confidence to fight Natsuo. And Akatsuki actually attacked these powerful masters at the same time. This organization is very dangerous. Many shinobi seemed worthy, and in Kumogaka, Nai Yujito, who had just suppressed Killer B and became the fifth Reikage, panicked and did not dare to leave the village. But in fact, for Akatsuki things were not as easy as people think. Nagato looked at the old, weak, sick and disabled with a blank expression. Haydn was killed, Sasori was captured, Dadara lost an arm. Achiha Atachi also claimed that he was exhausted, his eyes began to lose his sight, and his combat power declined. This is an unprecedented blow to Akatsuki. Among the main members of Akatsuki, except for Haydn, who became a cage thanks to his immortality, the other members are all cage level experts. Since Akatsuki was established for many years, except that Kakuza deliberately killed several of his companions in the early years, and Biwa Juzo died in the hands of the fourth Mizukage, Akatsuki has almost no casualties. As a result, one action reduced the staff by nearly half. Let's seal the tail beasts they got first. Nagato took a deep breath. In addition, there are still four tailed beasts in Takigika, Kumogaku and Konohagika. That must be captured. Takigika and Kumogaku aside, what about Kanoha's nine tails? Kakuzu's voice was dull. That is the place where the first person in the shinobi world sits, and it is different from Kurigika and Sonagika, where there are not enough elite shinobi. That's right. Dadara unconsciously placed his hand where his missing arm was and said, that guy Rasa's strength is simply beyond expectations even brother Sasori. And how strong is Natsuo who can surpass Rasa? Ichiha Itachi also said lightly, I heard that Nine Tails is the strongest among the tail beasts. I don't think it can be easily dealt with. After hearing that, Kisum looked at Itachi, then looked at Nagato calmly and said, Leader, what are you going to do? The others also looked at Nagato. Although they are all members of Akatsuki, they all have their own goals, and they are actually unwilling to work hard for Akatsuki. They will not fight a battle with such little chance of winning. Okay? I'll take the initiative. Nagato pondered for a while and said, You don't have to worry. Hearing this, Conan hesitated to speak. Pain, you Nagato's health is not good, he can't fight for a long time. In other words, the reason Akatsuki recruited these missing men was to allow them to deal with the tail beasts, thus reducing the pressure on Nagato. But if Nagato does it himself his body won't be able to hold out. But I'll only take care of Natsuo, the Jinchuriki has to be captured by you. Is there a problem? Nagato said calmly. You guys will be able to take on some tail beasts, right? The Rinnegan's indifferent gaze swept over the audience. It seems to say, if you can't even do this, then there is no point in your continuing to exist. Everyone breathe a sigh of relief. The tailed beasts themselves are not difficult to deal with, even if the Nine Tails is known as the strongest tailed beast, they are not afraid. The strongest person in the shinobi world really scared them. Especially Natsuo is still stronger than Rasa and Terumi Mei. If they don't fight him, any other order is not unacceptable. However, only one person frowned upon hearing this. We will attack Kanoha then my relationship with Natsuo Kakuzu began to reflect. Ichiha is a big client. The one with more money than Akatsuki. Over the years, he has made a lot of money in Akatsuki. But the sum is actually the same as the sum of Natsuo's several important orders. I can't break my relationship with Natsuo. Kakuzu thought to himself and then looked at Conan. It seems like I should act sooner let's contact Natsuo first. So things have turned out like this Tsunade's expression turned ugly. Akatsuki is indeed the most dangerous enemy. Strong shinobi like Rasa and Terumi Mei who can fight against Natsuo, cannot defend their Jinchuriki. Although everyone knows that Akatsuki took advantage of the fact that Rasa and Terumi Mei had been lured out of the village, and in the process Akatsuki paid a huge price. But the truth is, Akatsuki's goal has been achieved. The only tail beasts left are the two tails and the eight tails of Kumogaka, the seven tails of Takigaka, and the nine tails of Kanoha. Tsune took a deep breath. The Nine Tails has Natsuo for protection, but Kumogaka's protection leaves a lot to be desired. Is for Takigaka, most of Kumogaka's elites were killed by Natsuo, and the most powerful Reiki J was crippled by Natsuo. The only cage-level masters left are the Two Tails Jinchuriki and the Eight Tails Jinchuriki, but they are Akatsuki's targets. If possible, it is better to let them come to Kanoha, and like Nine Tails, let them be protected by Natsuo. But Kumogaka will not accept this condition. Tsunade is very familiar with Kumogaka. Although most of the village's elite shinobi were destroyed by Natsuo, their former falcon ambitions have not been completely lost. 
On the other hand, the Takikika 7 tells Jinchuriki might come to Konoha, and Tsunade already sent someone to contact her. Well anyway, I'll also send a letter to Komogika. Tsunade thought to himself, and then looked at Natsuo. Natsuo, what do you think of Akatsuki? Does Atachi have contact with you? You could look at it that way. Natsuo shrugged. Your organization wanted to capture the tail beasts from the beginning. They just took advantage of this period of time. When the Shinobi World War ended, and major countries suffered a lot of damage. The three tails haven't been revived yet. Don't worry they won't be so eager to attack the nine tails. The demonic statue of the outer path needs to gather all nine tail beasts to truly exert its power. And there is no point in capturing just a few. And until the three tails comes back to life, there is still a little more than a year left. Furthermore, it will take a while for them to use the sealing technique. Phantom Dragon's nine consuming seals to seal the tail beast chakra even more so now that they have lost some members, and others were injured. Therefore there is no rush. Really Tsunade pondered for a moment. As long as there is enough time, you can also team up with other shinobi villagers to recover the tailed beast captured by Akatsuki. This dangerous enemy must be eliminated as soon as possible. In fact, as Natsuo estimated, Akatsuki suddenly disappeared. It's not just a question of needing to seal the one tail and six tails that were just acquired, but also the desire to keep their threat down as much as possible. Although Nayujito, the fifth rakage of Kumogika, rejected the suggestion that she and Killer B move to Kanoha as Tsunade had hoped, but she still wasn't arrogant enough to think that she would be safe from Akatsuki's attack. She also took some measures, using Kumogika's reserves for many years, spending a lot of money, and organizing many shinobi to improve the defenses around Kumogika. Although it is not known what exactly the improvements were, but Kumogika spared no effort and spent a lot of money during this time, it obviously cannot be something ordinary. Perhaps this is his hidden card to resist Akatsuki's attack. Contrary to Tsunade's expectations, the current leader of Takigika, like Kumogika, refused to send the Jinchuriki of the Seven Tails, probably because he was worried that Konohagika would retain the Tail Beast. After all, the current Kanoha is not the Kanoha under the rule of the first Hokage, who distributed the Tail Beasts only to maintain the stability of the world. Natsuo is an Ichiha. He pleases no one. This is not a big deal. But unlike the Kumogika preparations led by Nai Jito, they are not prepared at all. Tsunade angrily cursed. Even if you don't trust us, at least prepare for it. They don't do anything. Are they going to hand over their tail beast to Akatsuki? In fact, the major shinobi villagers are not good stubble, everyone has some cards. For example, although Nai Yujido did not accept Tsunade's invitation, she understood that the other party had the confidence to defeat Akatsuki. A well-prepared shinobi is very scary. Even more so when facing one of the large shinobi villagers, even Akatsuki, they may have to lose some people. And Akatsuki knew this very well. So they decided to delay their actions, and wait until Kumogika's surveillance disappeared before starting the attack. Anyway, the three tails hasn't been revived yet, so even if they take all the tail beasts at once, they will have to wait for the three tails to revive only then the demonic statue will be complete. During this period, Tsunade also communicated with the cages of the other large shinobi villagers. Although the five cage summit did not take place, all the villagers unanimously decided to attack the Akatsuki organization and sent a large number of search teams to search for traces of Akatsuki. Even if Nagato had already prepared and organized the evacuation of everyone related to Akatsuki members in advance, it still caused a lot of losses to Akatsuki. Moreover, the losses are getting bigger and bigger, and the investigations of various countries are becoming more and more fierce. Unlike Awagaka's previous individual actions, this time the joint decision of the five great shinobi villages is equivalent to the joint decision of the entire shinobi world. It represents the will of the entire shinobi world. The entire world has taken action, and the power is naturally huge. They quickly discovered Akatsuki's base camp, Land of Rain. If it were not for the deterrent power of the demigod Hanzo who is still alive, and has a history of obvious hostility towards Akatsuki, it is estimated that a Megaka would have been raised to the ground by the shinobi of the five great shinobi villages. And Natsuo entered the keep your ears away from the window and focus on revitalizing the Ichiha clan state. No matter how turbulent the situation was in the outside world, he still silently worked hard at home to revive the Ichiha clan. Gurin is pregnant again and Samui, who turned into a half-beast girl, due to Natsuo's rampant attack, became pregnant even before Gurin. Some of Natsuo's wives became pregnant, especially the elite Jonin who just married Natsuo. While Natsuo was busy, the others were not idle either. Sasuke and Jiraiya wandered around, maybe under the influence of Jiraiya. Sasuke actually started to write. But rather than saying that he is writing a novel, it is better to say that he is writing a personalized review of girls of the shinobi world. Today, my master and I came to the land of hot water. The hot springs in the land of hot water are not bad. There are two types of escorts in the hot springs. The traditional and calm style and the minimalist and avant-garde style. It is very tempting and difficult to choose. Of course children only make choices, and as an adult, I choose both. Well, it is this kind of autobiographical evaluation article. If the newspaper had not paid a large amount of manuscript fees to his account and the bank statement was seen by Natsuo, who paid the enlightenment travel expenses of that master disciple pair, he wouldn't have known that Sasuke and Jirei's practice was so happy. Naruto is still studying hard, 
but he can't bear his temper, and wants to go out to the clubhouse to play quietly many times. But Tsune doesn't allow it. Now everyone knows Akatsuki's goal of capturing the tail beasts, if he doesn't stay by Natsuo honestly, what if something goes wrong? Ichiha Entertainment Street. It's also far away from Ichiha's main house where Natsuo and his wives live. Naruto is a little trash. What if he is attacked by Akatsuki and captured without even being able to send a distress signal? Naruto expressed his displeasure with this. I'm already a mature shinobi even if I'm not as good as brother Natsuo. I'm still able to ask for help before being defeated by the enemy. Tsunade. No, you're trash. You say you're a mature shinobi. Let's practice. I'll only use one finger. Naruto. Sister-in-law, don't you underestimate me. You can finish me with one finger. Then that night, Naruto was ejected by Tsunade with a head bag. There is no way. Although Naruto is not weak, Tsunade has previously been strengthened by Natsuo using the Renshin no Kanke, and has also started taking the Achiha clan's potions. Sakura, who was previously taught by Shizune, could no longer continue her apprenticeship, because Tsunade gave all the Hokage's work to Shizune. So now Sakura is Tsunade's apprentice. That's why when she saw Naruto she laughed and secretly said, Idiot. Then she continued studying hard. As a commoner shinobi, although she has a loving brain, she knows how precious the opportunity she has now is. If it weren't for the special situation where Naruto was protected, and when Natsuo saw that Tsunade threw all the work to Shizune, he casually mentioned Sakura, who was very talented in medical ninjutsu. Otherwise how could Tsunade bother teaching Sakura? Brother Natsuo, even if it's just to thank you for your trust, I will study hard. Sakura clenched her fists and continued to write vigorously. It's not just a trio of protagonists. Hinata, Ino, etc. have also made great progress. And Niji relying on taking the revival number 2 potion, his strength improved greatly. Added to his own efforts, he finally reached the threshold of elite jonin. Natsuo-sama, should we launch a plan now? Niji looked at Natsuo. I should be able to fight Hiyashi-sama now. It's still too early, you have just entered the threshold of elite jonin, and Hiyashi has been at this level for many years. Natsuo shook his head. You are not Hiyashi's opponent now. Niji understands this too, and knows that there is a huge gap between elite jonin and elite jonin. Niji can fight Hiyashi, but he knows he only has one chance to challenge him, and now it is very likely that he will lose. Although Hiyashi-sama has not been able to reach the cage level, but he still belongs to the top of the elite jonin, and if I want to advance to the cage level, it seems that it will be a little more difficult. Niji frowned. He just advanced a level, and he already wants to become a cage level. If he doesn't die, it will be at least a few years. Maybe he will even be trapped at the threshold of elite jonin until death Hiyashi is not weak at all. He has received the most elite education since he was a child, and has experienced many times on the battlefield. He is equipped with various secret arts of the Hyuga clan. He is completely at an advantage when facing Niji. Natsuo also understood this, but the time dragged on for too long, and he didn't want to wait any longer. Then he thought for a moment and said, Do you remember that I told you that the Byakugan still has an advance form? Niji frowned slightly, thought for a moment, and finally said, I remember you told me before that the Hyuga clan's Byakugan has a hidden power. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a way to evolve the Byakugan within the clan's records. Niji sighed softly. Tense again, the evolution of the Byakugan, if it wasn't Natsuo who said this, he would have thought they were joking with him. Oh, I see, then get ready and call Hinata, we'll go together. Natsuo touched his chin and said, together. Niji was taken aback. Where we go? Let's see if we can obtain the Tensigan. Niji, you said you want to take us to see if we can obtain the Tensigan, so why are we here? Niji's eyes widened, and even with his calmness, he couldn't help but exclaim. Yes, this is the fastest shortcut. Natsuo laughed, but you are taking us flying into the sky. Natsuo's eyes had changed to the rin again, and at this moment he had a smile. He held Niji by the neck with one hand, and carried Hanada against his chest with the other hand. At the same time, it manipulated gravitational and repulsive forces to fly directly to the moon. Niji was stunned, the altitude increased rapidly, and the Kanoha village under his feet had gradually turned into a small black spot. Even with the Bayakugan, he couldn't see anything clearly. Although he already possessed the strength at the elite Jonin level, if he falls from this height, he will definitely die. Gritting his teeth tightly, Niji tried his best not to be afraid. But the situation of not being able to feel anything under his feet, and the realization that he might die, also made his heart beat wildly. Hinata's heart was also beating wildly, although the reason was very different from Niji's. I'm being hugged by brother Natsuo, I'm being hugged. Hinata's face was flushed, her arms grabbed onto Natsuo's neck, her head was pressed against his chest, and she could hear the vigorous and powerful beating of his heart. She felt her breath fill with Natsuo's scent. Hinata didn't say a word, she rolled her eyes and fainted from embarrassment. Natsuo glanced at her, then he didn't pay attention to her. After all, this kind of situation has been going on for a while. Soon, the wind pressure caused by Natsuo's speed made Hinata wake up again. She raised her head subconsciously and saw Natsuo's face. Unconsciously he took a deep breath and inhaled Natsuo's scent Hinata had been fluctuating between passing out, being awake and passing out again. Natsuo-sama, where are we going? 
Niji couldn't help but said, Now not even the black dot that was Kanoha is visible below, to the moon. The moon Niji's eyes widened. Speaking of which, it seems like we really came straight to the moon. No wonder Natsuru waited until nightfall to call the two of them, because only at this time can the direction of the moon be seen. In fact, there are many ways to get to the moon, like the portal located inside the underground spring they used in the last. Naruto the movie Natsuo also does not believe that during these hundreds of years the Otsutsuki clan on the moon have not opened other passages. Perhaps they have already placed entrances throughout the shinobi world. Old. Even if those entrances existed, Natsuo didn't know where they were, and he also didn't intend to waste time looking for them. The Rinnegan can control gravity which allows it to levitate, and since Natsuo obtained the Six Paths Chakra added to his unique Sage Mode, he was able to acquire the ability to fly similar to that of the Sage of the Six Paths. Although Natsuo does not understand why in the Shinobi world you can still breathe when you get so far from the planet or even on the moon. But since even the moon was created with the power of the Rinnegan, it is normal that this type of situation can occur. Why are you yelling Niji? Is it because you're afraid of heights? Natsuo asked half-jokingly. Niji was silent for a moment, gritting his teeth and trying to adopt his usual mature and stable posture. Natsuo-sama, I think normal people would be afraid of heights if they were taken to such a high altitude. Who said that isn't Hanada okay? Natsuo moved his arm to move Hanata, motioning for Niji to look at Hanata, who had just woken up and passed out again. Niji, I think it's not that Hanada isn't afraid of heights, but that she probably doesn't have a place in her mind for fear Natsuo's speed was very fast, and they quickly approached the position of the moon. Even without the Byakugan, Niji could see the pits and craters, completely different from the white moon seen from the ground. Niji looked at all this with a look of surprise, and was even more surprised when he saw what the shinobi world looked like from space. This scene also made him begin to gradually forget his fear, and his gaze was replaced with one of curiosity. Of course, it may also be that the flight time is too long, and he is used to this situation. This moon is really ugly. Niji even began to comment enthusiastically. We see it as a white moonlight from the ground, but now it is full of bumps if poets and artists found out. I don't know how depressed they would be. Huh. Natsuo-sama. There seems to be something flying towards us from the moon. Niji stared blankly at the being that was getting closer. Then he activated the Byakugan and saw a puppet. Oh, it's normal. Natsuo's expression was calm. Perhaps the residents of the moon saw that we were coming, so they reacted. There are still inhabitants on the moon. Niji asked in surprise. Natsuo looked at Niji and asked. Niji, why did I bring you here? Ah, uh, to see if we can get the Tensigan. So, if there are no residents, where would we get the Tensigan from? Do you really think I'm so lazy as to take you on a hike? Huh. Natsuo-sama. They don't seem to be very friendly. The corner of Niji's mouth twitched. The puppets have already started brewing light green light bullets and blasted towards Natsuo. Apparently the moon doesn't welcome foreign visitors. Niji's brow was dripping with sweat, and he was still in space at this time. Although the space is amazing, and they can continue to breathe, it also does not affect the battles between people, but there is no foothold. Gentle Fist, which Niji is best at, is useless at this moment, he directly becomes a burden. I can only trust Natsuo-sama. I hope he can solve them. Niji gritted his teeth, but now he is holding Hanata and me while he flies. I don't know if in this situation he can face the enemy. Niji looked at Natsuo's Rinnegan, it was the first time he saw those eyes. He was naturally surprised, and also had many doubts. But in the end he didn't ask or say anything. But still, he can judge that Natsuo's current ability to fly is related to those eyes. And although Niji doesn't know what other abilities those eyes have, no matter what, it seems that it will be difficult for Natsuo to face the enemy, with two charges in his arms. Natsuo narrowed his eyes slightly, and the skeleton made of chakra instantly took shape, followed by the appearance of muscles, skin and armor, complete body Susanu. The Susanu had a pair of wings, and while carrying the three people, it rushed straight towards the group of puppets. Is this the Susanu? Niji was surprised, but upon being inside the Susanu, he instantly felt an incomparable sense of security. But since Susanu can fly, why doesn't Natsuo-sama take us flying like this all the time? Also, why did she have to carry me by the neck? Feeling embarrassed, Niji instinctively wanted to speak, but saw Hinata wake up in Natsuo's embrace with a surprise cry. Well, now it seems I understand why Natsuo-sama insists on using such a troublesome method to get here. Niji looked helpless. Meanwhile, the Susanu began to attack all the puppets indiscriminately. The two samurai swords slashed down in turn, and each blow carried a fierce sword energy, smashing all the puppets involved. The puppet army, which clearly consisted of thousands, was completely defeated. Just a few hits, they eliminated them all, and the puppet's sporadic light bomb attacks seemed to tickle the Susanu, without even causing a bit of damage. Bang! The Susanu landed directly on the surface of the moon, and, at the same time pieces of the puppets fell all over the surface. As expected of Natsuo-sama, Niji's eyes were excited, this is the power of the man he is willing to follow. As expected of brother Natsuo, Hinata's face was a little red probably because Natsuo's hand was still around her waist when she was clearly in the inner space of the Susanu with a foothold however, Natsuo ignored him, 
and smiled in the direction of the moon instead. Suddenly, he spoke out loud. Aren't you going to come out to see me? Waited for three minutes, and there was no response. If you don't come out, then I will go in. Natsuo said calmly, Susanoo directly tore the surface of the moon with a knife, and entered the inner space. At this moment, Hinato and Niji discovered that it appears that the interior of the moon was hollow. Yes, since there are residents here, they will definitely renovate the place where they live. How can they possibly live in such a desolate place? Niji suddenly realized. They rode Susanoo, wandering through the forests, looking at the many ruined houses below, full of neglect and decay. There was still an artificial sun hanging in the sky, and a constant stream of puppets emerged from it, heading in their direction. Natsuo-sama, let me fight you. Niji volunteered. He came here to become stronger. How could he stay behind when there are enemies in front of him? Natsuo looked at him. Are you sure? Ah, sure. Then try it. Niji looked at Natsuo with a strange look. How is he supposed to be able to fight those flying puppets? These puppets are so strong Hanata widened her eyes in surprise. And Niji's forehead was also sweating. When Natsuo-sama knocked the puppets to the ground, he did it so easily but when I went up to them, I realized that all the puppets were at the Chunin level. Although they only had one form of attack, their power was comparable to a level ninjutsu. Coupled with the advantage of flight, it is estimated that ordinary jonin are not as difficult to defeat as them. That's all, it's just a jonin, and it's not like Niji can't solve it. But the problem is the large number of puppets. Compared to the white secret technique, the Chikamatsu collection of 10 puppets, which has been famous in the shinobi world for years or the red secret technique. Performance of a hundred puppets obtained from Sasori by the Kazuki Adrasa recently, they are nothing. After all, human puppets of Sasori's technique can only display the strength of an ordinary jonin. When Sasori uses this technique plus he has no weakness in his main body, it is equivalent to the peak of the cage level. But isn't this group of puppets in front of Niji equivalent to at least a hundred cage level peaks besieging him? Niji soon fell to the disadvantage and almost died. It was Natsuo who swung the Susanu sword directly and saved him. Niji had to walk Walk back to the Susanu depressed. The quality of this battle was too high for him to get in. Don't worry, the reason for bringing you was so that you would understand the origin of the Tensigen. I never thought of making you fight to obtain it. Natsuo patted Niji on the shoulder. Besides, you're still young, so there's no need to worry so much. Leave the matter in my hands saying this. Natsuo attacked with the sword of Susanu in the direction of the artificial sun. Boom. The huge sword energy directly cut a hole in the light film of the artificial sun and then strode in. And within the artificial sun, a young man of about 17 or 18 years old, with his eyes closed, looked at Natsuo and the others with an angry expression. People of the lower world, you... Are you the only one left of Amora's lineage? Natsuo revealed the Rinnegan and looked at it with a smile. I heard that you want to destroy the world. If you submit to me, I will forgive you for your ignorance. What do you think? Natsuo said with a smile on his face. You are so brave. Otsutsuki Tanari's complexion changed dramatically, revealing a look of anger. Descendant of Hagoromo, maybe it's because you dealt with the puppets so easily, which gave you the confidence. In front of you is the descendant of Otsutsuki Hamura, the heir of the Otsutsuki clan. Without hesitation, he launched an attack. The speed is extremely fast, and it arrived before Natsuo almost instantaneously. And that familiar feeling made Hanata and Niji speak their voices. Gentle Fist. Or rather, it is Gentle Fist's similar existence. As a clan that also has the Byakugan, the Otsutsuki clan's fighting style on the moon is very similar to that of the Hayuga clan in other words. They have a similar physique, the same Dejutsu, and have the same lineage of origin so they will naturally choose similar attack methods. But Niji and Hanata were surprised, it was the secret of the Hayuga clan. How could it be used by outsiders? Could it be that he is his lineage, and jaws originate from the same person? Natsuo spoke directly, solving the puzzle. Natsuo's Susanoo withstood the attacks and remained motionless. Natsuo acted as if he wasn't being attacked at all and said, The Otsutsuki clan on the moon originated from Otsutsuki Hamura the younger brother of the legendary sage of the six paths Otsutsuki Hagoromo. Unlike his older brother who was born with the Rinnegan, Otsutsuki Hamura was born with the Byakugan. So both he and you inherited the Byakugan, you can understand it as the relationship between the Yuzumaki clan and the Senja clan. But because the Hayuga clan and the Otsutsuki clan did not perform intermarriages outside their respective clans, the gap between you is not as big as the one between the Senju and the Yuzumaki. You could say that there are even more coincidences Natsuo smiled. After Hamura's death, his descendants on the moon also split into two branches, due to their different understanding and interpretation of their ancestors' last words. Because of this they developed the same system as the Hayuga clan, dividing the clan into the main family and the branch family. Natsuo rubbed his chin. Maybe your Hayaga clan was created by someone from the Otsutsuki clan who seek to Earth, and then copied the system on the moon. Well, the possibility is very high. Otherwise why is the Hayuga clan so particular about the family branch? Hearing this, Niji frowned, clenched his fist tightly, and his nails dug into his flesh. Is this the source of my tragedy? So, they also pay attention to the branch house family. Hanata hesitated and said, But brother Natsuo, I don't seem to have seen anyone from the branch family. And when we arrived, the desolate ruins didn't seem to be from a big family with a family branch. It's because of their internal strife. 
Natsuo said with a smile, unlike the Haiga clan, the Otsutsuki clan split is more a matter of differences in philosophy. The branch family believes that the world created by the Sage of Six Paths has been chaotic for thousands of years and cannot achieve peace. It is a failure and must be destroyed using the Tensigen. The main family advocates for peace and to continue observing the development of the Shinobi world. The two sides fought and finally the branch family won. This is enough for Hinata and Niji to understand the reason for the desolation. Of course, the victory was not without sacrifices. I don't know what the main family did before it was destroyed. Anyway, the branch family also suffered heavy losses. Currently, only the person in front of us remains on the moon. Woke bang, 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 bang. While Natsuo was explaining the situation to Niji and Hinata, Otsutsuki Teneri attacked Natsuo indiscriminately. You really know a lot, Teneri said. He attacked with all his strength. It's just that it can't break through the protection of the Susanu at all, and it is completely useless. Damn it. If it weren't for the fact that I don't have eyes and can't control the Tensigen Teneri gridded his teeth, then turned his attention to Niji. There are two Haiga, and Hanata is still hugged by Natsuo, and Niji is the one on the side. That's why Teneri paid more attention to Niji, and if it weren't for the Susanu he would have already taken the Byakugan from him. Of course, because Teneri has no eyes, and is only guided by perception, he cannot recognize Hanata immediately, otherwise. Perhaps he would go crazy knowing how close Hinata is to Natsuo, and would want to first take away his fiancée, whom he unilaterally identified. Niji, go play with him, Natsuo said with a smile. Ha! Huh. Niji, who was still immersed in what Natsuo had told them, was confused by Natsuo's words. Oh, what's wrong? This guy is the last elite of the Otsutsuki clan. Natsuo pursed his lips. Whether it's his fighting technique similar to the gentle fist of the Hayuga clan or other abilities, it's the condensation of the essence of the Otsutsuki clan. Is there anything else that can help you improve more than playing against him? The Byakugan has a chakra seeing ability sharp enough to see the chakra pathway system within a target's body. And the 361 Tinkets are running through it, right? Wouldn't it be a waste if you don't take advantage of this feature and copy its techniques? Niji froze for a moment and then his eyes lit up instantly. Yes, Natsuo-sama. Teneri was taken aback for a moment, and then his face became distorted with anger. Bastard, how much do you underestimate me? A worthy Otsutsuki clan member is actually being treated as a sparring partner. Don't say that. Natsuo chuckled lightly. Don't you want to take away Niji's eyes? I'm giving you a chance. If I really want to stop you, do you think you can take his eyes? Teneri heard the words and fell silent. Yes, he had no chance. Natsuo didn't even attack at all. Just relying on Susanu's defense, he was completely invincible. Although he still has some secret techniques that he has not used, but he thinks it is of little importance. Niji's eyes are his greatest opportunity. Natsuo smiled and added, If you just remove Niji's eyes after defeating him, instead of killing him first and then removing his eyes, I can give you time to transplant your eyes how about that? Teneri heard the words but said nothing. Niji's expression remained unchanged. From the first day he decided to change his destiny, he understood that crises and opportunities sometimes go hand in hand. Will you lose your eyes if you lose? So you simply don't have to lose. The two started fighting without hesitation. Otsutsuki Teneri is not weak at all. He cannot be underestimated because he does not have eyes. He brings together all the essence of the Otsutsuki clan of the moon. He is young, but already possesses cage-level combat power. And this was achieved in an environment where his life is much more comfortable than that of a shinobi, and he has no enemies to fight against. Being able to possess cage-level combat power at such an age is all due to his extraordinary talent. In fact, in the Naruto series after a few years, he was even able to fight against Naruto who possessed the six parts in Jutsu. But he simply lost of course. Now he still hasn't obtained the tense again, and his strength is much worse than then, but still a formidable foe. This is a big challenge for Niji, who is not as strong as Teneri. The two quickly confronted each other. The two sides came and went, punching to the flesh, fighting close to each other, and there were violent shocks. As for Niji, because of his push strength, it is completely like walking a tightrope on a cliff, with his life hanging by a thread. The figures of the two were entangled together, changing positions while attacking non-stop. Niji began to perfect gentle step twin dragon fists, which is the technique he created by combining it with the sun breathing. That Natsuo taught him. Because he was not from the main family he could not learn the gentle step twin lion fists, but by fighting Teneri. He managed to complement the deficiencies of his technique and even take it to another level. Hinata, you two should activate the Byakugan and try to learn from this battle. Natsuo smiled. This may be the pinnacle of the Gentle Fist teachings. Yeah. Hinata nodded and activated his Byakugan. Although she was still in the posture of being hugged by Natsuo, she tried her best to calm down and watch the battle between the two with full attention. Because even she understands how valuable it is to watch the battle at this time. After a hard fight, Niji lost in the end. He was already lacking in strength. Although he persisted for a long time. He even had a certain breakthrough in strength and began to advance to the peak of elite Junin approaching the threshold of cage level. He was already lacking strength, although he persisted for a long time. 
He even managed to perfect his technique and began to integrate all of his techniques with his new strength and even approach the peak of the elite Jonin level. But Teneri in a final analysis is still cage level. And he is no less genius than Niji, victory is almost inevitable. When Niji could no longer continue the battle, after hesitating for a moment Teneri did not kill Niji directly but instead directly removed his eyes after defeating him. Immediately after, he walked away, keeping his guard up, while he placed Niji's eyes in his empty sockets. Typical of the shinobi world, you only need to take out the eyes, and put them in to perform a transplant. You really didn't do anything. Teneri performed the transplant with exists, and then gave Natsu a strange look. Descendant of Hagoromo, your arrogance will cost you dearly. Teneri was pleasantly surprised to notice that Niji's Byakugan was very pure. He also began to feel how the chakra in his body synchronized with the Byakugan, and although it was painful, this showed that the Byakugan was evolving into the Tensigan. On the other hand, he now had full access to the power of the moon's Tensigan. This caused his power to skyrocket greatly. Ha ha ha, this is the power of the ancestor's Tensigan. So strong, really very strong. Natsuo used Yin Yang release on Niji to heal him, and then said softly, Niji, how are you feeling now? Niji was silent for a while and said, I'm not used to losing the Byakugan, but overall I feel fine. All right? Natsuo smiled. So now it's time for us to get the Tensigan. Descendant of Hagoromo, although your arrogance is excessive, but I should still thank you. I was planning to get the Byakugan in a few years, but I didn't expect you to send them to me now. Powerful eye power erupted from Teneri's eyes. And although the Tensigan has not been formed yet, but by using the Tensigan energy vessel, he can access enormous power. And Hanata, who is the weakest upon feeling this enormous power, unconsciously grabbed Natsuo's sleeves. Ha! Huh. Teneri, who was about to start attacking, was taken aback for a moment. He looked carefully at Hanata who was hidden in Natsuo's arms and hesitated for a moment. This presence are you Hanata? Do you know me? Hanata looked at him strangely. But no matter how much she thinks about it, she doesn't remember seeing Teneri. I met you when you were very young. Teneri's tone was a little gentle. You are my future wife, this is your destiny. Come, I'll take you with me now. Saying that, Teneri extended his hand towards Hanata. But Hanata frowned. Fate predestination marry you. Do not be ridiculous. Hanata gritted her teeth. That is not my destiny at all. I decide my marriage myself. And I will marry Natsuo in the future, so please don't talk nonsense. Hanata grabbed Natsuo's arm hugged him tightly, and looked at Teneri with hostile eyes. I have nothing to do with you. Teneri frowned, seeing Hanata hugging Natsuo, feeling a little dissatisfied. But his tone remained calm. In that case, I'll get rid of him first. Then, Hanata, you should be able to recognize your destiny, and join me in fulfilling the long-cherished wish of our Otsutsuki clan for many years. Teneri began to use the Tensigan energy vessel to accelerate the awakening of his own Tensigan, and although doing so will cause serious damage to his body, he knows that only then will he be able to defeat Natsuo. Suddenly, a powerful surge of chakra erupted from his body. His aura rapidly rose at an astonishing speed. Teneri looked coldly at Natsuo's Susanu. Descendant of Hagoromo, you enjoy using these huge creatures to suppress me. Well, after all, this is the strength of your Orochiha clan but an inferior bloodline is no match for the Otsutsuki clan. After saying that, the next moment, he pressed his palms sharply against the ground. Using the Tensigan energy vessel, Teneri transformed the stone monument to Hamura Otsutsuki into a living entity to confront the Susanu, and buy time for his Tensigan to finish activating. Then a huge stone golem emerged from the ground. The golem was extremely large, although Natsuo's Susanu was already quite large, compared to the golem it was still smaller. Roar the golem roared furiously as it raised its heavy fist and struck hard. The Susanu was not far behind and launched a slash. Boom, boom, boom. The two behemoths fought against each other causing violent shocks. However, Natsuo's Susanu was overcome. The Susanu's body was shaking violently, even Hanata and Niji who were inside, felt like they could barely stand. Natsuo frowned, but then showed a smile. Two giant wooden arms began to sprout from the ground beneath his feet. Soon, a wooden golem wrapped in a wooden dragon rose from the ground, its size no smaller than that of the Susanu complete body. Wood release. Wood human technique. Wood release Hanata and Niji were stunned, showing amazement. Natsuo-sama. Can you really use wood release? Isn't this the power of the Senju clan? Natsuo-sama it's Ichiha. Ichiha and Senju, although the Otsutsuki clan has been living on the moon for a long time, but because they observe the Shinbo world constantly, so they know many more things. Ichiha and Senju, the descendants of Otsutsuki Hagoromo, have been specially watched by them. And now, both powers reside in one person. Do you really think these two can defeat my ancestor's stone Sanu? Teneri snorted coldly. The advantage of quantity cannot offset the gap in quality. Oh really? Natsuo looked at him calmly. Thanks for your opinion. Ha! Huh. Teneri was taken aback. Then, beneath the wooden golem's feet, trees began to grow violently. Finally, they turned into an incredibly large Buddha statue, with the enormous wooden golem on its head. Sage art would release. True several thousand hands. Teneri looked at the imposing Buddha statue in amazement while Hanata and Niji were also shocked. 
It was huge, too big. The wooden golem was already almost as tall as the Susanoo and the Otsutsuki clan statue. But now, sitting on top of the Buddha statue, it only looked like an ancient crown. It's not over yet. A smile appeared on the corner of Natsuo's mouth. Natsuo suddenly deactivated the Susanoo, then took Hanata and Niji to the top of the wooden golem, and the pupil power in his eyes gushed wildly. The Susanoo chakra spread like armor over the giant Buddha statue. The aura of serenity and original calm of the thousand-armed statue disappeared. In its place, a sense of imposing and majestic power arose. True several thousand hands Susanoo, the combination of powers that challenged the four nations. Natsuo smiled evilly. Tanari gritted his teeth as he controlled the Otsutsuki clan statue and made it move forward. But in the next instant, the thousand hands behind the titanic wooden statue, with arms armored with Susanoo, struck fiercely. Boom. A fist came down, causing the stone statue to crack and stagger backwards. But the problem is that the attack didn't end there. One punch after another, in the blink of an eye, thousands of fists were thrown out, and each punch was as big as half the body of a stone statue. They came with terrifying strength. Boom. 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 The statue of the Otsutsuki clan which was like a small mountain, almost instantly disappeared under this powerful assault. Cracks spread throughout the ground around them, and then it collapsed with a crash. Damn it. Tanari gritted his teeth, his eyes bursting with power. The Otsutsuki clan statue began to be repaired under the strange power of the Tensigen energy vessel. This stone statue could not be destroyed as long as the Tensigen energy vessel remained intact. Although Tanari knew that the stone statue was no match for the true several thousand hands Susanoo, but he did not want to admit defeat. Hanata is watching over there. Tanari frantically channeled the chakra of the Tensigen energy vessel, his eyes filled with power, and the debris of the broken stone statue began to gather. Piero, the titanic wooden statue with armor, crushed the stone statue that had just begun to recover. What did it matter if a simple toy could be rebuilt over and over again? Hanata and Niji looked at everything in front of them in shock. Was this the combined strength of Senja Hashirama and Achiha Madara? It was truly amazing. No wonder there were rumors of them challenging the four great nations in the past. With this power, couldn't they destroy not just four nations, but even the entire world. Damn it. Teneri looked furious. Bored. Natsuo laughed lightly as one hand of the titanic wooden statue extended to catch him. A powerful attack came, but the power of Susanoo plus Senju Buddha resisted the attack and then gave Otsutsuki a hard punch. Boom. Teneri tried to stop him, but then he was thrown back, spitting out blood like in a Shanksian novel. Boom. Teneri crashed violently into the upper barrier of the moon's inner space with enormous force causing him to break the rocks at the top and be thrown outwards. Then, the titanic wooden statue suddenly flew up, following the direction Teneri was flying in, and then hit him hard. Crack! Giant rock fragments flew everywhere. Hinata and Niji looked at everything in front of them in shock. The moon had been crossed. Damn, damn, damn. Teneri roared a few times, ignoring the blood on the corner of his mouth. If only I had more time to awaken the Tensigen. With the power of the Tensigen, he was sure he could defeat Natsuo. He took a deep breath. He then frantically channeled the energy within the Tensigen energy vessel into his eyes, until he finally managed to awaken the Tensigen. Well, it took you a while to awaken the Tensigen, though, but it seems like my speculation is correct. Natsuo shook his head, then activated the Rinnegan. Before Teneri had time to react, Natsuo immobilized him with the black receivers. It seems that the Tensigen you awakened is somewhat similar to the Eternal Manjekyo, due to the fact that you had to transplant a pair of eyes to awaken it. But in the final analysis, they are not at the level of Otsutsuki Hamura's Tensigen, although you are infinitely close to the six parts level. In fact, in his previous life, Natsuo found it strange that the Tensigen dissipated after being hit by Naruto in the last. Naruto the movie. Obviously Hamura's Tensigen is a level above the Tensigen that Teneri awakened. But it was enough for Natsuo to experiment a little with the Quasi Six Parts level. Plus this level of Tensigen will be enough for Niji to take control of the Hayuga clan. Okay. That's enough. You've borrowed Niji's eyes for quite some time. It's time for you to return them. Natsuo approached Teneri nonchalantly. Teneri let out an angry roar and managed to break free from Natsuo's black receivers. He then tried to enter Tensigen Chakra mode. But when the cyan-colored chakra began to appear, Natsuo used more black receivers, completely immobilizing him. Natsuo slowly approached Teneri, who seemed terrified, screaming and struggling, until finally, he arrived in front of Teneri. And Natsuo's voice was as relaxed as ever. Don't worry, don't move. I'm not going to accidentally end up taking something apart. I don't want to have to put it back in its place for you. The battle was over Nej, who had just recovered his Byakugan, looked in shock at the inner space of the moon. That seemed to have undergone a transcendental transformation, and was left speechless. Is this really the effect that battle between shinobi can produce? The power that Natsuo-sama possesses is truly terrifying. Besides, the shinobi world was a complicated place. Before we had Kazuki Ujrasa, then Mizukij Terumi Mei. Now, this Teneri guy appears, plus Natsuo is the strongest shinobi in the world. And yet, he had not shown all his power, it's just. Niji felt overwhelmed by the irony of the world, as if it were joking with the perception he had of it for over a decade. Suddenly, he felt someone pulling on his sleeve. Turning his head, he saw Hinata. Niji Nai-san Hinata's voice was very soft, as if she was a little embarrassed. Since Natsuo-san has kept his true power hidden for so long, 
He surely has his reasons. By showing us this, he is showing us his trust. You must not reveal it to anyone. Niji smiled slightly, thinking that Hanata was stating the obvious. Niji was about to respond with something like I'm Natsuo-sama's loyal subordinate. How could I reveal his secrets? But then Hanata spoke. If you dare to reveal Natsuo-san's secret, I will definitely not show mercy. I assure you, I will kill you. As she spoke, she clenched her fists, making a fierce but cute expression as she threatened him. Niji, this is really my good sister, but in reality, this battle had been very profitable. The Otsutsuki clan on the moon had detailed information dating back to the era of the Sage of the Six Paths. The history of the Shinobi world, countless jutsu, combat techniques developed by the Sage of the Six Paths, and Otsutsuki Hamura Taneri was completely devastated, as if he had lost his soul. He did everything Natsuo told him, without hiding anything or having other thoughts. Maybe he couldn't withstand this blow. For Natsuo, this information did not have much meaning. But for his children and wives, all this could benefit them a lot, and Niji would be one of those who would benefit the most from it. Because the Otsutsuki clan on the moon had the same Byakugan as the Hayuga clan. Although the Otsutsuki clan on the moon were physically stronger, their combat methods were very suitable for Niji. Their secret techniques were much more powerful than the Hayuga clan's techniques. With these secret techniques, I will soon be able to defeat Hiyashi-sama, and let the Hyuga clan reform. Niji looked excited. Hinata was also very excited. Come on, Niji, I believe in your talent. Niji, Miss Hinata, you have not yet reached the legal age to marry. Hinata, but if you're reforming the clan, why don't you lower the Hyuga clan's legal marriage age to my current age? Niji, you are such a clever little ghost when they return from the moon. At Niji's strong request, they returned through one of the passages that the Otsutsuki clan had created to the shinobi world. This made Hanata feel very dissatisfied. I still want Natsuo-san to hug me when we go down. Niji, even if you were passed out the whole time. Hanata, this time I have experience. I promise not to faint or at least not too many times. She pouted. It's your fault, Najini san I wanted. However, after Natsuo took her into his arms with great fanfare, Hinata immediately forgot the hatred towards Niji and fell back into the cycle of fainting awakening fainting. Natsuo, who told you that I can only hug you only when you are flying in the sky? Can't I hug you anytime I want? Niji. Natsuo glanced at Niji. How long until you can perform? Three months. Niji said after thinking for a moment, I need some time to learn the secret techniques I have acquired and integrate them into my fighting style. Even if I ask that Teneri to accompany me to train, it will take at least this long time. Niji pondered for a moment longer and added, During this time, we could call out those dissatisfied with the main family, and help them break the caged bird. I will need their help to resist the power of the main family. Alright? Natsuo nodded. Just don't forget our agreement. I won't forget. Niji shook his head. Although there was nothing that could validate the agreement between them, but even a fool would not dare to violate those terms. After all, it was a matter of life and death. In the following period of time, Niji occasionally invited several experts from the Hayuga clan to visit the Uchiha clan in order to teach him how to instruct his disciples. Niji was very meticulous in his approach. Of course, not only did he bring experts from the family branch to the Uchiha clan, but he also brought many people from the main family, without distinction. However, he treated the main family members and family branch members loyal to the main family, as if he were an apprentice seeking advice consulting them seriously. To those who had suffered humiliation from the main family in the past, or who had strongly objected when they were ordered to brand their children with the caged bird, and those who had been excluded from the clan's center of power, Niji directly explained his purpose. Then, when they saw Niji's forehead without the curse mark, their expressions changed drastically, filled with excitement with madness in their eyes. The curse mark, caged bird really disappeared. Our offspring will no longer need to endure the humiliation of the main family. Immediately, they knelt in front of Natsuo with great fighting spirit, and declared their loyalty until death. But Natsuo didn't need the loyalty of those people, after all, it was just a deal. Natsuo wanted the women of the Hayuga clan, and they wanted freedom. Wouldn't it be nice if everyone got what they needed? Furthermore, Niji, with his identity as Natsuo's disciple in the favor of helping to free them from the caged bird, naturally became the leader of the family branch. Niji carefully reminded the family branch experts to hide the fact that they did not have the curse mark without letting anyone find out, even their wives couldn't know. The family branch experts nodded, they were also experienced shinobi who understood the importance of confidentiality, and had no complaints about it. Even when Niji stated that, for the time being, he would not ask Natsuo to free their children from the caged bird to hide everyone's actions, they were still understanding. It can be said that Niji has been preparing for a long time for action, and all plans have been brewing in his heart for many years. Finally the moment I've been dreaming of the Hayuga clan will change drastically. When Niji set a deadline of three months, of course, it was not a decision made at random. That day was the Hayuga clan's ancestral commemoration day, a day when family branch Shinobi and the main family would gather to perform tribute rituals. It was undoubtedly the perfect time to try to reform the Hayuga clan and trigger a coup d'etat. Since the Shinobi of the family branch outnumbered those of the main family, and only on that day would everyone gather in the clan's territory, Natsuo didn't give much importance to this, for him. It was just an investment. If the investment was successful, great, and if not, it didn't matter. 
After all, not personally intervening in the affairs of the Haiga clan is only a matter of his own morality, because he does not want to take the initiative to infringe on the rights and interests of others. But that didn't mean Natsuo couldn't do it. For critical situations, he could adjust his moral limits flexibly. So while Niji worked diligently to contact the clan members and gather strength to seek change, Natsuo spent these three months honestly reviving the Ichiha clan, as well as doing some tests with Niji to acquire the physique of the Otsutsuki clan of the moon. And although in the end discovering the secrets of the Tensigen is more complicated than Natsuo expected, and Niji was unable to obtain it, he still managed to strengthen himself comprehensively by acquiring part of the special physique of the Otsutsuki clan of the moon. It seems that if I want to discover the secrets of the Tensigen, I can only wait for the system's rewards. Natsuo pondered as he reviewed the data obtained from Niji's body. Well, if Niji manages to gain control of the Hayuga clan, I can use Niji's results to strengthen my future Hayuga clan wives. Seeing that no progress could be made regarding the Tensigen, Natsuo dedicated all his remaining time to reviving the Ichiha clan, while he waited for news from Niji. Also during this time, Tsunade, Koronai and Amayuri gave birth, all of them gave birth to children, with a potential of more than 200. The children of Amayuri and Koronai are as follows. Offspring plus one, the comprehensive potential evaluation is 213, you get chakra plus 19, back in number one. Sai. Offspring plus one, the comprehensive potential evaluation is 203, you get mental power plus 18, human human fruit. Although the reward obtained by Amayori's child does not increase Natsuo's strength, but after the adaptation to the shinobi world in addition to the proficiency granted by the system, the ability has become much more interesting than Natsuo expected. Previously the ability caused the target's arms to lock behind his back, but now with Natsuo's strength, it allows him to immobilize any part of the target's body in any position he desires. Natsuo could only curse, congratulate, the system and its temptations to introduce him to BDSM. As for the other reward itself, it is of no use to Natsuo. In the end he decided to give it to his children to see if they can recreate the Tony Tony Chopper version of the Shinobi world with a pet that they like. Anyway, these types of offerworldly rewards for Natsuo, apart from using them for fun, are the same as ordinary Jutsu, and have no meaning for Natsuo, and can be considered simply as collectibles. However, Tsunade's child gave Natsuo a surprise. Offspring plus one, the comprehensive potential evaluation is 273, you get chakra plus 25, rock Yashiki. This is a special in superhuman martial arts style, very essential in the world of One Piece. Natsuo clearly understands one thing. Unlike the extraordinary physique in the One Piece world, the people in the shinobi world have a very weak physique compared to some extraordinary worlds. Where even cage level shinobi can be killed by a kunai or a shuriken, of course there are special examples like Hashirama, Naruto, Suned and others who possess special techniques or physiques that allow them to survive mortal wounds. But they are still far from the physicality of the One Piece world, where high-level fights can last days, while the fights of high-level shinobi last a short time due to lack of stamina. But now with the Rokyashiki, Natsuo can greatly increase his physique as each of the Rokyashiki's techniques seem to focus on certain aspects of physical perfection. Soru for speed, Rankyaku for kicking strength, Shagun for arm strength, Gepo for jumping agility, Kami E for flexibility, and Tekai for stamina and durability. Furthermore, with the experience of sun breathing, Natsuo knows that the techniques from other worlds obtained through the system can be used by the people of the shinobi world. And due to the different advantages that this technique grants, it has now become one of the mandatory used techniques in the Ichiha clan. With this experience, Natsuo decided to immediately call his strongest wives, such as Tsunade, Amayori, Yugao and others, and teach them to practice these techniques. Let them play a leadership role. They will practice first to demonstrate their effects before Natsuo's other wives begin to practice as well, until everyone within the Ichiha clan practices these techniques. Tsunade, Amayori and the others were very confused by the strange techniques that Natsuo had brought them to practice. But because Natsuo had already taught them some breathing before, they quickly accepted it, and began practicing diligently. At first, they couldn't stand the grueling training, but with the help of the Ichiha clan's medical team, as well as Tsunade and Natsuo, little by little, they began to get used to it. Although I don't know when his physique will reach the threshold to perform the Rocky Shiki techniques, it is obviously a good start. Meanwhile, Natsuo did not put aside his hard work to revive the Ichiha clan, and thanks to his efforts, Yuzumaki Yoko, Yuzuki Yugao and many wives who have been strengthened by Renshi no Kanke and Revival No. 2 have become pregnant again. During this period, a major event occurred in the shinobi world. Fu the Seven Tars Jinchuriki of Takigika was forcibly taken away by the Akatsuki organization, and her whereabouts are unknown. When all the cage of the great shinobi villagers found out about this, they secretly cursed. Damn, everyone knows that Akatsuki has no scruples. Why does small Takigika, with a force much smaller than the five great shinobi villagers, intend to maintain its independence, without sending its Jinchuriki to Kanoha, and not even making preparations? Aren't they basically asking Akatsuki to come kidnap her Jinchuriki? Of course, it's not like Takigika didn't take any action before his Jinchuriki was kidnapped. They had sent requests for help to Awagaka, Sanagaka and Karigaka, who lost their Jinchuriki. 
hoping to gain their support and protect their own Jinchuriki. In exchange, the shinobi of the three great villages could simply wait for Akatsuki to attack Takigika and then track them to their hideout. The payment for this help actually meant that Takigika wanted the great shinobi villagers to give them free protection. Honestly, it wasn't an impossible idea. According to Takigika's idea, how could any of the five great shinobi villages bear losing their Jinchuriki? Now that the shinobi world has no news of Akatsuki, this is their chance. They should hurry up and take advantage of it. Isn't it time for the strongest Kazakiage to get his daughter back? Or does the strongest Mizukiage not want Kurigaka to show his power? All of you failed to protect the Jinchuriki from her, don't you want to recover your lost honor? We, Takigika, give you a chance. However, where would Takigika know the true details about the strongest Kazakiage and strongest Mizukiage? Get the Jinchuriki back. If they really had that power, they probably would have acted by now. But the problem is that, despite having defeated the Akatsuki members before, both Rasa and Terumi may currently have no chance against them. If Natsuo doesn't support them, what should they use to fight Akatsuki? So, with Sanagaka and Karigaka's refusal, and Awagaka's weak situation, Takigika was left in a difficult situation. As a result of this, Akatsuki could easily succeed and then, Akatsuki disappeared again, as if it had decided to hide completely. Today is the day of commemoration of the ancestors of the Hayuga clan. The Hayuga clan residence was bustling with activity, with people coming and going, creating a lively atmosphere. Ordinary clan members were taking out their wallets, enjoying shopping and games, watching fireworks, having a lot of fun. The main house was also filled with the best shinobi from the main family and the branch family, with lovely maids moving among them pouring tea, pouring water, and serving food and wine. Many people from the family branch came today. He thought to himself Hayuga Hiyashi as he looked at all the people sitting. Although the commemoration of the Hayuga clan's ancestors was celebrated every year, the tension between the main family and the branch family was evident. Many branch family experts did not want to see the shinobi of the main family, so they took any excuse to go out and enjoy themselves. Days like today, when so many people gathered, seemed to be rare in Hiyashi's memory. It seems that my leadership is very effective, Niji gave me a big surprise. Hiyashi showed a gentle smile. Hiyashi was actually not that harsh towards members of the family branch, perhaps because of his younger brother, Hizashi. Compared to the clan elders, his methods were more moderate, and he showed consideration towards talented individuals like Niji. Although it was only a matter of relative comparison and his policy was clear. Resolve the affairs of the family branch, support the talents, and grant certain rights to the experts of the family branch to reduce their resistance. When Hazashi was present, he gave him command of the family branch, making him work for the good of the main family and suppressing the discontent of the family branch. And now that task falls to Niji. It can be seen from the current results that Niji has done a very good job. Hayuga Hiyashi took a sip of sake with satisfaction and showed a pleased smile. Just then, a commotion was heard from outside. Damn bitch, you hit me. I'm sorry, Ryuji sama you feel it and that's it. This is the highest end kimono custom made by the exclusive tailors of the Achiha clan boutique, something you cheap people can't even afford to buy. I'm sorry, what's the use of apologizing? A humble family branch actually dares to clash with me, a noble of the main family. Don't you know how to respect the family hierarchy? Hiyashi frowned, showing his anger. The one who was making the scene is the grandson of the grand elder of the main family, Hayuga Ryoji. Although the members of the main family, such as Hanata and Hanabi, have received excellent education, have excellent character and an elegant and generous style of doing things, even the shinobi of the branch family respect them greatly. Hinata, for example, learned a lot from Niji, and responsibly took charge of organizing the food and drinks for today's celebration, demonstrating great management skills, and maintaining the style of the main family. But naturally, the comforts provided to the main family raised more young masters. When they deal with other big clan shinobi, they can restrain their arrogance a little bit. But when they dealt with members of the family branch, perhaps it is more appropriate to say that they are talking to their slaves. How can he behave like this at an ancestor commemoration event? How does the great elder educate his grandson? He actually was about to scold out loud. Just then, Niji got up and walked out. Using his Byakugan, Hiyashi saw the humble smile on Niji's face as he, along with the family branch shinobi, apologized to Ryoji, even bowing in reverence, a gesture that Niji himself performed. After apologizing for a while, Ryoji finally loosened his attitude and left with a half. Niji comforted the family branch shinobi before re-entering the main room. Hum Hiyashi sighed softly. Niji, you have been unfairly treated. Ryoji is just a chunin, and his strength is very average. Niji, on the other hand, was a jonin recognized by the village, and his status should be far above him. But the difference between the branch family and the main family made him have to bow his head and apologize. Hiyashi is also very dissatisfied with this, but what can he do? This is life in the family branch. Thinking about it, Hiyashi looked at Hanata and Hanabi who were sitting quietly next to him. The reason he hadn't chosen an heir yet was partly because Hanata's skill was inferior to Hanabi's, but also because he subconsciously didn't want to see his daughter marked and trapped in a cage. But what else could he do besides delay time? In the end, there was no solution. Hiyashi shook his head and said softly to Niji, I'm so sorry for what you've been through. Don't worry. Niji responded with a slight smile. I will punish Ryoji severely later. Hiyashi said seriously, It's really okay. Hiyashi-sama. Niji smiled. Really? 
I don't care he actually smiled slightly and commented, Niji, you have become very mature. Well, I've grown up after all, Niji said with a smile. I still want you to see my growth, uncle. He actually was surprised for a moment and then smiled. Of course, I look forward to the day you serve the Hyuga clan. Hearing this, Niji smiled without saying a word. After a few more rounds of sake, he actually was a little dizzy. The other shinobi of the Hyuga clan had also had a little to drink, and the aroma of alcohol filled the room. Of course, none of them were completely drunk. Even though they were in the safety of their home, experienced shinobi generally didn't allow themselves to get too drunk. Especially the Hyuga, who considered themselves the oldest shinobi clan and took pride in their identity, so they didn't want to show disorderly behavior after drinking. Just when Hiyashi thought it was time to end the meeting, Niji stood up. Hiyashi-sama elders of the clan. Niji held a glass of wine with a gentle smile on his face. On this special day, as a representative of the family branch, I would like to invite you all to share a drink with me. I hope you all relax and enjoy this peaceful day and relaxing time. Hiyashi smiled slightly and was about to answer Niji when he continued. From now on, you, the main family, will no longer be able to trample on our heads and act as you please, abusing your power. In the next instant, Niji emptied his achoko in one gulp, and then threw the sake cup to the ground. Crack! A crisp and clear sound was heard. At the same time, as if there were four curtains of light that emerged from nowhere, they enveloped the main residence of the Hyuga clan, creating four transparent walls that rose into the air, extremely eye-catching and attracting people's attention. Four violet flames formation. The sudden situation left many of the Hyuga clan shinobi in a state of shock. They were staring at the young man who was walking with a calm step in the center of the banquet hall. Although he was still smiling kindly, with a soft look his previous words and the barrier surrounding the Hyuga clan residence confirmed what they had heard. Niji, what are you doing? Hiyashi was dumbfounded and couldn't help but said, This is an important commemoration event for the Hyuga clan. Of course, I am contributing to the great revitalization of the Hyuga clan in this important commemoration event. Niji smiled and said with a calm expression, Compared to the decline of the Achiha, I think the revitalization of the Hyuga clan will surely be much easier Hiyashi-sama. I am only seeking justice for the family branch. Niji stepped forward, his eyes were firm, and his tone was filled with righteous indignation. For years, the main family has exploited the branch family, demanding sacrifices from us while they enjoy the benefits. It's fine to use the curse mark to protect a dejutsu, but you have used it to enslave your own family. I have seen many shinobi clans around the world, but I have never seen anyone treat their own relatives so ruthlessly. His gaze slowly swept over the shinobi of the main family present as he spoke in a low voice. We only seek justice for the family branch. A dozen jonin from the family branch slowly stood up, standing behind Niji. Their white eyes were full of determination. Are you planning to rebel? He actually realized this. His complexion changed drastically. Stop it Niji, rebellion will not end well. He was about to say something else when the grand elder of the main family stood up. Damn family branch, have you forgotten your duty? The great elder sneered contemptuously. Are you thinking about rebelling? I would even say that the clan leader has been too lenient with you. He added, his expression turning serious as he formed a seal. Curse mark. Caged bird. Wait a moment, great elder. Things have not reached this point. He actually changed his expression suddenly, quickly intervening. It was not possible for a rebellion to occur in the Hyuga clan. No one could escape the control of the caged bird. Once there is rebellion its death, he actually subconsciously wants to block the great elder's action, as for the others he didn't care about. Niji was the son of his brother. He did not want to see his own nephew the son of his deceased brother, perish in the clan's internal turmoil. But before he could intervene, the Grand Elder suddenly paled, exclaiming in astonishment, what is going on? Why haven't your curse marks been activated yet? Hearing this, Niji smiled slightly. The Jonin of the family branch behind him also smiled in unison. Slowly, they extended their hands and removed the forehead protector tied to their foreheads. Obviously it was only a very light piece of iron, but in their hands, it seemed as if they were letting go of some heavy burden, and the movements were extremely slow finally, their foreheads were revealed without the curse mark. The caged bird was gone, you actually he actually opened his mouth wide, unable to believe it. The other shinobi of the main family showed even more evident signs of panic on their faces. Caged bird actually disappeared. It couldn't be that all of them, since childhood, had avoided being branded with the caged bird. So they cracked the caged bird. The expression of the main family shinobi changed dramatically, while the rest of the family branch shinobi subconsciously showed anticipation. Did this mean that we too can be free? Hiyashi sama don't think about it. If caged bird is still there, how dare we launch reforms? Niji shook his head. There has never been an invincible ninjutsu, only invincible people. As a shinobi, shouldn't you understand this? Caged bird, it's also not impossible to crack. Hiyashi gritted his teeth and said, Is it Natsuo's work? How old is Niji? Even if he is a recognized genius in the clan, it is impossible to crack the caged bird. This thing is not at the same level as the normal sealing technique. Neither would other shinobi, although it seems unlikely. But the main family has always prohibited shinobi from the family branch from learning the sealing technique for fear of breaking the caged bird's shackles. If one were discovered, they would be killed without mercy, without exceptions. So the shinobi behind Niji probably don't know how to decipher the caged bird. So it can only be. 
Does Natsuo want to intervene in the internal affairs of a Hyuga clan? Hiyashi said these words while gritting his teeth, his gaze filled with pressure. That's the world's number one shinobi. If he interferes in the affairs of the Hyuga clan, there won't be anything they can do to stop him. But that doesn't mean the Hyuga clan won't retaliate while he meddles in their affairs. Niji shook his head. No, although Natsuo-sama helped us unleash the caged bird, he will not directly intervene in the internal affairs of the Hyuga clan, even the enchantment surrounding the main residence was obtained from other people. You don't have to worry about Natsuo-sama intervening. Yes, Natsuo will not intervene. Even Niji bought the four violet flames formation from Kabuto at his own expense, and then let the Jonin of the family branch practice it quickly. Hearing Niji's words, the main family's expression relaxed a little. It's a good thing Natsuo doesn't intervene, it's a good thing he doesn't. He actually also breathed a sigh of relief and stood up? Niji, if Natsuo does not intend to intervene, what chance do you have? Don't think that the main family can be suppressed just by a surprise attack. The voice fell. The shinobi of the main family lined up behind Hiyashi. Although many times Niji and other shinobi of the family branch despise the main family for obtaining all the benefits of the clan without working at all, in addition to their attitude of not treating the family branch as human beings. But it must be admitted that the elites of the main family are much more numerous than those of the branch family. This is normal. Although the main family experiences fewer trials of life and death, they have more resources. Many of the secret techniques of the Hyuga clan are kept secret from the branch family but can be freely studied by the main family. Like eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. No matter how much the shinobi of the branch family pay, the difficulty of becoming stronger is much greater than that of the main family. Although Niji called a large number of experts from the family branch, many members of the family branch were still unable to return, because they were carrying out tasks. But the number of main family experts here is still more than double that of the branch family. Not to mention do you also want to follow their example and rebel? The Grand Elder shouted angrily towards the family branch shinobi, who were watching in confusion from afar. Have you forgotten the mission of the family branch? Following traders like Niji is an unforgivable sin. It is only a path to death. Not all shinobi in the branch family wanted to rebel against the main family. Many of them were lackeys of the main family, as if suffering from Stockholm Syndrome, showing a kind of blind loyalty despite mistreatment. Niji didn't even bring them to Natsuo so he could help them free themselves from the caged bird. Because not doing so would put the security of the operation at risk. But this situation left the shinobi of the family branch in a disadvantageous situation, with the pressure of the caged bird still on them. The result was that, except for two people who joined Niji with determination, the others, with confused looks on their faces, hesitated and finally lined up obediently with the main family. The difference in numbers between the two parties directly widened. It was now a 5 to 1 advantage for the main family. In terms of skill, considering that the main family had access to secret techniques that the branch family was unaware of, there could be up to a tenfold difference. Do you understand now, Niji? Hiyashi sighed softly. Sit down and dissolve the barrier right now. For now, out of respect for Natsuo, I can guarantee your life. Rebelling against the main family is useless, you are destined to fail. However, a voice sounded softly. No, nothing is predestined. Father. Under Hiyashi's dumbfounded gaze, Hinata slowly got up and stood beside Niji. Her face showed indomitable determination, with no trace of her usual shyness, only seriousness. Father, please stop. Resign from the position of clan leader. I can guarantee the safety of their lives in Niji's name. Hinata Hiyashi was stunned, he couldn't understand why his shy daughter would be next to the family branch at this time. He said with a look of disbelief. Hinata, why did you father? I don't want to see Hanabi suffer like brother Niji, and... She paused, her face blushing slightly, but she still said firmly. The Hyuga clan rules are too archaic, you should keep up with the changes. For example, the bullshit regulations that only allow internal marriages, should have been changed a long time ago. However, here she was puzzled. He knew the feelings between Hanata and Hanabi, but that alone shouldn't have led her to challenge him like this. And also now that the situation of the family branch was clearly unfavorable, why take this position? But it must be said that the fact that the heiress of the main family defected directly has deeply moved the hearts of the shinobi of the main family. She was betraying her own class, betraying her own interests. This has caused countless shinobi to ask themselves, have we been wrong all this time? Wasn't imposing the caged bird on the family branch just to protect the Baikigan from outside leaks? Not everyone in the main family treated the branch family like Ryoji did, as if they were servants or slaves. Hinata's action touched the hearts of many shinobi of the main family. Although they couldn't change the course of events, they could change people's opinions. Clan leader, since the family branch dares to rebel, we should crush them with relentless force. The great elder said without hesitation, please command, we will deal with these traders immediately. However, Yashi was hesitant. Although he shared the stance of the main family, he was the more moderate type. The death of his younger brother made him feel compassion for the family branch. And now, with his nephew and daughter standing there, this made him hesitate. Seeing this, the great elder simply stepped over Hiyashi and ordered, the people of the clan obey the order and wipe out the traders in front of us. Hiyashi's prestige is not enough. Back then the great elder forced Hizashi to replace Hiyashi, and now he can also replace Hiyashi, and order the traders to be destroyed. Yes, the shinobi of the main family who did not consider the family branch as human beings accepted without hesitation activated the Byakugan and launched the attack. 
Other shinobi of the main family hesitated for a moment, but eventually pressed forward activating their Byakugan. After all, the former supremacy of the main family makes the branch family completely unable to rebel. They hoped to defeat the enemy quickly and then implore the clan leader. However, as soon as they took a step forward, their expressions suddenly changed. The chakra in their bodies was disordered for a while, and even involuntarily caused them to deactivate the Byakugan. This is, have they poisoned the food? The great elder exclaimed he also felt chakra's disorder. Impossible. He was perplexed. This is the main family's territory. How could they poison the food? Wait a minute. He suddenly raised his head and looked at the only member of the main family who was standing next to the branch family. Hiyashi also stared dumbfounded at the sensible daughter, who volunteered to be in charge of the banquet food. Hinata, you father, brother Niji does not intend to start a massacre. The people of the branch family only want to obtain a small amount of freedom. The branch family and the main family can coexist peacefully. Clearly we can be united. Hinata spoke the words with a holy light shining on her face. But in her mind, she added silently. This way, I can also be with brother Natsuo Hiyashi. The Grand Elder, and all the shinobi of the main family looked at Hanata in shock. She gave off a holy and noble aura, so pure and distinguished that it made them retreat as if they were afraid of staining the girl's purity. But what she did, did you really poison the food? Hiyashi's eyes widened. As a shinobi, poison was the most commonly used weapon. But how can you poison your own family members? Hinata, do you know what you're doing? His voice was low, and he gritted his teeth. Of course, father. Hinata shook her head gently. It's just so that the main family can coexist harmoniously with the branch family. So that a Hyuga clan does not suffer internal strife and bloodshed because of this. For the sake of the Hyuga clan, I had to resort to this last resort, don't worry, Hiyashi-sama. Niji also bowed slightly and said, This poison is not fatal. After about half an hour, it will be metabolized automatically. We don't want to spill blood today. It must be said that Niji had made a lot of preparations for this coup. In this world, only a few medical men like Kabuto and Tsunade can prepare this colorless and odorless poison that not even the elites of the Hyuga clan can detect. Niji had no intention of destroying the Hyuga clan. He only wanted to reform it. So, so Master Hiyashi, you don't have to act like you're lacking in chakra. Niji said softly, unlike others, you don't have a single bit of poison on your body. Hiyashi's expression changed slightly, yes, he is not poisoned. At first, he thought it was because Hanata missed the relationship between father and daughter, or because he hadn't eaten the poison dishes. He even planned to pretend to be poisoned and take advantage of the distraction to counterattack. Did you do it on purpose? Hiyashi narrowed his eyes slightly. You didn't do anything to me on purpose. Yes. Niji nodded calmly. After all, it is not a lethal poison. It can only affect the shinobi's chakra to a certain extent. Even if I gather many shinobi from the family branch, we would not have an overwhelming advantage in terms of military strength. The overall advantage of the main family is too great. A tenfold gap in military strength even if they are weakened by poison is not enough to guarantee victory. The lack of a significant advantage means that the main family could still resist, which could lead to the Hyuga clan being stained with blood today. And really, Niji didn't want that. Not only to avoid being stained with family blood, but also because there was some talented and attractive Kinochi among those present. These women could become Natsuo's wives, so I want to make a deal with you and all the members of the main family. Niji raised his head and said calmly, A fair fight between you and me. If you win, the branch family will submit and accept the disposition of the main family. If I win, Niji continued speaking seriously. Hiyashi-sama, you and my father were brothers, and also Miss Hinata's father. As long as he is willing to formally hand over the position of clan leader to Miss Hinata, he can still be a core member of the Hyuga clan. I guarantee that you will not lose your status. Do you want Hinata to be the clan leader? Hiyashi widened his eyes. Miss Hinata as a leader is what everyone in the branch family and main clan desires. Niji spoke calmly. I, for one, will be willing to become the Grand Elder and help Miss Hinata lead the Hyuga clan to greatness. Niji had thought about it carefully. Hinata had no real interest in power. Being a leader wouldn't change much for her, but that title could significantly reduce the main family's resistance. After all, no matter how corrupt the main family is, Hinata is the rightful heir of the clan, so it would be more acceptable to them. At the same time, it can also send a signal to the Kanova Shinobi clans. Although there are internal conflicts in the Hyuga clan, political rights are still stable and it is not a simple coup d'etat. Hinata's expression was calm, and it was obvious that she had known about this for a long time. She didn't care whether she was the leader or not. The shinobi of the main family were all silent. But it must be admitted that Niji's declaration that Hinata will inherit the leadership of the clan has greatly reduced their will to resist. After all, Hinata is the legitimate heir of the main family. Although Hiyashi was quite dissatisfied with it, and even expressed consideration for making Hanabi the heir of the clan in the public examination. But as the first daughter, Hinata has the natural right to make the shinobi of the main family accept her, since not doing so, would mean undermining the hierarchy that the main family upholds. Furthermore, many of the shinobi of the main family had assumed from the beginning that Hanata would inherit Hiyashi's position as leader. The future leadership belongs to Hanata. Now let her inherit the throne a little sooner. 
It seems there is nothing wrong with it. The gazes of many clan shinobi turned to Hiyashi, waiting for him to make a decision. Niji also spoke appropriately. Hiyashi-sama, please don't delay him any longer. The commotion caused by the four violet flames formation is not insignificant. It is possible that the Hokage will arrive soon. I can't give you much time to think about it. As a result of your hesitation, in the end, the branch family and the main family can only form a deep blood feud. Hearing this, Hiyashi slowly stood up. As the clan leader, he also did not want the branch family and the main family to kill each other. An infighting would tarnish his reputation as the clan leader even if the main family suppressed the branch family's rebellion. Niji, do you really think you're going to defeat me? Hiyashi's temples were bulging with veins, and his white eyes brought a strong sense of oppression. Don't forget that the main family has always controlled the secret techniques of the Hyuga clan, and I have been practicing them hard for decades. While you, you're only 15. Niji slowly took the gentle fist pose. Hiyashi-sama, please teach me, okay? Hiyashi snorted coldly and also assumed the pose of gentle fist. Both the main family and the branch family moved aside, leaving room for the two. Hiyashi moved forward suddenly, and the loose kimono was whistling by the violent air waves. He launched his palm forcefully, a terrifying wind pressure spread in all directions. The sound of tearing air echoed, and visible chakra flowed violently. Niji did not hesitate and responded using the gentle fist. Bang! Bang, bang, the figures of the two intertwined, their footsteps shifted, and their fists and palms were mighty, causing gusts of wind. With movements that were neither hurried nor slow, combined with the long sleeves of their kimonos, they exuded an elegance reminiscent of nobility. But only masters can see that the incomparably dangerous confrontation has entered an intense stage from the very beginning. Here she kept attacking. But he became more and more frightened. Niji's gentle fist is so strong. Niji was managing to suppress Hiyashi. And how old is he? Hiyashi is the same age as his father, a whole generation older. Is this the power of a genius? The shinobi of the main family looked on in amazement filled with disbelief. No wonder the shinobi in the family branch silently supported Niji's decision. Even in the bet between the two sides, they were willing to allow a 15-year-old boy to be their representative to fight against an elite jonin who was in his prime. Because he really has this strength. Hiyashi took a deep breath. Niji, you really are worthy of being Hizashi's son. You are even more talented than him their fists intertwine. Niji approached, breaking through Hiyashi's defense and launching an attack with his palm. Once hit thanks to the nature of the gentle fist's attack affecting the chakra meridians, it would decide the outcome of the confrontation entirely. Eight trigrams palms revolving heaven. Hiyashi turned sharply, his body spinning rapidly, his chakra surging madly, blocking Niji's blow. This is the secret technique exclusive to the main family. Just in terms of gentle fist's level, I admit that I'm not your opponent, but Gentle Fist is just the basis of the secret techniques of the Hyoga clan. Niji, you keep underestimating the main family, Hiyashi said in a cold voice. Honestly, as an older brother to Niji's father, it takes a lot of willpower to admit that he lost to Niji at the Gentle Fist level. For someone like Hiyashi, who valued his reputation highly, it was even more difficult. But he said it anyway. This showed how much he recognized Niji's talent. It's a pity, Niji, you can't win Hiyashi thought to himself. But this could be an opportunity. Maybe I can start certain reforms within the Hyuga clan. Just as Niji was not willing to poison the main family to death, which would considerably weaken the power of the Hyuga clan, Hiyashi and the elders of the main family also did not intend to kill all the members of the branch family who rebelled. Mostly, they would only kill the leaders. In reality, they would rather find a scapegoat to receive punishment instead of Niji. After all, Niji, the biggest leader of this operation is Natsuo's disciple. Although he showed an attitude of not directly interfering in the internal affairs of the Hyuga clan, they still must show some tolerance towards Niji for fear of retaliation. At the same time, solving the problem of the caged bird, even if the main family did not want it, they knew that this would awaken the branch family's longing for freedom, which had been suppressed for a long time. Hiyashi, as the force to calm troubled waters, it made sense to use this as an excuse to make certain reforms. In reality, he didn't like the system between the main family and the branch family and he still remembered the death of his younger brother. Although it was not possible to grant freedom to the family branch, there could be improvements in terms of benefits and treatment. However, after Niji saw Hiyashi using eight trigrams palms revolving heaven, not only did he not feel sad about the difference between the branch family and the main family, but he showed a bit of disappointment in his eyes. Hiyashi-sama, are you on this level? Huh? Hiyashi was taken aback and raised his head. You know, I always thought you were purposely letting me win to lower my vigilance, Niji sighed softly. After all, we have barely started fighting, and I have already forced you to use your secret techniques. If you only have this level, maybe I wouldn't need to have prepared for so long. The next second, both of Niji's hands began to release golden red chakra, forming two large shrouds in the shape of a dragon's head. In an instant, Hiyashi and the shinobi of the Hayuga clan felt a wave of threat emanating from Niji. Gentle step twin dragon fists, Niji said calmly before punching. The chakra in his hand exploded instantly, tearing through the air. 
and the dragon's head shot out of his hand leaving a trail, shaping into a Japanese dragon made of red gold chakra, before hitting Hiyashi's chest at lightning speed. Dragon head palm. Hiyashi was immediately thrown, spitting out blood, finally landing on the table on the main family's side, knocking over all the food on it. A single blow. The battle was decided. The shinobi of the main family was stunned. What kind of powerful injutsu was that? And also, because it is so similar to the secret techniques of the Hyuga clan, the outcome has been decided. Niji withdrew his hand calmly and said, everyone in the clan, are there any objections? If so, I wouldn't mind fighting again. If not, he paused, then turned to Hinata and bowed. Miss Hinata? No, Hinata-sama. Please, hem. Hinata nodded and walked forward. Starting today, I will be the new leader of the Hyuga clan. As the leader, I am going to modify the rules of the Hyuga clan. From now on, members of the Hyuga clan will have the full right to decide their marriage partner without internal restrictions. No one except those involved are allowed to intervene. Hiyashi, lying on the ground with blood at the corner of his mouth. The shinobi of the main family at his side. The family branch behind Hanata. Niji, who had just won with an absolute advantage, couldn't help but slap himself in the face. They clearly agreed to reform the main family and branch family system first. But in the end, Hanata resolved the problem about her marriage first. Everyone was a little puzzled. Normally, the first reform should point towards what is most desired. Given the current circumstances of the family branch, one would expect a reform that would completely abolish the caged bird policy, grant more rights to the family branch, and completely open the latter's access to learning the secret techniques in the end. What the hell are you reforming the marriage issue first? Sensing the gazes around her, Hinata instantly blushed. Yesterday, Niji had actually given her instructions on how she should speak. He would first abolish the caged bird policy, then grant more rights to the family branch, and discreetly address the issue of betrothal somewhere in between, so that no one would notice. But Hanata completely forgot. In other words, although she seems to be firmly on the side of the family branch, it is the first time she is on such a big scene, and it would be a lie to say that she is not shy at all. The reason why Hanata has been able to persevere and deal with all problems with a calm and calm attitude instead of directly hiding behind because of too much stimulation, it was because she kept saying in her mind, Come on, I can marry Natsuo after completing this task. Meanwhile, he had been frantically going over the causes of the clan rule reform in his mind at least a hundred times. The result is that as soon as she stood up, she subconsciously said the things she thought about the most. The second item is to completely cancel the use of the caged bird, in addition to the restriction on learning the secret techniques for the family branch. Hinata quickly tried to make up for it, and recited in one breath the terms she had memorized earlier. But the strange looks from the clan members made her blush even more. Fortunately, Niji intervened to save her. Have you all seen my jutsu just now? Niji coughed, stood up and started to change the subject. Can you see the power of my blow? Niji, what do you want to say? He actually gritted his teeth and propped himself up from the ground. I know you are strong. I am not your opponent, and there should be no one in the Hyuga clan quote, your talent is indeed very high. You may not be regarded as unprecedented, but being able to create this kind of secret technique has already proved your talent. But if you want to hear the flattery, forget it. In the main family, there are no sycophants. He said scornfully, gritting his teeth, feeling a mix of humiliation and shame. It was embarrassing enough to be defeated by his nephew, and now he was showing off his own technique. Was that reasonable? No, what I want to say is that this technique was not created by me alone. Niji shook his head without hesitation, then seeing the thoughtful looks of the main family, he added, while it is true that it was thanks to the secret technique taught by Natsuo-sama, that I was able to create it, but I managed to perfect the technique due to other factors. It was during a joint expedition to the moon, where Natsuo-sama, Hinata-sama and I came across the existence of the Otsutsuki clan, which is the root of our Hayuga clan. He spoke frankly, describing the existence of the Otsutsuki clan on the moon, and then publicly demonstrated several secret techniques. So the basis of our Hayuga clan's techniques comes from the Otsutsuki clan of the moon. The reason you think my punch now resembles the Hayuga clan's techniques is because I used what I learned from the Otsutsuki clan to complete that technique. Both clans possess the Byakugan, so the fighting style is naturally the same. Do you understand what this means? Niji raised his head and looked at everyone present seriously. It means that our Byakugan have not reached their limit. We could also possess power comparable to that of Uchiha Madara or Senju Hashirama. Seeing everyone's surprise expressions, Niji continued, Of course, I understand that the chances of evolving the Byakugan are very low, but perhaps the cage level is not an insurmountable barrier. Our Hyuga clan can also produce cage level experts. In the future we might even aspire to be Hokage. These words cause a shock to everyone present both the main family and the branch family. The Hyuga clan's combat strength is very strange. Although they practice seriously, perhaps due to the lack of proper education for the branch family, and the excessive protection of the main family, they did not receive enough training. Furthermore, the too comfortable environment led them to decadence. Although the activation rate of the Byakugan within the Hyuga clan is very high and most shinobi have impressive combat power, 
they strangely did not have a single cage level shinobi. The absence of a cage level means that they cannot aspire to the position of Hokage, which in turn means that they cannot further advance their development or establish their own glory. In the eyes of the shinobi of the main family, a little hope and expectation emerged. The main family does not lack money nor women, nor all the glory and wealth. Their ultimate goal is, without a doubt, to reach the cage level, to become Hokage the main family, and the branch family should unite. Niji said solemnly, I admit that the family branch will benefit after this reform, but the shinobi of the main family are not left without profits. Hinata-sama has already spoken with Natsuo-sama. If you show your sincere loyalty to Hinata-sama, you will be able to access the secret techniques of the Otsutsuki clan. Maybe they are just one step away from becoming cage level shinobi. Niji smiled lightly at the end, although his voice was flat, it was full of temptation. The main family fell under his spell instantly. They looked at each other with doubtful expressions, then sighed softly and lowered their heads in unison. Tsunade, leading a large group of shinobi, runs towards the Hyuga clan in a hurry. Before Violet Flame's formation is so obvious that it can be seen clearly from a great distance. And with the large number of mates, the shinobi of the branch family who were unaware, and the shinobi of the main family, they immediately reported the unusual situation to Kanoha, seeking support. Sune didn't hesitate to get there. After all, the four Violet Flame's formation was used by the Kazakuge when he killed the third Hokage. The Hyuga clan looks like they're in trouble. However, when he had just arrived, he saw the barrier surrounding the Hyuga clan's main residence slowly disappearing. Tsunade frowned and then saw the Hyuga clan walking out slowly, surrounding Niji and Hanata. Even Hiyashi stood behind Hanata. What's going on with the Hyuga clan? Tsunade asked bluntly. Ahem, I'm sorry. Hokage Sama, Hiyashi coughed and said, Our Hyuga clan had a small meeting and discussed a small matter the meeting is now over. Niji also nodded bow and said, I am very sorry for making you come in the middle of your tasks. I speak on behalf of the Hyuga clan to express our sincerest apologies. As he spoke, he glanced backwards, and immediately a shinobi from the Hyuga clan brought a few small red envelopes to distribute to the shinobi present. However, Tsunade looked at them with a very strange expression. As one of the best medical men, she could immediately see Hiyashi's injuries. Although they were not serious, they were definitely not the result of a simple meeting. Do you think I'm stupid? Tsunade said unceremoniously. What kind of meeting can justify this fuss? It's a meeting about the succession of the clan leader. Niji smiled slightly and said. Hiyashi-sama decided to hand over the position of clan leader to Hanata-sama. Since there are some different opinions within the clan, we decided to put up a barrier and discuss it internally. I am very sorry for not informing Kanoha beforehand. The Hyuga clan will send our apologies to the village later, and we will accept any punishment imposed on us. The corner of Tsunade's mouth twitched. An internal meeting. Or a coup. No, no, we were just arguing. Niji smiled and said, If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone in the Hyuga clan. Before Tsunade asked anything, many high-level members of the Hyuga clan said one after another. That's right, it's a meeting. We didn't do anything, we just discussed some issues. Hokage-sama, you have to trust us. Yes, we were deciding the future course of the Hyuga clan, and the next reforms there was some uproar but we have reached an agreement. Tsunade watched the group's performance dumbfounded. Obviously she knew that this is definitely not as simple as a meeting, but each of them smiled, shaking their heads, these people are high-ranking Hyuga. How could they respond so unanimously when the reforms also affected their interests? The elite of the Hyuga clan are firmly attracted by the inheritance of Otsutsuki clan. How could they allow Niji to lose his position at this time? Even Hiyashi, who had been removed from his position as clan leader, coughed and said, Hokage-sama, this is an internal matter of the Hyuga clan. I don't think the village needs to worry too much about it. Even he wanted to go to the moon immediately to take a look at the Otsutsuki clan's secret techniques. Maybe he could even regain his position. The political revolt calmed down simply and calmly. If it weren't for those involved, no one would know what had happened to the Hyuga clan. Niji didn't make promises just to fool the clan members. After consulting with Natsuo, he led some Hyuga clan elders to the moon through the passage, allowing them to see the magnificent interior of the moon with their own eyes. The Hyuga clan elders were stunned. They then immediately immersed themselves in the secret techniques of the Otsutsuki clan. As a clan that had maintained its heritage since the time of the Sage of the Six Paths, they had accumulated a variety of secret techniques that surpassed the expectations of the elders thus. The Hyuga clan found stability. Hinata legitimately became the new leader of the clan, and convinced everyone if they did not agree, they were prohibited from accessing those secret techniques. Learning the various secret techniques of the Otsutsuki clan was a great opportunity for the Hyuga clan, and the rich collection of books could even give hope to many of the elite jonin of reaching the cage level. Even if it was just a hope, if Natsuo hadn't forcibly subdued Teneri, it's likely that they would never have had this opportunity in their lives. That's why they were secretly grateful to Natsuo. With the help of the clan elders, an elite jonin and a female jonin who was recently promoted to elite jonin ended up marrying Natsuo. Hinata was a little angry, but still didn't say anything, just looked at Natsuo with resentful eyes. The marriage restrictions had been lifted, now she could get married. But due to her age, she had to postpone her marriage. 
The shinobi world was calm, and Natsuo worked hard with his new wives from the Hyuga clan, to revive the Ichiha clan. Akatsuki seemed to have completely disappeared, even though the five great shinobi villagers had searched the shinobi world several times without success. It was as if they had completely dissolved. But all the shinobi villagers still believed that, once Akatsuki really acted, it would be a shock. At this moment, Terumi may suddenly announce a visit to Kanoha. Tsune received her cordially, and both parties discussed the current situation of the shinobi world. Both agreed to continue strengthening cooperation in the multilateral framework, and make more efforts to improve exchange between the two villages. Both were firmly against terrorist acts like those of Akatsuki, and advocated the destruction of the common enemy, Akatsuki. Tsunade stated that the relationship between Konohagaka and Kurigaka is rock solid, and can withstand any challenge posed by the ever-changing world situation. Terumi may noted that given Akatsuki's activities, it was especially significant for both sides to further coordinate and cooperate on the world stage well. The above is all official. The real situation is. Mizukich sama The child in your arms is Tsunade looked curiously at the child Terumi Mei was holding. There are many people fleeing for their lives with their children in their arms. And this is the first time she has seen someone carrying a child out for diplomacy. Wasn't Terumi Mei afraid of being attacked by Shinobi along the way and putting the child in danger? This is my adoptive son. Terumi Mei showed a motherly smile. Because he's too attached to me, so I had to bring him too. It's really adorable. Tsunade also looked at the baby and smiled. As she spoke, she skillfully teased the child. Hokage sama also knows how to take care of children. Terumi may asked in surprise. After all, I am also an experienced person. Tsunade smiled slightly. To be honest, I am a mother of two children. Although in fact, it is the full-time secretary Shizun who takes care of the children. Of course, although Tsunade has little experience in taking care of children, it is not inexperienced at all. Terumi may asked Tsunade about baby care with a serious face. After all, the best medical nin in the shinobi world wasn't just empty fame. Although she had also sought out several very competent medical nin in Kurigika, and discussed the care of newborns, could they compare to Tsunade? The two mothers immediately started a discussion on the care of their children, and the chat was full of enthusiasm. Meanwhile, Aoen Narushikaku had already established the framework of the treaty between the two villages. Of course, with the power of the cage level, although most of their attention was on the conversation, they had enough ability to pay attention to the negotiations taking place on the side. Mizukich sama your son is so cute. Tsune chuckled. Although the general framework of the treaty was already established and beneficial to both countries, it clearly favored the land of fire more. Was Kurigika sending a gesture of goodwill? Tsune wasn't sure why they were doing it, but that didn't stop her from offering some gratuitous praise. Really? I don't think so. Terumi Mei chuckled. No way, look at the child's eyes, how dark and bright, Tsunade said with a wide smile. Even his dark curls have so much personality. It's almost like he's my own son. Tsunade's expression froze suddenly. Sure, her son and Terumi Mei's son really looked alike. Not only her own son, but also Amayori's, Yukino's many of the children Tsunade knew had similar characteristics to Terumi Mei's son. And if she calculated the time, it seemed to coincide with Terumi Mei's first battle against Kanoha. Could it be that? Terumi Mei smiled lightly and picked up the child. It's almost time, Hokage-sama. That's all for today's exchange. Ah, you should go back. Al nodded calmly, got up silently, and headed towards the envoy's mansion arranged by Kanoha. But Terumi Mei walked in another direction slowly. That direction is Tsunade suddenly understood everything, and uncontrollable anger surged inside her. Damn Natsuo, you are dishonest on the battlefield. She was furious, endless anger emerged from her eyes, as if she wanted to burn this sinful world to the ground. The so-called strongest Mizuki is a lie, right? Damn Natsuo, I was worried that your pupil power has been depleted too much, which will affect your vision. Give me back my worry. Terumi Mei continued walking with the child in her arms towards the Ichiha clan residence. She completely ignored the other wives, simply smiling as she carried the child to where Natsuo was. Natsuo, do you think this child is very similar to you? Terumi Mei smiled lightly, with a bit of resentment in her eyes. You're a bad man, it's been so long since our son was born, and you haven't even come to see him. That look of reproach could melt even a man's bones. But that didn't faze Natsuo. Natsuo said affectionately, Stay and live in the Achiha clan from now on, we can see each other every day. Why don't you come to Kurigika? I promise to give you better treatment than in Kanoha. Natsuo played with his son with Mei for a while, meanwhile he managed to form a bond with his son. Natsuo has noticed that now that he has bonded with all of his children, he can now bond quickly with his newborn children. Terumi Mei was still upset because when Natsuo visited her to give her the sealing mark that stored Senjutsu Chakra, he left immediately afterward. But when she remembered what happened recently she became serious. Natsuo, thank you for the sealing mark you gave me earlier if I didn't have that. I might have died in Akatsuki's attack. A shadow of fear passed through her eyes. Not only was she no match for the Akatsuki members who attempted to sneak attack Kurigika, but she was not even a match for those who were used as bait to lure her away from the village. Even in a one-on-one -on -one fight, she might not have won fortunately, Natsuo prepared her a whole card. After the battle, Kakuzu fled and Haiden was annihilated. Terumi Mei was like Rasa, although her shinobi villagers lost their Jinchuriki, 
the morale of the shinobi increased a little. Without your help, the consequences would be disastrous. Terumi Mei sighed softly, trembling slightly, looking very pitiful, feeling Terumi Mei's gesture that awakened the desire to protect her. Natsuo hugged her gently, looking at her with a light smile. Your gratitude doesn't seem very sincere. Terumi Mei was taken aback. Sincerity. Natsuo nodded. Yes, sincerity. Then how do you want me to express my sincerity? Mei's eyes narrowed slightly, her tone carrying with it a touch of desire and provocation. Cage level strength is truly extraordinary. Among all women, Terumi Mei is one of the few who can single-handedly fight against Natsuo for several hours, and fight again the next day. Since everyone in the Ichiha clan has begun training in Rokushiki techniques, many of Natsuo's wives have greatly improved their physiques, but apart from Mei, only Tsunade, Yuko and Amayuri have been able to achieve that goal. Everyone else can't. For seven days straight, Mei had not even left the Ichiha clan's resident, which infuriated Tsunade, who cursed the barbarians of Karigaka for having chosen such a rude Mizukage. On the seventh day, she couldn't take it anymore. Forgetting diplomatic formalities, she forcibly removed Mei from the Ichiha clan residence. This is no way to treat a Kanoha guest. Mei lazily lay on the side, with seductive eyes that looked like a cat resting at noon. Tsunade completely ignored her behavior, focused on discussing into village matters with Mei, as if she didn't hear that woman's charming sighs. But in fact, even if Tsune doesn't pull Mei out, she can't stand it anymore. After years of hard training, Natsuo had accumulated an immense amount of combat experience. The recent Rokushiki, his sage body, his Manjekyo technique, all contributed to a formidable resistance. The chakra is inherently linked to physical energy which is collected from each of the cells in the body. A shinobi will have a maximum amount of chakra that they can form and use before it runs out, and they need to rest to replenish it. And this maximum is determined by the genetics of each individual. Every time Natsuo increases the total amount of chakra with system rewards, the number of cells in his body increases, causing his body's potential to increase as well as his stamina. Natsuo believes that at some point he will be able to reach the potential of monsters like Garp or Kaido in the One Piece world next door. Now Natsuo is sure that if he fights several of his wives, he won't show weakness. It's a shame that apart from Samu, none of the others are willing to accept a group battle Karigaka's visit, at the Mizukage's special request, had been extended for a full month. During this time Natsuo used Renchu no Kenke on Mei, and the degree of bond they shared grew considerably stronger. Because of this, Natsuo was no longer stingy, and once again gave Mei the ceiling mark, that stores his Senjutsu Chakra, which is enough to protect her from Akatsuki's attack. He also shared with her the Sun Breathing, the Rokushiki techniques, and agreed to continue sending her Revival Number 2. Because Natsuo gave her access to the Achiha clan's think tank, Mei next plans to carry out significant reforms in Kurigika. Without enough military force to suppress them, those stubborn and wild shinobi of Kurigika could do anything Natsuo's gifts are what gave Mei confidence. Due to the peculiarity of Renshu no Kanke, Natsuo is willing to give his full support to his wives, with whom he manages to form a close bond. As long as the degree of closeness of the bond is not close enough, Natsuo will not blindly trust his women. That's why when the bond with Samui became close enough, Natsuo decided to lift her punishment. Rasa asked Tamari to help him convey messages to Natsuo many times, hoping to receive another gift from Natsuo. But Natsuo did not put the ceiling mark on Rasa again. If Akatsuki attacks Sunagaka again, Rasa can only ask for blessings. Of course, if he really wanted it, it wasn't impossible either. Next year Tamari would be old enough. Also some Kinochi from Suna could reach the cage level or have a Keke Genkai and reach the elite Jonin level. Then she could discuss the conditions with Rasa. After Tarumi Mei's departure, Kanohu returned to its quiet routine. The newly arrived wives of the Haiga clan also became pregnant one after another. During this period of time Samu gave birth. Offspring plus 1, the comprehensive potential evaluation is 197, you obtain chakra plus 17, sage art, Shia Noah Teru. After seeing the child's potential, Natsuo was surprised, since apparently the strengthening through the bond formed by the Renshin no Kenke greatly increased Samu's strength since the child almost reached 200 potential. And as he assimilated the knowledge of the reward, Natsuo was glad that he had not yet given his children the human-human fruit. The Sage Art Shia no Ateru is a technique that allows the user to place a sealing mark infused with Senjutsu Chakra on an animal. This seal will allow the marked animal to develop wisdom, as well as the ability to speak in addition to being able to use Chakra. Because at the moment Natsuo will no longer be able to marry cage-level Kunoichi, he decided to focus his attention on Kuratsuchi and Tamari who will reach the age to marry in just under a year. Clearly, the Revival series potions are the most profitable when used on his young wives, who are under the influence of Natsuo's regime. Both Kuratsuchi and Tamari, because they began living in the Ichiha clan residence, and enjoyed all the amenities, this inevitably reduced their dedication to training, and therefore affected their progress in getting stronger. So, he must compensate for the decrease in his training as much as possible, using the Revival series potions to counteract the impact of the decrease in training. In addition, he opened the Ichiha clan's ninjutsu library for them, and personally teaches them a variety of secret techniques, as well as the sun breathing and rock yushiki, 
so that they surpass their counterparts in the original story of the Naruto series. We cannot neglect their future. Natsuo thought to himself, time goes by. Although the five great nations continue to search for Akatsuki, and their search has gradually begun to intensify, but they cannot maintain a state of continuous persecution forever, and although the hatred is great, they cannot maintain it endlessly. And after so long, whether it was Sunagaka, Kurigaka, or Awagaka, in fact, they had begun to mentally prepare themselves for the high probability of the Jinchuriki not returning. Now, in the Shinobi world, there were only the Nine Tails Jinchuriki who lived in the Achiha clan, and the Two Tails and Eight Tails Jinchuriki of Kumogaka. They all knew that Akatsuki would eventually take action against them. However, after so much time without activity, even the shinobi of Kumogaka began to relax, despite the fifth Reikage Nai Yujido's constant warnings. And, at this time it's time to act, Nagato said without hesitation. He purposely dismantled the teams and sent Setsu, Kisum, Dadara, and Abito to Kumogaka to capture the two tails and the eight tails. To prevent Kanoha from discovering their actions, Akatsuki specially ordered Achiha Atachi not to communicate with the outside world. During this operation he must honestly stay in Omegaka. Both Nagato and Abito knew very well that Atachi was a spy. Nagato even assigned Kikuzu the task of keeping an eye on Atachi, to make sure he didn't get even a shred of information. Ichiha Atachi also noticed the increasing vigilance on everyone's part, but still remained with a blank expression. Whether or not the enemy realized his role as a spy, as long as he remained in Akatsuki, he would inevitably gain information about the organization. Even to hide some of Akatsuki's actions, they needed to pay a heavy price, such as assigning an experienced veteran like Kakuzu to keep an eye on him this time. That was enough to keep him under control. As for the danger, Echihara Itachi glanced at his dark eyes in the mirror. Relying on the eternal Manjekyo Sharingan, even if it is really dangerous, it may not be impossible to kill it. As long as Atachi remained obediently in the Megaka Akatsuki acted, before Akatsuki members attacked Humogaka without hesitation, Abito used Space Ninjutsu to eliminate the defending Kumo Shinobi, and Kisum used large-scale water release to eliminate anyone who might put up any resistance in Kumogaka. After the two easily destroyed the Kumogaka defenders who had begun to let their guard down, they along with Dadara proceeded to engage the Eight Tails and the Two Tails before capturing them. The Akatsuki members were directly facing all of Kumogaka. Both Nai Yujito and Killer B fought bravely against them, but after much of their preparations were destroyed, and they saw that Akatsuki dared to attack their shinobi village head-on. They were forced to directly receive several of Dadara's powerful bombs to protect the Kumo shinobi. They were eventually defeated by Akatsuki. I'm going to cover you. Get out? Abito said without hesitation, looking at the unconscious killer B and Nai Yujido. The Akatsuki team had put a lot of effort into this attack. Even though they suffered no casualties thanks to their powerful power level, each one had exhausted a large amount of their chakra to deal with the rampant Kumo Shinobi. Even Kisum, with chakra similar to that of a tail beast, was struggling to stay on his feet. For the others, it was even more difficult. On the other hand, Abito was in the best shape due to the influence of the wide Zetsu on his body. Anyway, with his space ninjutsu, he can leave the battle at any time. Letting him cover the retreat was the most logical decision. The Akatsuki members were all experienced warriors, and would not be caught in a situation where the crisis was evident. But they kept vacillating between you go first and no, you go first. Everyone takes care of themselves. Ten minutes should be enough. Once we're out of Kumogaka, they won't be able to threaten us. Meet at the designated place. Without saying a word, everyone retreated without hesitation. Abito watched them leave quickly and snorted. He wasn't someone who enjoyed covering the retreat of others. But Kumogaka is just the beginning, and there is still a man known as the strongest shinobi in the world waiting for Akatsuki. Although Nagato would definitely fight with all his might, he couldn't bet everything on Nagato. Leaving these loyal Akatsuki followers was the best option, Abito narrowed his eyes slightly and took the initiative to intercept the Kumo Shinobi. The Akatsuki members took Dadara's C2 exploding flying dragon and quickly left with the Jinchuriki. The clay dragon was flying at an incredible speed, furiously flapping its wings to move forward as quickly as possible. I didn't expect Kumogaka to have such a whole card, Dadara sighed softly. Yes, the Kumo Shinobi seem reckless but they are actually quite cunning. Kisum also smiled, saying, We almost got trapped. With White Zetsu around, Akatsuki will naturally not suffer in terms of intelligence. According to White Zetsu's investigation, Kumogaka has deployed several chakra cannons around the village, the same ones that were planned to be used to destroy the moon. That would fall towards Earth because of Teneri in the last. Naruto the movie. Of course, these are just prototypes of those cannons. They are very expensive to produce, and their power is far from the same as the final products. Abito naturally destroyed those giant cannons as soon as he made a move. But it turns out that Nai Yujido had taken precautions. On the surface, they said they were establishing chakra supply lines for the cannons. But in reality, they placed a huge seal around a wide area. Once activated, this seal could suppress the chakra of everyone within its range. The amount of chakra suppressed by this seal is fixed, which would obviously give a great advantage to Jinchuriki, known for their large amount of chakra. Fortunately, Akatsuki was also very cautious, and from the beginning, Kisum cleared the area with his water release, destroying most of the seal and reducing its effectiveness. Otherwise, they could have had real problems with the Kumo Shinobi. There is only one Nine Tails left now, 
And we are only one step away from our goal. Zetsu said softly, we are only one step away. Yes, just one more step kiss and replied, a subtle smile on his face. On the other hand, Dadara showed a depressed expression when he heard that. The Nine Tails Jinchuriki has been by Natsuo's side this entire time. If dealing with the attack on Kumogako was so dangerous, facing Kanoru it would be even more dangerous. It's lucky that the leader will take care of Natsuo, otherwise. Dadara shook his head. However, just at that moment, a clear voice rang out. Otherwise what? Everyone suddenly stood up. The next second, the C2 dragon flying in the sky was cut by several chakra blades, and they all fell to the ground. Natsuo with a smile on his face was standing right in front of them. The moment Dadara and the others saw that person, they exclaimed directly, Natsuo, why are you here? Oh, I just came here to take a look. Natsuo smiled and looked at Nai Yujito passed out next to them. I heard I could find a beautiful woman around here, so I came. What the hell is this guy saying? They thought to themselves, although inside they felt worried. Did Natsuo know they would stop by? Had he planned it beforehand? Since this place is very close to their agreed meeting point, then we have a trader. It's a Cheha Atachi. They became serious at the same time, with heavy looks. Although they had no idea how Atachi, under Kakuzu's watch, had passed the information to Natsuo. Clearly he wouldn't appear here without a reason. Natsuo, what do you want to do? Dadara was the first to speak and said, I remember that we collaborated very well with you and Akatsuki. Why attack us now? We haven't done anything against Kanoha. Zetsu added, If you have any requests, we can seriously consider them. Their tone was respectful, although they kept their guard up, their words showed submission. They had no choice. Although the Akatsuki members were all cage-level shinobi, at the top of the shinobi world, with arrogant and strong personalities, they also understood reality. If you are willing to consider it, everything will be easier. Natsuo smiled. How about you give it to me? As he spoke, he pointed to Nayu Jito. Impossible. Zetsu subconsciously said, but realized in the next second, and hurriedly said, This is our mission, Natsuo-sama. Why would you want to take this person? She is a Kinochi from Kumogika, an enemy of Kinoha. If Natsuo-sama wishes to obtain any secrets from her mind, I'm sure Akatsuki would be willing to help. If you wish to negotiate with Kumogake using her capture, Akatsuki could offer you a price that satisfies you. Zetsu said without hesitation. It's just a little money, except Kikuzu will be distressed, Zetsu doesn't care much. I don't need any intelligence, and I don't need any political deals. Natsuo shook his head. I just need her. Why? Zetsu couldn't help but said, what do you need fifth rakage for? Because she is a woman. Natsuo explained. Huh. Everyone was perplexed. And besides, she's a cage level kinoichi. Natsuo continued. And then what? They asked. She's a childbearing age. Natsuo smiled. I could give offspring to my Achiha clan. Surely her children would have excellent talent. Everyone was silent for a moment. Zetsu's eyes widened, Kissum was dumbfounded, and Dadara looked confused. So you interrupted our mission just to get a new wife? What the hell? Are you really a shinobi? After a long time, after a long while, Dadara gritted his teeth and said, Natsuo, aren't you willing to give in even a little, even if we all turn against you? As he spoke, there was a bit of murderous intent on his body. Natsuo shook his head lightly. Then don't blame us. Dadara exploded with killing intent. He did not hesitate to release the explosive clay that he had prepared beforehand. Explosive clay. Grasshopper. Countless grasshoppers jumped towards Natsuo. Zetsu didn't hesitate either. He separated several spores and formed twisted human figures that then fused together to form a huge carnivorous plant that pounced on Natsuo. Although his coordination was minimal as a high-level shinobi, his actions were fluid and seemed to have been planned from the beginning. But in front of them was Natsuo. The manjekyo appeared in Natsuo's eyes as an inextinguishable black flame quickly consumed the carnivorous plant. Then, with a wave of his hand, he used the iron sand weaponry, forming multiple needles before covering them with the lightning release, each needle precisely hitting all the explosive grasshoppers. At the same time Kissum also attacked. He leaped back suddenly, his hands quickly formed seals, and a large amount of water spit out from his mouth, like ocean waves. Water release. Great exploding water colliding wave. Natsuo's mouth twitched. What is this Kissum guy doing attacking so seriously? Then he disappeared in an instant, and the next second, he appeared in front of Kissum, who had just started spraying water. Tsukiyomi. The consciousness of the two entered the illusion space, and Kissum lowered his head slightly. Natsuo-sama, long time no see. After Kissum confirmed the truth about the things Natsuo told him, he began to feel respect for him. But after Natsuo showed his terrifying power, Kissum decided to follow him wholeheartedly. Natsuo-sama, if we hadn't met after the Jinchuriki's capture, I really thought he had forgotten about me. The tone of these words was a bit like an abandoned woman, and Natsuo got goosebumps when he heard it. Behave normally. I didn't look for you earlier because there's nothing I need you to do. Kissum was stunned. Then why did you subdue me? I heard about your experience, and I thought you were a real man. That's why I decided to bring you to my side. Natsuo took it for granted. Natsuo really liked Kissum's character in the Naruto series, and thought that I didn't deserve to die for a false objective. And he also thought about putting a spy in the Akatsuki organization to know his movements. 
But after Itachi decided to betray Akatsuki, he naturally no longer needed Kisum. Kisum laughed, not expecting that one day his actions would be recognized. He was even more determined to follow Natsuo. Forget it. Since you are here, you just need to continue Akatsuki's actions. By the way, you should make sure to help as much as possible in the capture of the Nine Tails. Kisum nodded. Is Natsuo-sama also interested in the Ten Tails? After Natsuo told him the truth, Kisum now also knows the true identity of the statue where Akatsuki sealed the tail beasts. No, I just don't want things to happen outside of my control. Natsuo waved his hand. Okay, that's it. I have to hurry to save my new wife. After he finished speaking, he released the illusion space. After returning to reality, Natsuo reached out a hand and closed Kisum's mouth firmly soon. The flow of water stopped. Dadara and Setsu all had cold sweat streaming from their foreheads. It was too fast. Too easy. No wonder both Rasa and Terumi may who caused the Akatsuki organization to suffer a disastrous defeat were defeated by Natsuo. With such power, it is understandable that they lost. Or maybe what's more surprising is that they could last fighting Natsuo for so long, which is even more amazing. The probability of success in this mission should be zero. It's a pity that Abito is not here, otherwise relying on Abito's space ninjutsu. It shouldn't be a problem to keep the two Jinchuriki. Black Setsu thought, of course, Black Zetsu hadn't used all of his abilities either. As one of the oldest Jin Yang release practitioners, created since the era of the Sage of the Six Parts, and who has lived until now, he also has many cards up his sleeve, and will not be so easy to defeat. But Black Setsu understood something even more important. If he revealed his true abilities, his enemies would not just be Natsuo. Abito will definitely have doubts about Black Setsu's existence, and Madara will have doubts immediately after his resurrection. Although Black Setsu had hidden his true abilities very deeply, but both of them were extremely paranoid people. Any small revelation could provoke an endless wave of suspicion. This would directly ruin his plans. So what to do now? We understand, Natsuo-sama. Black Zetsu managed to squeeze out a smile. It was a mistake on our part, and we will hand this person over. You can treat her whatever you want we choose to give in. So what about the other Jinchuriki? Do you need him too? He said pointing to Killaby. What am I going to do with him? Natsuo looked at Zetsu with disdain. Women can give me children, make me happy, what can a man do? Then, we'll take him with us. Black Zetsu bowed slightly. Then Black Zetsu gave Dadara a look. Dadara hesitated for a moment, but finally summoned the C2 dragon. Black Zetsu carried Killer B on his shoulders, and slowly retreated with the others, as if they were afraid of causing a misunderstanding on Natsuo's part. Finally they got on the clay dragon. The dragon spread its wings and flew away quickly. Dadara controlled the dragon to beat its wings desperately, while they tried to get away as quickly as possible. Finally, he couldn't hold back any longer and asked, Hey, what's up with the mission this time? Originally we had two Jinchuriki, now there is only one left our mission failed. Dadara said with a somber tone. Kisum was silent and said nothing. However, Black Setsu shook his head slightly. It doesn't matter. If the two tails is gone, it's gone. No big deal. Isn't that a big problem? Dadara couldn't help but said. Our mission has completely failed. It doesn't matter during our previous battle. I collected some of the two tails chakra. Black Zetsu took out a sealed scroll. Although it is only a part of the Two Tails Chakra, it is enough, leave the rest of the questions to the leader. Reviving the Ten Tails requires the Chakra of all Nine Tail Beasts, but it doesn't necessarily need all of their Chakra. Although what Black Zetsu had was only a portion of the Two Tails Chakra, it was enough to meet the requirements to revive Kagaya. As an ancient of the Shinobi world, he has long developed the habit of protecting himself against all accidents. This time his actions were considered a success. Natsuo just silently looked at the fainted Nayujito. The Akatsuki members needed the Jinchuriki alive but not necessarily intact. Naya Yujito's body was covered in wounds, she was full of blood and dust. The intense battle also left countless rips on her clothes, making the beautiful Kunochi look extremely disheveled. This cannot go on like this. Natsuo said as he looked at the woman, showing a smile. These tattered clothes are not suitable for someone who is injured, they could cause an infection. Fortunately, I am a good person willing to help. Let me take off these dirty clothes and change you into something cleaner with that. He extended his hand in a kind gesture towards Naya Yujito. And that concludes this episode. If you enjoyed it, I'd seriously love it if you guys could leave a like on the video as it genuinely helps out so much, and it keeps me going, plus it takes only one second. That said, have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.